<laughs> Look, it's like before donuts, after donuts. <laughs> Curse you, mirror of fatness! Spirits open, let's go! <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. Holy crap, guys, it is August 2nd and Spirit Halloween is officially open. What do you think of that little buddy? Awesome! Yesterday was the grand opening of the flagship store in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey, which I was unable to go. But today I am here as they open the doors at the Spirit Halloween in Canton, Ohio. We've got the flags out front blowing in the wind. We've got the Spirit logo stickers on the front doors. We've got the banner on the top and a whole plethora of new window posters. And I could not be more excited to be starting this season at this location right here because this is the actual location that I used for my intro and my outro this season. Now, as you can tell, a few things are a little different. Those tiny, tiny little signs on the front of the building there. And that's because I had to Photoshop my signs in because when I first rolled by here to take the picture, there were no signs up at all. In reality, we have these two tiny signs, one up on each side. However, I did do a good job at determining where they would put the signs. But in the intro, I have the ginormous signs. They probably don't even exist that big. On the front doors here, in reality, the logo stickers are right on the two middle doors, so you can't even see them once we get behind this post. So in my intro, I had to Photoshop them one on each of the doors on the ends. And if you look closely, you can see where I even Photoshopped some leaves under the trees. Enough of that though, guys. It is time to officially go in and experience Halloween 2024 at this Spirit Halloween for the very first time this season. But first, I want to give an awesome shout out to everybody that I met this morning who was also waiting to go in this store. Look at this, guys. There are actually a whole bunch of cars already in this parking lot. All right, let's go ahead in, guys. I am so excited because I have not even watched any of the videos or looked at any of the pictures of people peeking in the windows to see everything set up. Thank you, automatic doors. Holy crap. Look at this, guys. This is so amazing right now. I can't even tell you how excited I am right now to see this. Look at this enormous Jack Reaper up here. Welcome to the Carn Evil. I love how his eye actually is lit up. That is awesome. And right up front here, guys, look at this. We've got the Black Heart and the new Ghost Face animatronic. And I gotta say, I love the element of surprise. And standing right here, I can't see anything else in the store. So that is so cool. Sometimes you step in and you see absolutely everything there is to see right inside the door. But today we get to walk through and see it all a piece at a time. But where do we begin? Do we start by paying our respects to the Black Heart because of last year, or do we go straight to the Ghost Face, which is totally awesome, for this year? All right, let's go ahead and pay our respects to the Black Heart. Black Heart, come on. Oh, here we go. Your life, your past, you will stay with me for the rest of eternity. He is pretty dang awesome, actually. I wasn't sure what I thought of him last year when I first saw him. He's kind of quiet, but I do love his voice. And from this angle right here, he looks super spooky. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's go on over here to the ghost face. Now, the first thing that I notice about the ghost face is that he's holding a machete. Now, I don't honestly remember if he's killed with a machete before. Whoa, look how big his face is. His face seems like it's bigger than a regular mask. Maybe not, but it sure looks that way. And this is also the bloody face. There's another face that you can swap out. Hmm, and I honestly don't remember what the other face looks like. If it's like the aged mask or what it is, I think it's the aged mask. But speaking of swapping out, he is holding the machete. You can also swap it out for a regular knife, like the buck knife. So let's go ahead and see how he works here. And then I'm going to talk about something else too. All right, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is pretty violent right there. <laughs> so we're going to do that again in a second here. But what I wanted to talk about was that 
the way that he's holding this blade up here, some people have said it basically looks like he's trying to just knock you on the head instead of stab you. But I guess when you put the knife in his hand, you can actually turn it around. Maybe he has a completely separate hand for the knife, I'm not sure. But I figure it's probably just a safety feature so that he's not actually slashing you with the knife because that was a pretty violent movement right there. In fact, I wanna see it again right now. I have to say, I do love these new step pads too, especially with the ticket on it there. That is really cool. All right. See ya. <laughs> That is pretty dang cool. I wasn't sure what I was going to think of him when I saw him online, but I actually like him a lot better than I thought I would. The other thing that's really cool about this is that that is actually Roger Jackson's voice, the voice of Ghostface that they're using on here, and it's actually dialogue from the movie. That makes it totally awesome. Hopefully they have him on the floor for sale today so I can look at the box and kind of see that other mask and see the knife and, you know. And you guys tell me also, for those of you who own this already, when you step on the step pad, he seems to take a minute before he actually starts talking. Is it like that when you bring him home? Okay, so there is your initial look, guys, walking straight in the door. Let's go ahead and move on through because I am so excited to see everything else that they have in here. And this sign is just blowing me away right now. I cannot believe how big this is. And I love the carnival sign, how it's flashing with the little bulbs there. All right, let's just go ahead through here. There's so much stuff I wanna see in here, guys. All right, check this out. This is called the Wheel of Fate. Do you actually spin this here? Do you actually spin it? You do, you actually spin the Wheel of Fate to see what your fate is. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. I see there's a lot of things on here. Let's go ahead and spin it. I'm afraid to spin it hard and fast. All right, we ended up on quit clowning, try again. Well, okay, that makes sense. Here we go. Wait, what will it be? Sp spin again or else, what the heck? All right, let's do it again, here we go. Wheel of Fortune. What is it? What will it be? It's a star. I got a star, guys. I can't win. Or maybe the star is the winner. I do not know. All right, let's just look at the other things on here. Lucky you, you survived. Sorry, now you are dead inside. Congrats, you get to live. We got a skull. Your luck just ran out. Spin again, please. I had that one. We got a moon. Lose a turn better than your head. Lose a turn, oh, okay. Lose a turn, because it's better to lose a turn than to lose your head. Quit clowning around, try again. There's an eyeball. Oh wait, here's a winner. Winner, you get to keep your skin. Is that the only winner on the whole wheel? I think it actually is, how weird. All right, let's just spin it one more time and see if we can actually hit the winner. Here we go. Will we win or will we die? Will we win or will we lose our skin? Ah, we didn't win. All right, we'll come back to that section in a second. There's a lot to see over there, including Max Straw, who's peeking out. But I have to look at the howling spirit here. I don't just want to pass this guy by. He's actually one of my favorites from last year, even though I know I didn't buy him. So let's go ahead and get him going. Pay our respects to the howling spirit. I love how loud he is. You know, I'm still contemplating getting him. And I'll probably decide I want him once he's completely sold out and you can't get him anymore. All right, Howling Spirit, that was cool. See ya. Oh my gosh, guys, there's just so much awesome stuff here I can see peeking through. But let's take it one bit at a time. Holy crap, I see the big alien. Okay, we will get there because first I want to look at these guys that they have hanging on the side here. Look at this. What the heck? We got the Corpse Bride. We got Miss Argentina. We have, wait a minute, who is this? Annabelle, that's what I thought, Annabelle. We have Yoshi and Mini Yoda. And then here we go, right in the middle is the guy I really wanna see, Haunt Former. Wait, I mean, Mac Straw. Look at this guy, he's actually much cooler in person than on the video. I think all of them are. He's got the giant pitchfork here. <laughs> Oops, I stepped on the thing already, here we go. <laughs> 
<laughs> I do think it's funny that all he does is laugh, but I love the sounds. I love how there's a crow in the background that is classic Halloween spookiness. So the design of this guy actually reminds me of the 12 foot flying witch from Home Depot, only obviously he's not 12 feet. He's probably, I think he's eight feet maybe. And I love his crooked smile and the jagged teeth. That is so awesome. Let's go ahead and get him going one more time here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the birds. That's hilarious. All right, before we move on to this giant guy, let's look on this side here. We got a couple of plushes. We have Jason. We have Freddy over here. We got the Harvester right here. He is one of my favorites. Actually, I think I bought him one year. I love that little plush pumpkin. And then we got Sam on the top. Okay, that's enough. Let's move on to this guy. For some reason, I keep wanting to call him Sam. His name is not Sam. It's Giant Death Ray. And look just how giant he is. Oh my gosh. He is huge. He's got a step pad over here. First of all, look at those feet. Those have got to be about a size 19 and a half. And look at the hands. They are absolutely hilarious. These things are gigantic. I would not want him to grab my head and crush it. Those might actually be as big as Crouchy's hands. Okay, let's get him going here. Here we go. Giant death ray. Look how his head moves, his eyes light up. He has these other lights that are pulsating through his whole body. Do they go up his legs? I thought they were going up his legs too, but maybe not. Look at that. That is awesome. That would look so cool in the dark at night. Giant Death Ray. He's like enormous Slender Man. You could actually reskin him to make your very own Slender Man if you wanted to. All right, let's move on over here because I see this booth here, and I want to go around the front and see exactly what it is. Is it a ticket booth? Um, oh, it's a fortune teller booth. And apparently you actually get to get inside there and you get to be the fortune teller. All right, let's do that. Let's go on in here because I have to see this fortune telling ball. I wonder, is there anything else to this? Like if I touch the ball... Is he going to do something? Is he going to say something? Is he going to tell my fortune? <laughs> Apparently not. But look how cool that looks anyway. And look how cool I look as the fortune teller. You will watch every one of that Nate guy's videos over and over and over. All right, guys. There is so much more cool stuff. Holy crap. There's Bobby Strings. He is absolutely E enormous and I'm talking enormous <laughs> but first let's not get ahead of ourselves let's check this out it's called down the duck game I think you actually get to shoot the ducks look at this okay I know I know I'm looking straight past Ghostface and this guy over here the night terror okay we'll come back to those in just a second because look at this look at how the ducks are actually moving back here all the way down that is so cool okay do we get to shoot them or what press the yellow buttons on the handle to activate okay i'm activating Ooh, it activated the night terror i'm still up in the air of how much i actually like this guy i think it's such a strange movement that his head just drops down <laughs> It's kind of creepy. I mean, I think he's only a hundred bucks. So for a hundred bucks, he is a pretty awesome animatronic. So let's see. Apparently by pushing the button, it just activates him. I don't know if we can... I don't think we can actually shoot the ducks, but you... You can hear shooting sounds and the gun lights up. That is pretty cool, man. I know I hear you, sir. You're doing a very good job at terrorizing my night. <laughs> Man, people are going to be going ballistic trying to get all these ISC setups this year. Okay, anyway, let's move on to this guy right here because this is the static ghost face animatronic. He does not move as far as I know. Look at that. So, okay, so he lights up and he screams. I guess that's it. Oh, look, his knife lights up too. Are you going to work? There we go. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. 
if I didn't just build my own ghost face downstairs in my basement, I'd probably think about getting this guy. Here's this little thing over here. He's only $129.99. That is pretty cool. Use the 20% off coupon, you get 25 bucks off. All right, let's come on over here and take a look at this guy. The scary sitting scarecrow. Hello, sir. Are you set up to activate? Maybe not, and I don't see a step pad for him, but we all know what he does. Man, look at the back of this too. This whole place is decked out. This stuff is so awesome. They went all out this year. Look at the flag on top here, and I love how the tent has torn holes in it. And look at these signs right here. We got a terrifying act, Young Crouchy. The terrifying act of Young Crouchy is his hairdo. <laughs> the one and only Monty. Look, it says alive down here. It says creepy on Young Young Crouchies, and then the inf what? The incredible flame spitter. Amazing. What? Is that like an animatronic they're coming out with, but they haven't announced it yet? Or am I just living under a rock and I don't know about it? That would have to be a big rock because I am a big boy. I know, right? <laughs> but you guys tell me if you know already, because I want to know something about this flame spitter. But what I'm really, really excited about, guys, is what's behind me. The spirit fun house of terror. I love when they have a setup you can actually walk through. And oh my gosh, look at Bobby Strings. He is so absolutely enormous. We're gonna save him for last. Let's go ahead and go straight through the middle here for a minute. We've had the chains of death. We've had the electricity of death. We've had the flames of death. Now we have the drapes of death. All right, let's go on through and see what awaits us in the fun house of terror through the drapes of death. Oh, look at this, it's like a fun house mirror here. Is it gonna like do something wavy? Maybe not, but look at the clown face on there. That looks pretty cool. Whoa, here's the wavy one. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be in here. Look at this, okay. So it's shaped, whoa, no it's not. It looks like it's shaped like that, but it's actually a flat mirror. That's kind of scaring me because it's making me look 10 times bigger than I actually am. Yeah, that's the ticket, even though I had two large donuts this morning. Look, it's like before donuts, after donuts. <laughs> before candy, after candy. <laughs> Curse you, mirror of fatness. Yikes, we gotta do something about you, buddy. Wait, it looks like there's another one over here. There's three of them. Do we have to relive this two more times? All right, let's take a walk through. Boom, whoa. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, baby. We get a little bit skinnier on this one. What the heck? Look at that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm never gonna make it through this storm having too much fun. I do not like the look of those hips. I look like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> this is funny, I don't even know if I, okay, now I know. I was trying to find out if I had my front or back camera on, but due to the mirrors, I couldn't tell. We're gonna, whoa! We're gonna check out this guy in just a second here. I'm pretty sure that was just Crouchy that jumped out and tried to kill us. But we have one more crazy mirror here to walk in. What's gonna happen here? Hmm, it makes me shorter and even fatter. <laughs> Is there a mirror that shows a treadmill? That would really be horror. And it doesn't help that I wore this orange shirt. I look like a giant peach. Oh boy. Okay, so we got another mirror over here, another cracked one. I mean, I think this mirror makes you look weird too, but you can't really tell through the clown face. But let's watch this over here for a second. Okay, we got a hand. Oh, poor George. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, it's okay, it was poor George. I thought it was Crouchy that jumps out and tries to kill us. That was pretty dang awesome right there. And he, okay, we got Jack the Reaper too. Oh my gosh, it is pretty awesome in here, but it is also pretty hot. So let's go back through the death right here. Whoa, right on the other side we have Nibbles. Holy crap, this is the one everybody's been waiting to see. No, I can't really say that because everybody's been waiting to see all of them. Oh my gosh, all right. So Nibbles apparently, I like that sucker with the bite out of it, but Nibbles apparently like watches you and you can see how there's a little sensor on the tip of his nose there. I like how they have the spilled popcorn down here too. All right, wait a minute, what the heck? We got a step here but it looks like it leads over to Wanda. Okay, we'll get to Wanda in a minute. Feel like you're being watched. I have motion track. Okay, that is not a step pad there. 
So this must actually go to him. Okay, here we go. I hit the thing over here. Hello, sir. Hmm. Are you watching me? Doesn't look like he's watching me. Let's try that again. Feel like you're being watched. I have motion tracking sensor technology. Okay. I hear you. So why don't you come a little closer and let's play a game? <laughs> if you hmm. win, you'll get a prize. If you lose, well, don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so there goes his head turning, but he never really follows me. I rem do I just not get it? What is he supposed to do? Is his head supposed to, like, turn as I walk around? Okay, so I'm just going to assume that he's not really working correctly right now. Maybe he's just not set up right. We'll see him in another store. Anyway, this is only the first store. So look at this chick. Wanda Webworth. What the heck is up with that face right there? Push the coin into the slot to start the show. Where's the show? Here's my coin. Come on now, what the heck, I wanna see Wanda Webworth working. Okay, well that is a bummer that we can't get Wanda going. I do like the clown up here, how he's shaking his head. I know, sir, I'm disappointed too. Okay, let's go ahead and move on from Wanda. Maybe she'll be working our second time around here. We got Cotton Candy Dan, who, as you guys know, I already bought and I love because he has one eye. But let's go ahead and get him going here. All right, Dan. I love the cotton candy down here. So I actually have him right now at the scare house. He is taken apart because my son put him together first. And there's a video on his channel if you want to see it, that other Nate guy on YouTube. But he put him together first. He took him apart after we built our own spirit in my yard. And so I'm going to have to set him up again myself because I want him set up at the scare house. But I think it is so hilarious how big this bucket is and how big his feet are. Look at those enormous things. What are those? I think Cotton Candy Dan was the one that everybody was so, so excited about getting this year. So let me know, if you guys bought him, do you love him as much as you thought you would? I definitely do. I love everything about him. I love how he has one eye and Elmo hair. All right, we're making our way around to Bobby Strings, but we're going to make him last in this section because I also want to come over here and check out Barnaby. So I got to say, Barnaby is actually smaller than I expected him to be. I thought he was just a reskin of Monty, but he's much smaller than Monty. Let's get him going here. <laughs> he's super loud. I think he is totally awesome. Look, I love how the paws, they didn't try to make the paws look like really evil or anything. They just look like teddy bear paws. That is hilarious. And I love how he just rocks back and forth on his ball. He is totally awesome. Smaller than I thought he would be, but he is awesome. Ooh, okay, we have Emily here. Let's go ahead and listen to her. Now, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that if you have Victor and Emily set up beside each other, they actually interact. I'm not positive about that. I know they have their own sayings, but I think they might even interact. I actually almost ordered them the other day, and then I held off until I could see them in person. And I'll tell you what, they look, well, she looks a lot better than I expected her to look even. What I really love about it is that this is based on a cartoon. So she looks so much more like the actual character than when you're trying to do like a Leatherface or Michael Myers or something and it never really looks like the character, but she looks exactly like Emily. And sorry, the music is just so loud we can't even hear what she's saying right now. And let's just look at this real quick here before we move on down to Bobby Strings because this just looks so absolutely awesome. Even behind Barnaby and behind Bobby Strings, we have the crazy mirrors. Oh my gosh, look, we have Spock. 
spotlights going too, one on each side. And the only way I saw them is because it turned around and blasted me in the eyeball socket. It was probably trying to protect me from my image in that mirror. All right, guys, here he is, Bobby Strings. I think there's a lot of people this season who don't really care much for him. But man, I love this guy, especially just seeing how he looks. He is absolutely enormous. His shoes are enormous. They look like they've been whittled out of a piece of wood. Same with his hands. Look at that. I love all the detail in there and his face especially. Now the thing about him that people really are not liking is his voice. I've only heard it one time in the video that's online. So we're going to hear it now for the first time in person. Let's get him going here. All right, we got to try it again. The music was so loud. Here we go. <laughs> so he has a little bit of music going in the background, like the circus music. He's laughing right now, and apparently that's all he's doing. <laughs> but I know he talks as well, so let's just do this again. All right, here we go. So his sayings are really, really long. So seeing him in person, I definitely do not agree with the people who are saying he's this year's Johnny Punk. I completely understand what they're talking about with the voice and he kind of is like a little bully. So yes, I get that that part is reminiscent of Johnny Punk, but I mean, this guy's enormous. The build is absolutely awesome. And as far as the voice, like what other kind of a voice would you expect him to have? He's a little boy puppet. So I don't know what else you would expect him to sound like. I think they got the voice as good as they could get it for what he is. I will say this though, it wouldn't hurt to run a brush through that hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, these lights keep zapping my corneas. All right, so there's a look at the setup from this side. I can't really get a better view from going down here because it's so close to those aisles there. But I have to say, as unexcited as I was in the beginning to hear that they were doing a full circus display, I'm absolutely blown away by this. I think it looks absolutely awesome in every way, shape, and form. Speaking of form, hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. This is a display I haven't seen in the stores before. They have all these lights, and they actually have a display up here to show you what they look like. That is really cool. Ghosty Girl, the Hanging Flame Light, Blue or Green Fire and Ice, Bats, Whirl Emotion, Haunting Reaper, and Red or Purple. When I was planning my build for the spirit I put in my front yard, I was actually considering getting some of these because I know how it looks inside that giant inflatable, and I thought it would be cool to have something like this on the walls. Anyway, let's go ahead and come around here, see if there's anything else set up that we're missing and there might be some more on the other side, but I do see a whole bunch of animatronics here. So let's take a look and see what they have for sale on the floor right here, right now. And first and foremost, guys, I just have to say, look at the size of the Bobby Strings box. That is an enormous box right there. Man, that thing's huge. All right, so we got a Bobby Strings there. Of course, we have the jumping spiders, a swinging witch. We got a scary sitting scarecrow. Ooh, we got one, two, three, four, five of those. We got two Wanda Webworths there. Cotton Candy Dan, Nibbles the Clown, Scream, here's the ghost face in stock right here. Look at this, guys. They actually have an Exorcist Reagan in stock. We got a creepy crimson girl on a swing. We got the Night Terror over here, the Howling Spirit. And then another Empty Soul Girl out here. Is there anybody else in there hiding? It doesn't look like it. All right, let's come on back up this way before we get too deep into anything else in the store here. Just see if there's any other animatronics or anything that we are missing. Sorry to be swinging you around. And I am pretty sure that we saw everything that there is to see as far as the animatronics in the store. I see they do have a big stack up here, but I think that belongs to everything that they actually have set up throughout the store. Hmm, why yes, I do want to get snuggy and watch a Halloween movie tonight. Oh my gosh, guys, there is just so much awesome stuff to be seen in here. I see so many new things, but I'll tell you what, 
I've already been in here filming for about an hour. This is going to be a super long video, just taking the first initial look at the carnival. And even though I am super excited, I think we will just make this the end of this video so that we can come back around and see the rest of the awesome stuff like this Michael Myers here. Look how cool this guy looks. Oh my gosh, he's totally awesome. What is he? 50 bucks. Michael, look at that hairdo. He's got an elongated head. <laughs> oh man, I'm very tempted to buy Chucky today because I'm also decorating my basement for movie nights, for Halloween movie nights, and I don't have a Chucky. All right, how much is he? $89.99. Man, should I get him or do I hold out for the animatronic Chucky from Home Depot? Okay, I'm gonna hold off for now. I need to go so I can film Fan Mail Friday because a whole bunch of people sent me stuff and I know they are waiting. Holy crap, that stuff looks so awesome. I can't wait to show you guys. All right, wait a minute. Let's check this guy again and see if he's working correctly before we go because he seems to be moving a little bit more than he was before. Okay. You caught my eye. Don't worry, I'm just admiring your costume. Hey, you over there! Yeah, you! I'm giving out some candy! The heck, man! I thought this would be a great way to make some friends! So come a little closer and try to take some! What do you say? <laughs> I'm homeless! Mostly! <laughs> Yeah, it's so weird because I don't know if it's just supposed to be his eyes that are moving, following you. But as I move around, he definitely does not follow me. So hopefully in the next store he will. And hopefully Wanda will be attacking us in the next store as well, too. Oh, hello, rat. <laughs> Up with all these guys reading the map wrong. How are you supposed to find your nuts with one eye? <laughs> Guys, we are headed out right now on a spooky adventure to the Spirit Halloween Store in Alliance, Ohio. And let me tell you, it is crazy out here right now. Holy crap, guys. Look at this rain. It is pouring out here right now. It is dark. It is spooky. There is lightning and thunder. And it is a perfect day to go on a Spirit Halloween adventure. Oh, did you see it? Did you see the lightning? This rain is just pouring down and there is some crazy thunder. I've been trying to catch it on film here because it's so loud. And here we are. What the heck, man? Are they even open? It's 20 after 11. They were supposed to open at 11. I'm going to be very put out. Man, it doesn't even look like they're open, guys. But if you're still watching this video, you know that they are because it means I got in the store. All right, somebody else is walking up to the door right now. It's the moment of truth. Are they going to get in? The door is open. Yes. All right, guys, here we go. Alliance Ohio Spirit Halloween. I got my little shoulder buddy with me, and I am getting absolutely so I think it's been about three years since they had a location right here at this area in Alliance, Ohio. I did, oh, did you see the lightning? Holy crap, that was awesome. I did peek inside just to make sure that they were open. There were a couple of little fans. Oh, oh, oh my God, I finally got the awesome thunder. Holy crap, it's still rolling, guys. What in the world? This is the best day to be at a Spirit Halloween ever. And the best thing about this location is that if you look behind me, there is a spooky cemetery right across the street. And I guarantee that thunder just woke up every one of the dead. Anyways, like I was saying, guys, it's been about three years since there's been a location right here. This is a pretty good looking store. I did go inside for a second just to make sure they were open. There were a couple of little fans who you're probably gonna end up seeing in the background. I got to say hi and take a picture of them, but let's go ahead in. Man, for a minute I thought I got lied to. Let's go ahead in and check out this store guys and here's my little fans that saw me when we first came in we took an awesome picture together and now they get to be in the video 
Okay, before we get started, somebody asked me yesterday where I got this little shoulder buddy guy, and I got him from a place called Screamium Online. They're only like 12 bucks a piece. They're pretty awesome, and I thought it would be fun to bring one of these with me on every one of these spirit adventures this season. What do you think about that, buddy? Spirit! Spirit! All right, let's get in here, quit fooling around, and check out this store, guys. Look at this. I love how when you walk in the door, you can just see, like, a whole plethora of awesome spookiness waiting for us. We got the bags over here. Look at this whole wall of spider webs over here. This is totally awesome. We got the shirts over here. We got some plush over here. I know there's something right around in here that I want to see, but we'll come back to that a little bit later. Okay, look at this poster. I was in Canton's location yesterday, and I did not see this poster. Carnival missed out on your favorite act. Scan the QR code to see them in action. All right, that's really cool. So we got all these animatronics right here that are available to buy. They each have a QR code. And here's one right here. I'm just going to zoom in for a second. You can scan that if you want to. And apparently it takes you to where you can watch each and every one of these animatronics in action. Wait a minute. The Dark Princess. Oh yeah, I have seen her. For a minute I thought I hadn't seen her yet. But look at this, we got Emily, Victor, Art, Ghostface, Giant Death Ray, Wanda Webworth, Bobby Strings, Max Straw, Nibbles, Ringmaster, Ghostface. Okay, so this is the animatronic Ghostface. This is the one that's static, but he still lights up and screams. We got the Night Terror, Demonic Gatekeeper, Cremator, Gravestone Ghoul, Towering Tallulah, who I saw in a video yesterday real quick and looks a lot better than I thought she was going to look. We got Cotton Candy Dan, Dark Princess, Barnaby the Bear, Gordo, Emmeline, Cauldronous, Crypt Keeper, Cer Cerberus, and Dagger Mike. I want to take a look at these t-shirts in a little bit here. Oh my gosh, they have a Billy Loomis t-shirt. We're going to come back to those in a minute because I just want to take a walk around the store. Look at this. We got Cotton Candy Dan waiting right here on the floor for sale for your Halloween pleasure. So this is a smaller store, so I don't expect them to have all the animatronics set up, but I may be surprised once we get to the back there. But we do have this guy right here, Mac Straw. And I love how they hang all the plush out here. Look at this. We got Michael Myers, Ghostface, and Sam on this side. What the heck is this? Is this a zombie seagull? What the heck? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I thought there were some more on the other side, but I think it's just another ghost face. We do have the Wheel of Fate over here that we're going to play with in just a minute. But first, I want to take a look at Max Straw here again. I almost called him Jack Straw. <laughs> <laughs> he is so much more awesome in person than I thought he was going to be. Okay, so let's come on over here to the Wheel of Fate. I spun this yesterday in the Canton location, but I was kind of scared to actually spin it fast. There goes a running lady. It looks like it's pretty solid back here, though, so I think we're safe to actually spin it kind of fast. So here we go. See if we can win with this one. Will we win or will it be our skin? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Oh! We came so close, it landed on the eye, the all-seeing eye. So all my skin is gonna get ripped off. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way back through the store here for a minute. I wanna see if they have any other animatronics set up anywhere. Like I said, this is a smaller store, but it is pretty long, so we never know. There might be some stuff back here. I see all kinds of zombie babies and all kinds of new stuff. We're gonna check it all out in just a second. Oh, I saw the secret keeping cat. Okay, so no, we don't have any other animatronics set up in here. However, I did notice we have a stack of jumping spiders. We we have the sitting scarecrow right over here. And then over here, hidden at the back of the store, we have two Wanda Webworths. I have not got to see her in action yet. I was so disappointed yesterday when she wasn't working at the Canton location. So she is $269.99. If you have a 20% off coupon, that's going to take off probably about 50 bucks. I will more than likely end up buying her by the end of the season, but just not quite yet. The Hummer is actually full to the brim right now anyway, because I just cleaned all my crystals. Christmas stuff out of my other storage location. Okay, we have a ghost face animatronic here. Okay, wait a minute. It's not the animatronic. It is actually the static animatronic. This is the one where the, the knife and his face lights up. He doesn't actually move, but he does make the slashing and screaming noises. Looks like we have another one of those right over here. And look at this. He's right beside the brand new for 2024 
purple hair, spinning eyes clown. This guy is pretty cool. Look at this. He is eight feet tall. He's holding a knife, which I didn't notice before, and his eyes spin. If you guys remember, I have the one that's 10 feet tall. I think he has either red or green hair. His eyes spin as well, and I believe he actually came from Party City years ago. His hair is actually like a fur, though, the one that I have at home. And remember, I left it out in the rain, and that fur was soaked. So this guy is $69.99. He would make a perfect clown buddy with spinning eyes for the other one. 20% off coupon would make him about 55 bucks. Let's look at the other inflatables since we're over in this area right here. I love this hearse right here. Look at this. He's It's 14 feet long long. I called the hearse a he. He's 14 feet long and he has four skeletons in there. We've got the wolf up here. He's three feet tall. We've got the gargoyle. It's five feet tall. We got the ghost up here. Oh, he's an eight foot tall ghost. I think they have a shorter one than that as well. We got the hello rat that's three and a half feet. We got the jack-o-lantern that's four feet. We got a scarecrow here that's four feet. And then we have the trio of the killer clowns down there on the floor. Guys, everywhere I turn, I'm seeing things that I've never seen before. They have a lot of new stuff for this season. Like, look at this. In the creepy dolls, we've got Matchstick Mary. She probably read the map wrong with her one eye! Okay, let's see what kind of sound she makes. Where do you push it? Oh. What? Does she just scream? Is that all? Maybe she just yelled, one eye! I can't understand what she's saying because she's so very quiet and I don't feel that there is a volume button on her anywhere. But she is totally awesome looking. I love that little hairdo she has. And look at this, half of her face is eaten away where you can see her teeth. Gross. Of course, we got Monkey Chimes from last year. He's awesome. Who do we have down here? Loving Lilith. Oh, she's one from last year as well. And then we have Pestilence Pete. I have not seen him before, so he's new for this year. So he's like a Plague Doctor doll. What's he holding? Oh, he's holding a walking stick too. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see what he does. He talks, but he's so very quiet. I do love how the eyes light up though. Check that out. That is really cool. We got the demonic dolly down here that went viral like last year, no, two years ago, I think. And look at this, we have one called Pen Penelope Pigtails. And look, she actually does have a couple of little pigtails there. How funny is that? All right, I hate to be the person who pulls the tab, so let's not do that. Now, since they have the announcement over the head, the music's down, let's see if we can. <laughs> I love the scream, just the one single little scream. That's hilarious. They got a lot of these dolls in here this time, actually. Look at this. We got the decrepit Hana doll, the butcher from last year, Eerie Emma. Oh, and more decrepit Hana dolls. Decrepit Donna, as we call her. Let me just take a walk back here real quick. Just make sure I didn't miss any animatronics that are, like, sitting on the floor for sale. Because sometimes they hide them around corners. Oh my gosh, they have some awesome new zombie characters we're going to check out in a minute over there by the Secret Keeping Cat. And we got to look at these guys on the end in a second, but first let's say hello to our classic zombie baby friends here. We've got a trio of rat eaters here. We've got two of the pumpkin eaters, Gutsy Gwen. Oh, they're not turned on right there. And they both have the tags on them. I hate to be the person to pull the tags. I don't know why. I just feel like as soon as that tag comes out, the battery starts draining. We've got a quadruplet of spider biters. A duo of hand eaters. We've got a crawling baby down here. And then we have the butt baby. He has a butt. All right, let's check these guys out on the end here. So last year, we were able to see the Pennywise, who is totally awesome and the ghost face. They've got two of those. And this year they came out with the Michael Myers Horror Baby. This guy is totally awesome. And by the end of the season, I guarantee you I will have bought him. These are so well made too. They're heavy, they're thick, no thick jokes, please. And they're solid foam. They're not like a 
hollow plastic or anything. Whoa, they've got a gargoyle skeleton. Look at the face on that guy. All right, so this is very cool. Look at these new zombie characters they have this year. Well, wait a minute. First, let's say hello to Scabs and Carrot, best friends forever. The secret keeping cat. There's a quadruplet of secret keeping cats. I even wore the secret keeping cat shirt today and they still won't tell me any of their secrets. We've got the creeping cats here and then look at this. New for this year is this crow. I think it is. He's not zombified, but he is a spooky crow. All right, let's see. He's $24.99. I would love to have a couple of those around the scare house. We saw the zombified seagull over there. And this guy, I don't know. I think he's hollow, but he's very solid. He is zombified, and he looks totally awesome. But yeah, I think he's a different material than, like, the secret-keeping cat. The secret-keeping cat and the rest of these are obviously, like, a foam-filled latex. But this guy, he just feels like he's a hollow plastic, but a very thick plastic. Says he contains latex, $24.99. He's pretty cool. And then this guy beside him, the zombified squirrel. Look at this guy. One, one eye. What is up with all these guys reading the map wrong? How are you supposed to find your nuts with one eye? <laughs> oh my God, I'm a dork. Okay, check this guy out though. The end of his tail is bonafide. He's, it's been ripped off and he has bones sticking out. And I love how he has two teeth right there. All right, go back to your home, Bucky. All right, I see we do have the classic hook eye guy and the hook head hog. All right, let's leave some stickers here before I forget. But look at this. We've got these light up characters here and these are all pretty awesome. We've got Annabelle, Ghostface. We got this guy. Wait a minute, he's got a try me button. Okay. Oh, no, he's not working either. We got this guy and this guy, and this is the one that everybody seems to be getting pretty excited about this year. The Crypt Keeper. He is pretty cool looking. I don't think he's light up, though. I think he's just a statue. $44.99. He is pretty cool looking. Look at that face. He is pretty creepy looking. I think I have two or three Tales from the Crypt DVDs. We've got lots of plush throws here, including, I think, two that I haven't seen before. We'll start with this one right here. Crazy in Love. It's Chucky. And look at that. It's reversible, so you can use the side with all roses or the side with the lovers. And then we've got this awesome one here from Beetlejuice, the brand new movie Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is coming out this year. And this one depicts Beetlejuice as a rattlesnake. Look at that. That is really cool. Black light fabric, too. It glows under the black light. Hello, Oogie Boogie. We've got a whole plethora of zeros here. And then look at this. We got a bouncy head Scooby back there. Look at this. I think this mask is new for this year. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. I actually was watching that movie the other night. It's hilarious and it's disgusting. Oh, cool. Look at this. It's ghost face soap dispensers. This one has the silver ghost face, I guess you'd call it chrome, and it has blood on it. And this one has the classic ghost face on it. That is really cool. I wonder if this is a soap dish as well for like a bar of soap. Oh my gosh, look at this. They have dodgeball costumes and average Joe's hoodies. I haven't seen that before. That's cool. What is this? A Fortnite banana hammer, a peely pick pickaxe. That is hilarious. Okay, I'm just kind of wandering and looking for stuff to pop out at me that I haven't seen before. Here's a leather Catwoman jacket. Okay. Okay, this is hilarious. It's minion gloves if you're going to dress up as a minion and it has three fingers. Dr. Eggman costume. I'm not too familiar with Sonic, so I've never seen him before, but that is pretty funny. Ugh, disgusting. The terrifier. I think I actually have this mask at home. <laughs> we got the sunflower glasses here, some terrifier socks, and a terrifier sweatshirt. Dear children, do not watch Terrifier. Seriously, it's sick. We got the ghost faces here, and I think I have every one of these except for this guy, strictly because I don't get anything with horns. But it does look awesome. You can go back to heck, sir. I do love this giant cardboard cutout of Ghostface up here, though. That is totally awesome. I cannot wait to see the new Beetlejuice movie. We got the Barbara mask here. I don't think that has anything to do with the mo new movie, but 
we also have the Atom Mask. Where's the eye? Oh, the eyes are back here to put on your fingers. Okay, look at this. We got some masks from Nightmare Before Christmas. We got Lock, Shock, I Don't See Barrel, but we do have this one right here. Includes attachable spinning propeller. That is totally cool. I should get that for my wall in my movie room. That would be totally awesome, but I gotta think about what kind of space I have on my wall, because I have new posters coming, like six new posters I think, and I think I have a little bit of room at the end of them. I'm pretty sure lock, shock, and barrel would fit, because they're like longer and thinner. This guy's pretty big around, so I'm not sure if I have that much space. Here's a Jack Skellington mask. That one would probably fit. We got some Freddy stuff over here, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I actually have this glove. I think I bought it last year, and you probably saw it in my video where I built my own spirit store. Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees. I also have one of these masks that I might put on the wall as well. They are definitely stocked in the Chucky department here. I don't think I have a Chucky poster coming, but that is a pretty cool mask right there. Okay, and coming up front here, there are two things that I've been waiting to see, guys, and this is one of them right here. These are the mini horror baby characters. I don't know what these are made of. Maybe some kind of a resin. Yeah, they're $14.99. That is really cool. And look at this. We also have Pennywise here. And then we have Ghostface. And that appears... Oh, wait. There's some down here, too. Cool. All right, look. We got Sam down here. That one's awesome. And it looks like that's all for the moment. But they do have four of them, and those look awesome. And the other thing that I want to find is the mystery bag clips. They have new mystery bag clips for this year. A new series. Whoa, guys. Look at this. They have a whole bunch of new ones for this year. These are the ones that I was actually looking for right here, but then I spotted the Hocus Pocus. And look, in this one they have J and Ice. And look, they also have Hollywood in his tie-dyed shirt. Look at this, we also have Wednesday. We have some Nightmare Before Christmas, which are these new? I think these are new, because I don't recall having that guy right there. We got Coraline here. Trick or Treat. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is cool. I don't think I have those at all. Though Maybe those are new for this year. Holy crap, that other Nate guy is going to go nuts. Look at this. Killer Clowns from Outer Space figural bag clips. That says Series 2, but I don't remember ever seeing Series 1. And wait a minute. What is this? Wait a minute. First of all, here's more horror clips. Series 7, The Lost Boys. That's cool. And then look at this. It's other spirit ones that are not the animatronics. It's just like ghosts and pumpkins and cats dressed up like ghosts. Oh my god, I'm gonna go broke this season. Not only that, but my pants are falling down. <laughs> All right, I gotta leave a few more stickers. Let's leave some for the zombie babies and the zombie squirrels. Hope you find your nuts. And we'll leave some here by this cowboy hat. All right, I'm gonna get the lock and shock for the walls downstairs. I'll find barrel at the next store. All right, guys, here we go. We're taking off, but not before making the $5 donation. Make sure if you go into your spirit, when you leave, you make a donation to the spirit of children. And here it goes, right on top in the middle. Thank you so much. Okay, that was fun. It looks like everything is wet out here, but the rain has pretty much subsided. So you can see the spooky cemetery across the street there a little bit better now. Man, that place is spooky. And look, there's like steam rising back there. That is awesome. All right, and I know that I forgot to look at the shirts, but we'll look at them in the next store. It's only the beginning of the season. <laughs> Man, look at the gums on that guy. He's got some serious gingivitis. <laughs> Spirits open, let's go! Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, today I am in St. Clairsville, Ohio at this Spirit Halloween inside an abandoned Sears at the Ohio Valley Mall. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I do this location every year. Wait, did I make it out here last year? I think I did. Is this 
was it just last year that they did the pie in the face? I donated like 50 bucks and then the manager had to take a pie in the face. That might have been two years ago, I don't remember, but let's go ahead and go in. I got my little green buddy with me today on my shoulder. It seems like every year they have a different sign up there. All right, here we go, guys. I am super excited. I absolutely love Spirit Halloween. All right, guys, this is awesome. I already see a ton of stuff set up that I have not seen in other stores. There's lots of animatronics on the floor. We are going to check this whole place out here, starting with the Night Terror right here in the front. Look, this guy is only 100 bucks. Every time I see him, I like him a little bit more. Let's go ahead and get him going again here. I wonder if his eyes, his whole face stays lit up. Somebody said it reminds them of E.T., which I can totally see that since the head goes out so far. And right beside him, they actually have three of them right here, right now, for sale on the floor. Night Terror. Look at this. Check out the box even looks awesome. Look at his hands. Like, I don't know why I love the animatronic hands so much. Ooh. All right, look, he like legit just scared me, even though I knew it was coming. Like, let's just compare the size of his hands with mine. They're much bigger, and I love how creepy the knuckles look. Maybe that's what we should call you. We should just call you Creepy Knuckles. Knuckles the Night Terror. All right, let's move on over here to Ghost Face. I got the bloody Ghost Face mask on him, and look at this. They have the knife in his hand. The last one we saw had the machete, and the machete is the one that doesn't really make sense whenever he's stabbing because the motion that he makes is that he's stabbing so let's go ahead and get him going here i love how his head goes to the side you teach a class about slashers and you still walked into a dark alley Hello. yeah that looks much better with the knife makes a lot more sense Somebody online the other day actually said that they bought him and then they put the 25th anniversary mask on him. That would look cool. I just wonder if you could actually like put the 25th anniversary gown on him too, or if you'd have to modify it because there's Velcro going up the back. So you might actually have to cut it to make it go on right. I don't know. You might have to put a little hole in the front too for the sensor there. Yeah, I like how they have the night terror out over here. I've seen a lot of pictures online and there's always somebody different standing in this location here, but it's always ghost face. All right, straight ahead guys. I know you see him and you wanna see him up close. There is Art the Clown. We're gonna see him in just a second. Let's go ahead and go straight through here. I love the carnival sign. That is the coolest ever. All right, let's go ahead through here. Oh, look at this, guys. They actually have, I couldn't remember your name, Towering Tallulah. This thing looks so much more awesome in person than I ever expected. Now look at this. I am partially colorblind, but to me, this looks green. So tell me if that is correct. Is that a green shroud? And is that a green face. Oh my gosh, look at that face. And I gotta look at the hands here. Check that out. Those hands look spooky. They remind me of Frankenstein's monster. Okay, I'm sorry. Hold on. We gotta back up because in front of Towering Tallulah, we actually have Gordo. Now, I don't... Okay, wait a minute. I do see a step pad over here. I don't know if this goes to Gordo or Towering Tallulah, but let's find out. Who is it? Oh, it's Gordo. Okay, here we go. Come on now, Gordo. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, that looks like it jumped up a lot higher than the one that I actually have at home. Right now, I have mine set up in a basement. And if you guys have not seen this video, make sure you go over to my other channel, Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. I did a makeover of the entire basement. I got this guy down there and Michael Myers. And right beside Gordo, they actually have two Gordos on the floor for sale. And I'm about to knock this one over. <laughs> Look at this. They even have a tower. Towering Tallulah for sale right here, or is that just a box? Nope, that's a legit one. That one is in the box and for sale. You can take it home right here, right now. But I want to see this guy in action. And let me ask you guys, maybe I'm wrong. I keep calling Towering Tallulah a girl, but is it a guy? Is it a guy? Is it a girl? It doesn't matter. He, she is towering and scary. Before we hit the button, let's get a close up of that face. Oh my lord. Look at that thing. That is creepy. All right, let's hit it and see what happens. All right, tower. Here we go. Here we go. 
Here we go. We're gonna... <laughs> that was awesome. I didn't think I was going to like this guy as much. Wait. Your curiosity and trespassing has cost you your mortality. Fear not. For you will have eternal existence. Spellbound to me. Wow, she just keeps talking and talking and talking. That was a seriously long phrase. And I know I didn't even have a camera on her for most of the time. Because I was just trying to hear what she was saying. All right, hold on a minute. Let's just look at the box over here. Okay, let's look at the box here, guys. Because maybe this is going to answer our question whether this is a chick or a dude. We got to go around to the back here. Tallulah was forced to marry young to a man. That answers our question right there. Tallulah is officially a chick. A scary, creepy, green chick. Check. All right, I got to do it one more time here, because that was cool. All right, Tallulah, do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, when I first saw her, I thought, man, that's like an overkill, because I already have Mr. Dark, they already have Hexpawn, and now they have Tallulah on the same frame. It does the same thing. But I was wrong. She turned out to be totally awesome. I'll tell you what, I am very, very, very tempted to buy her today. Do I have room in the Hummer? I still got all my Christmas stuff in the Hummer from the storage unit. Okay, let's go ahead past Tallulah here and let's check out the fortune teller booth right here. Look at it. There is a little fortune teller inside there telling my fortune already. And down here we have the evil seagull, which somebody just named Stephen Seagull. Wait, look at this. There's an actual carnival ticket right here. Are they selling these or are these just part of the props? That is really cool. I wish I would have thought about it and made some of those for my inflatable spirit store. Okay, let's go ahead over here and check out Max Straw. But before we check out Max Straw, we're going to have to spin the Wheel of Fate. I always lose on the Wheel of Fate. Let's see what happens right now. Right here, right now. Oh, it's not ticking the way it should. Maybe this is supposed to be down. Hold on now, hold on. Okay, yeah, okay, let's do it one more time because I just died a death with a skull. Here we go. What the heck? It's not working right. <laughs> I did it wrong. All right, well, let's see where it lands anyway. Congrats, you get to live. That's what I'm talking about. Thank God the wheel of fate wasn't working correctly. I get to live. Oh, look at this. I walked right past them. They have two ghost faces here. How cool is that? Here's the bloody face, and I have yet to seen one set up with this face. But it's just the beginning of the season, so that will be coming soon. Hello, Hunt Former. Mac Straw. Look at this. We got the plush ghost faces and Michael Myers right up front. Let's go ahead and get him going here. <laughs> yeah, I like him so much more than I ever thought I would. And I don't know what it is about crow sounds, but I absolutely love crow sounds at Halloween. It's so spooky. All right, don't worry. We're making our way over to art, but first we have to take a look at the giant death ray look how absolutely enormous he is he's just like slender man if you put a suit on him if anybody does that make sure you post a picture on that nate guys and gals on facebook i want to see him dressed up like slender man in a suit all right let's go ahead and get him going here there's his lights and his evil alien sounds he is totally awesome and i absolutely love the size of his hands. His hands are so huge. Whenever I see the huge hands on an animatronic like this, I just always think they want to reach out, grab my skull, and crush it. Oh my gosh, guys, I just turned around and was very surprised to see this animatronic on the floor for sale. I'm going to show you in just a minute. Because there is a lot of stuff in here, but let's go ahead over here and check out art, because I know you are all 
waiting. Check this out. He's got his horn down here. He has his fingerless gloves on, and he has his sunglasses on. The daisy sunglasses. Are they daisies? I think they're daisies. And look how wide his shoes are. Those things are enormous. He's got a serious case of club foot. <laughs> and the face on him actually looks really, really good. I'd like to see his eyes, but I don't want to take the glasses off. All right, I believe that this is the trigger for him. Yep, here he goes. And it's like overkill on the horn. <laughs> he is pretty awesome. And let's do it again because I want to see his hand waving. Watch this, his hand waves. That is really cool. That is so creepy. And if you've ever seen the Terrifier movies, puke, Ugh, sick. <laughs> All right, let's just back up a second here so we can appreciate the down the duck game. We got the ducks over here. We got the, uh, the little laser guns here that shoot the ducks. Let's see if we can actually, do they actually move? The guns make sounds, but they're very, very quiet, and you can hear the circus music going. There's one duck moving over here. Look at this. Behind art, one duck moving. The rest of them must have got blown to smithereens. All right, we got the classic sitting scarecrow over here. Hold on, we gotta put some stickers in his bucket. Hold on now. All right, let's put a couple in there. Apparently his sensor is not on, but he does have a step pad. There he is. Oh, he's the scary sitting scarecrow. All right, enjoy your stickers, mister. And right in front of him, we have a whole stack of sitting scarecrows and scary sitting scarecrows for sale. I wonder what I was gonna call him. Scary sitting carecrows. We can't ignore the hello rat. And hold on, let me just take a look at the flyer here because I haven't taken a good look at that. That looks totally awesome. Okay, right over here, check this out, guys. We actually have two Art the Clowns for sale here. They actually have a Mr. Punchy over here. And then look over here at what I see. What the heck? They have a Toothy the Clown for sale. I thought this guy was online only. He's actually much bigger than I thought he would be. It must be the head. The head is probably gigantic. And look at those teeth. Speaking of toothies. Mouth moves as he speaks. Wow, it doesn't look like the mouth would move, but it says the mouth moves as he speaks. I don't even see a price on him. I wonder how he made his way into the store. That's so cool. That's one thing I love about going to so many different stores. You see different things in every single one. And people say I'm crazy when I say, oh, you might see that in a store, but there he is, Toothy the Clown. All right, below him we have a giant death ray beside him we got a max straw is this another yeah we got two max straws and then on the other side we have a black heart guys they have an awesome selection of animatronics here they are totally stocked look at this they even have a heckles over here holy crap they got a heckles they got a death wait they got a death stalker in the store what did i tell you this is why i go to so many different stores now tell me if i'm wrong or not but i believe that death stalker also so was only supposed to be available online. Man, look at the gums on that guy. He's got some serious gingivitis. <laughs> and then look at this on the other side, we have a buzzsaw. I have been so up in the air of whether or not I want to buy a buzzsaw. I know I don't have room in the Hummer today, but he is pretty dang awesome. And I would like to have him just because he's in the Spirit Halloween movie. Man, guys, this store is absolutely killing it with animatronics and they even have more over here. Oh my God, the whole row down here is full of more animatronics. Check this out, we actually have two Monty monkeys here. Two Monty monkeys. We got a straw man here, an Emmeline down on the bottom. We got another Emmeline here. Is this Emmeline? We got three Emmelines in this store, guys. How crazy is that? We got a Slim over here. And look at this, holy crap. We have Papa pins, stilts, and then we got two cotton candy Candy Dan's. Man, I thought Cotton Candy Dan's box was huge, but look at stilts. Look at this. I am like barely in the store. I just came from that door over there. I've only made my way over here, and we have already seen so much awesome stuff, guys. I absolutely love stores like this that are so stocked up. Plus, we got all this to look at. Oh my gosh, I see stuff hanging up and on the shelves that I have never seen before, but we're gonna save that stuff 
Whoa! If I don't show this one right now, we may never see it again. It is a new zombie baby for 2024. Look at that. Her name is Barbara Wire, and she actually is chewing on barbed wire. That little girl is awesome. Oh my gosh, look, she's got barbed wire wrapped around her arm, around her neck. That is so cool and creepy. Look at that. The pigtails look like horns. And look at the yellow eyes. All right, I had to show you that one just in case they don't have her in other stores because those are flying off the shelf. But look at this. Over here, guys, we have two bobby strings. Holy crap. We have the corpse bride. Emily, Emily, and I believe this is Emily on the other side here too. Yes, they have three Emilys. I actually just bought Emily and Victor. I put them together in another video. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure you go back in my videos and watch that. And because honestly, these are some of the best looking animatronics I have ever seen. I don't see Victor sitting anywhere in here yet, but we're only halfway through the store. Look at this. We have two Barnaby Bears in here. I told you they were stocked. One, two, three, four, five man's possessed friend. You can always bank on finding Bubba in these stores. Look at this. We have two demonic gatekeepers over here. We have a howling spirit. Oh my gosh, this guy is huge. Raises from three feet five inches to four feet seven inches. Lights up with orange LEDs. Speaks four lines while laughing evilly. Wait, was he also supposed to be online only? Maybe not. I don't know who I'm thinking of, but I don't know. You guys tell me. Oh my gosh, I just can't believe how much stuff they got in here. Look at this. We have a whole plethora of jumping spiders. We got the black jumping spiders, the gray jumping spiders, and the black and red jumping spiders. Look at us on the other side of the post. We have three dagger mics. If you missed getting Dagger Mike, I highly recommend him. He is an awesome jump scare. We are making our way over here, guys. There's even more over there. We got the empty soul girl on a swing here. Uh, more empty soul girls here. Look at this. We have an exorcist Reagan hiding over here. We got a swinging witch here. We got two grave watchers. We got a spike animatronic here. I thought he was online only as well, like two years ago, maybe? There's that snake I kept talking about getting last year. Oh my gosh, they have another inflatable that I have never, ever seen. I'm just going to tell you what it's called. It's called the Dual Masked Inflatable. I'm not going to show you right now because we've already had so much fun looking at all these animatronics and there are even more to go. I have to save some stuff for other stores. All right, let's keep on moving over here. Look at this. We got a collector's minion right here. I thought he was online too. Look at this. We have three gravestone gruels. What the heck? I called them gruels. Gravestone gruels. We have three gravestone ghouls here. That's actually a smaller box than I expected with that guy. He's pretty good looking though. Look at the face on him. That is pretty cool and I love that creepy hair. It's so disgusting. Oh my gosh guys, I'm so excited to be in here right now. I see so much stuff that I have never seen before. But like I said, we have to save some for other stores in case I walk in and they don't have any animatronics. I will show you this though because these are flying off the shelves too. The Halloween 2 statue pumpkin skull. Check that out. It's got a try me button. Ooh, he's not turning on, but I think he lights up inside. That is awesome. Oh, and look at the back. It even says Halloween 2 on it. Oh, Danny girl, the Danny girls are Danny girls. I hear you nibbles will be there in a minute. I want to take a look at these really quick here. These hanging LED flame lights. Now, these are actually pretty small, but what I'm thinking with this is, if you guys saw the video, I have the giant 26-foot inflatable pumpkin that I just put up in my front yard. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you watch. I'm wondering if I hung this inside, would it look like an actual flame, like making that pumpkin flicker? Because I put some lights inside and it lights it up really good, but you really want it to look like it's got a big flame inside. I don't know, I'll have to think about that one. It probably would require a bigger one or maybe even several of those. All right, let's come over here and check this stuff out, guys. But first, let me show you this. We got Wanda Webworth over here. I don't know if she's set up in here or not. I haven't been through the whole story yet. And over here, we actually have a Nibbles on the floor for sale. Oh, look, they do have one to set up over here. Okay, let's start with Nibbles, though, because remember in the last store where I was trying to see his tracking motion feel like you're being watched? I have motion tracking sensor technology. 
and I couldn't get him to really follow me. It was really weird, but people have told me that you can't have your camera out. So first, let's just get him going here, see what he does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like the laughing, but I like it better when they actually talk. You can't escape my gaze, so why don't you come a little closer and let's play a game. <laughs> if you win, you'll get a prize. If you lose, well, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta say, I just wanted to see him in action and hear what he had to say, but as I was watching, a girl walked up and it appeared that he looked her straight in the eyes. All right, let's see, if I set the camera down here, maybe we can see if he actually does it. I've been watching you for a while now. I hope you don't mind. I like the way you walk. I can't help but follow you around with my gaze. You have a certain bounce in your step that's just so enticing. Mind if I follow you around for a bit longer? <laughs> So he did appear to work correctly. At first I thought he wasn't working right, but then he really did look straight at me and start following me around. Nibbles, you are one kooky character and that could be considered stalking. All right, Wanda Webworth. We know she's working in this store because we've heard her in the background this whole time I've been in here. So let's go ahead up and see if we can get her going here. Apparently she's on her sensor. Okay, whoa, okay. Look at that. She is so awesome. Yikes. She would be awesome to have set up in your movie room if you're watching Arachnophobia. Okay, let's come over to this side of the fun house here and let's get Cotton Candy Dan going. Apparently he's on the sensor as well. Is he on the sensor? Oh wait, no. He's got a step pad over here. Here we go. Cotton candy, Dan? Okay. Sometimes it's sweet. Sometimes it's not. All right, I got to back up a minute so you can see the whole thing happen. Hold on now. Okay, how strange. I noticed this motion going on as he was ending. He's like plunging the head in and out of the cotton candy bucket. I didn't notice mine doing that and I own him. Do you guys have him and did you notice him doing that? All right, let's get it going again here. Step back so we can see the whole thing. Come on, Dan. Get your cotton candy here. We've added some new ingredients. Okay, so yeah, watch this. When he starts to put the head back in the bucket, it's like he's plunging it in and out. What the heck? That's even creepier than just putting it back in the bucket. <laughs> How weird. Is that what he's supposed to do, guys? Because I didn't notice mine doing that. Okay, we got three more over here, but first let's talk about these posters. Everybody keeps asking, are the posters for sale? And the answer is... Some places they're for sale, some places they're not. Some places are selling them for a dollar each. Some places are saying that they're part of the display and they have to stay until the end of the season. So if you are dead set on getting one of those posters and you're told that you can't have it yet, just go to another store, they might sell it to you. Okay, so we're gonna go through the Fun House of Terror in a minute, but I've been putting it off because I did have more donuts this morning and I'm scared of the mirrors. On this side, we got Bobby Strings, we have Emily set up, and we have Barnaby the Bear. Who should we do first? Okay, I think let's do Barnaby the Bear. Okay, hold on. Let me look at the box here first because I've been curious how tall he is compared to Monty. So Barnaby the Bear, he is 5 feet 10 inches tall at the tallest point. Monty over here stands six feet tall. So Monty is actually a little bit taller than Barnaby. But let's go over here and see him in action. I love his ball. I love his little mitts here. Ooh, he's loud.
Yeah, I love how he like he reminds me of Goldilocks and the Three Bears because even though he has these gigantic fangs and scary eyes and he makes scary sounds, he has these little mitts here that are like just so loving. <laughs> And he has a gold ball, so it's like Goldilocks and the bear mitts. Goldie ball and the bear mitts. The feet, too, look. They just look like cuddly teddy bear feet. Look at the hands. They're so not threatening. Please don't eat me with your scary fangs, but you can hug me with your loving paws. All right, let's check out Emily over here. I don't know why the stores aren't getting Victor. Maybe he'll be coming later on. But let's go ahead and get her going. Like I said, I bought these. This is wrong. I was a bride. My dreams were taken from me. Oh, no. Now I've stolen them from someone else. I love you, Victor. But you are not mine. She is awesome. One of my favorite animatronics of all times, guys. I'm so glad I bought her. And if you haven't seen it again, I have both of them. I bought them. I set them up the other day. Go back on my channel. You can watch that video and you can hear them clear as day. In here, it's kind of tough to hear what they're saying. Plus, you can connect them with a wire so they kind of go back and forth and talk to each other. All right, guys, we have one left here and it is Bobby Strings. And everybody is up in the air with this guy, whether you like him or not. There are cool things. I think he is totally awesome myself. The only thing that I will point out that people are having a problem with is this part up here, how it's cardboard. So basically, like, if you set them up outside, that could get damaged. I'm not sure yet how you could fix that. I'd have to look at the mechanism, but you might actually be able to build a wooden one or maybe even plastic. But I don't leave my animatronics outside anyway, so, I mean, he would just be cool to have at the scare house. Okay, Bobby Strings, $309.99. Let's get him going. Tell you before you go to bed tonight. Once there was a handsome puppet that was so friendly that he gave you a big hug. This made you happy because you're the villain in the fairy tale and nobody likes you. Don't worry, I'll be your friend forever. No strings attached. I like him. I mean, not every animatronic has to be scary, guys, and I get it. He kind of sounds like Johnny Punk. He's sort of a bully, but he's totally awesome. All right, let's do that one more time. Oh, boy, you finally made it. I pulled some strings to get you here. Please come hang out with me, and I'll loop you in on the disturbing things that we have going on around here. The city of Mania is on the loose, but I wouldn't want to string you along I love how what he says just goes on and on and on. Like sometimes you don't want animatronics to talk, you want them just to stand there and be scary, especially if you have a haunt. But animatronics like this, I think it makes it much more worth the money when they talk long and they just yap, 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 yap. Okay, wow. We've seen all the animatronics in the store. I am pretty sure unless there's a part over there that I haven't seen yet but let's go through the spirit fun house here all right here we go guys the mirrors of fatness what the heck is going on right here <laughs> before donuts after donuts <laughs> that will never get old it's too hilarious we got the clown over here we have the fabric of death we got this guy going on over here Shh. He must be talking to the secret-keeping cat when he tells us to keep secrets. And we got more wacky mirrors over here. I love when they actually have a setup that you can walk through. It's so awesome. Okay, I just wanted to take a quick look back through here and see if there was any other animatronics or anything that I missed. And I don't think there are. There's so much other cool stuff in here that I want to show you guys so bad. But I've got other stores to go to today, so I'm going to save it for those in case they don't have animatronics. Okay, yeah, we haven't been around this side yet. Let's just take a quick look and see if there's any animatronics back here 
that we're missing. Sometimes they like to stick them in the corners and surprise us. Okay, we do need to leave some stickers before we leave. So let's put a couple here with art. Let's put some right by the fortune teller ball. We'll leave a couple here for Max Straw. We'll leave some in the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. Let's leave a couple with Emily here. And we'll leave a couple for Nibbles. And one die. There you go, miss. All right, guys, that was awesome. As always, St. Clairsville for the win. Great job with everything you guys got in there. open let's go <laughs> pick me up in an hour <laughs> all right guys I am at Colony Square What's it called? Colony Square Mall in Zanesville, Ohio. And here's a very small looking spirit Halloween back here. Actually, I don't know how small it is. There might be another entrance on the inside of the mall. I should go in over there, but let's try this door first. I do love the sign on this one. I love how every place has a different type of sign. Will it open? Yes. It will. All right, look at this, guys. As soon as I walk in this door, I start seeing things I want to look at, like these tiny little babies right here. We saw some of these in the Alliance store the other day. I think we saw Leatherface, Pennywise, and Sam, maybe? Or did we see Ghostface, too? I haven't seen a Michael Myers anywhere yet. Do you know if they even make them? All right, let us not get sidetracked. And here we are getting sidetracked. <laughs> I actually have this Terrifier mask at home. I'm not even sure why I bought it. I think just because it looks so cool, but I bought it before I ever even saw the movie. But this year, they have another one out that looks pretty much the same thing, except for this one has blood on his face. Look at this, I love how in every store we come into that has this setup, there's somebody different over here. It's always Ghostface here, but there's always somebody different over here. And in this one, it's Punchy. Let's see if Punchy will work. I love how big his hands are. Punchy, are you gonna talk to us? I don't think Punchy's gonna talk to us. Oh, well, that's good because it means we don't have to hear bad words. But look at this, guys. In the last store we were in, which was St. Clairsville, Ohio, I had just got done saying that I hadn't seen a ghost face animatronic with the aged mask, and here he is. Uh-oh, I just realized I didn't wear my shoulder buddy, so I don't have anybody to talk to in here except for you guys. So I'll just tell you I'm pointing out that the first ghost face we saw had the bloody mask and the machete. The second ghost face we saw had the bloody mask and the knife, and this one has the aged mask and the knife. All right, let's see if we can get him going here. Here we go. Now I see something red. <laughs> Wow, he's really moving fast. <laughs> oh my gosh, he is awesome. You know what, before we go any farther, let's come around and look at this because I have not looked at this in any stores yet, but I noticed it in pictures online. Henry Hustle behind the ghost face. Look at this, pick a card, any card, and it is Henry Hustle. What is this made of? That's like a vinyl. This is such a cool setup this year, guys. People are going to be clamoring to get all this stuff. I bet they've already begun the lists. Let's see who's on the back of this one. Oh, okay. On the back of this one behind uh, Punchy there, we just have the Carnival poster that has all of these animatronics on, and each one of them has one of these barcodes that you can scan, and you can actually watch a video of how they work. Oh, cool. Look, there is a door that goes out to the mall. We'll check that out in a minute. But as always, let's spin the Wheel of Fate. All right, what will we get today? Where will it stop? Will I live or will I die? Oh... It stopped on the moon. Can anyone tell me what the moon means? Might it be the moon of murder? 
Look at this one. This one behind Max Straw. They have the green Oogie Boogies. We have a Sam, a Michael Myers, and an It. We have an It. All right, let's go over to the other side. Whoa, wait a minute. Holy crap. Look who we have set up right here. It is the Cauldroness. She has an orange bottle in her hand making her brew. I don't see a step pad. Does she have a uh, sensor? Hmm, she must not be plugged in and working at the moment. That's kind of a bummer, but that's cool that we got to see her in the store. All right, let's look at Mac Straw here, and what is Mac holding except the Hello Rat? See if we can get him going here. Come on, Mackie. <laughs> I'd be laughing too if I was holding a Hello Rat. Across from Mac Straw, we have the Night Terror. I almost called him the Death Stalker. Come on now, what the heck, why aren't they plugged in? Like none of these are plugged in and running, how strange. The ball of fortune is not even working. They must just still be setting up because we don't even have anyone set up in the down the duck game. Who's running this game anyways? Oh look at this, we have the sitting scarecrow hiding down here taking a break. Huh, talk about lazy. Wait a minute, look at this guys, holy crap. Who would have thunk it? They have a Toothy the Clown in this store, too. They had one over in the St. Clairsville store, and now they have one right here. We got a Fogging Skull Pile, a Scary Sitting Scarecrow. We have two regular Sitting Scarecrows here, two more Scary Sitting Scarecrows. And look who we have over here, Darling Dolly. Yeah, they still must just be setting everything up, but they do have the fun house going over here. We got Barnaby, we got Emily, we got Bobby Strings. We're apparently still waiting on Victor to show up over here. We got Cotton Candy Dan over here and Wanda Webworth, and we have Nibbles right over here. Whoa, his head looks like it's cocked way too far to the left. That looks really strange. I wonder if somebody just put him together wrong. I've been watching you for a while now. Hmm. I can't help but follow you around with my gaze. You have a certain okay, he's turning a little bit, but yeah, the head must just be put on wrong or something. Wait, here now he's following me. Holy crap. That actually worked really good in here. Wouldn't it figure the first Nibbles to actually follow me correctly has a broken neck. All right, let's see if we can get Wanda Webworth going. What the? It looks like Wanda's missing an arm. There it is. Oh, she got two arms down there. What the heck is going on? Wait, and she's got T-Rex feet. T-Rex? No, what kind of feet are those? Oh, it's like Velociraptor feet. The Velosa Wanda. All right, let's see if she'll get moving anyways here. Yeah, she's still going. Whoa. She is super loud, too. Excuse me, miss, I think you need to pay a visit to the surgeon. All right, let's see if we can get Cotton Candy Dan here. Come on, Dan. I'm curious to see when he goes to put the head back in the bucket, does he like plunge it up and down like the one in St. Clairsville? All right, here we go. Moment of truth. No, he's just pushing it down in there, one fluid movement. That is so strange. That's the way that mine at home does it. But yeah, that weird one in St. Clairsville, for some reason he would like push the head down and bring it back up and down and up and down. That was really weird. Okay, let's go back around. We're gonna go through the fun house and then there's a whole wall full of animatronics over here. Wait a minute. We didn't even say hello to these guys. I'm sorry, Mr. Barnaby. He's very angry with me. He's not moving. What in the world is happening at the Spirit Halloween in Zanesville, Ohio? All right, Emily, bring us back to life. Come on now. This is cool. I was a bride. My dreams were taken from me. Well, at least Emily's working. Wow, her roses are like really gray. I think the roses on mine at home are more of like a closer to black or purple. All right, let's check out Bobby Strings before we go through the fun house. Come on, Bobby. Hey, hey everyone. Want to hear a song? Let me sing it for you. Oh, I know a naughty child. 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 O
He ate up all my candy and made me real mad. So when I get free, I'm gonna fix him good. He's gonna bump heads with this block of wood. Ha <laughs> ha! Let that be a lesson, kids. Don't be a blockhead! It's gonna be the cheesiest song I've ever heard in my life. I love it! All right, now let's come over here and go on through the spirit fun house of Terra into the Hall of Mirrors. These things will never not crack me up. Just check out how they look as I walk by. Whoa, whoa, I look gigantic in that picture. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's leave a couple of stickers in here. And we'll put a couple on this mirror as well. All right, let's come back out and make one full walk straight through just because it's totally awesome. And that brings us to these two walls right here that are full of animatronics. Look at this. We got a Reagan on the top here. We have a towering Tallulah, two Corpse Bride Emilies. We have two Slims over here. We got two Max Straws, a Spike, a Night Terror, another Night Terror, a Black Heart. Let's go out here real quick first because I want to see if they have a sign up here inside the mall. Wow, there is like nobody in here at all. I honestly don't know if I've ever been in this mall. If I were still filming the dead malls and abandoned places, I'd be filming this one here today. But look at this. Yes, they do have a sign right up here. And that's actually a really cool place. I'm glad to see that they put it up here instead of over the door because that looks awesome. In fact, I think I'm going to use that one in my thumbnail instead of the one outside. I really, really want to take a walk through this mall, but I'm not going to do that. I'm here to film the Spirit Halloween, so let's go on back in. I do love these posters. Those look so cool and colorful, especially this one right here. Kind of reminds me of Blippi, actually. Okay, back into the animatronic wall. Look at this. We've got three Mr. Punchies over here. What the heck? We we got three gravestone ghouls, three demonic gatekeepers. We've got like four possessed friends. Oh my gosh, there's a rat girl. They actually have rat girl. I think she's another one that's supposed to be exclusively available online. They got two ghost faces, but those are not the animatronics. These are the static ghost faces where the knife and the face lights up and he just makes sounds. Oh, there's another one back there too. So they have three of those and then they have a howling spirit and a giant death ray. We got a straw man over here, two sitting scarecrows, and it looks like we can see the wall over here. So this is a smaller store and this is exactly what I was talking about when I was at St. Clairsville and I said, let's save some of this stuff for other stores in case they don't have as many animatronics. Now they do have a whole bunch over here as I showed you and a whole bunch over here as I showed you and they do have this whole setup throughout here but let's go ahead and take a little walk through the store and see what other awesome stuff we can find like these two things right here these are light covers they're like front porch light covers this one's a clown and if you look here you can see where that's a wall right by a door you hang that right over the light on your front porch and then that illuminates so that one that actually looks like the spinning eye clown. And then this one is obviously a skull and you use it in the same way. Oh, look at this over here. We've got a Mars Attacks little statue. This is cool. Me and that other Nate guy just watched Mars Attacks the other day. Look at that, it lights up inside the earth. And look at the look on his face. That is hilarious. We got the Killer Clowns popcorn guns. We got Michael Myers carving a pumpkin here. See if that one will light up. Yeah, the pumpkin lights up. And then we got Nightmare Before Christmas. Light up snow globe. He's not lighting up right at this short moment. But that is a pretty cool looking snow globe. Look at that. It's like black snow. <laughs> That's cool. I like how they have all the other little characters. There's Santa. And then a little pumpkin, Oogie Boogie. We got Sally. How cool is that? And then, of course, we have the... Mars attacks snow globe here. Oh yeah. That's cool, I love those sounds and it's stars. It's not uh, snow, it's actually stars. Let's do it again.
Pretty cool. Look at this, we have a ghost sidestepper. What the heck, where's the button? All right, let's try it out. Look at this. <laughs> and that is pretty cool, actually. I wouldn't say he's sidestepping, he's more like up and down stepping or swaying or something like that. While we're on the side steppers, let's look at these. Look at this, we got a spiky. Let's see if he's working. Nope, he's not working. We got the leather face. Is he working? No. We have ghost face, who I have at home. He's actually pretty cool. Look at this, we got Michael Myers. I don't think I've ever seen this one. This is new to me, the Michael Myers Halloween 2 Sidestepper. Please work. Yes. I don't know about that music, but he's still pretty cool. <laughs> and then, of course, we have Chucky down here. He's... Is that it? No. Nope. That's pretty cool. He just keeps going and going and going. Look at this. We got the good guys Chucky doll. We got Annabelle. We got Sitting Sam. And we have Glenn, who last year they could not keep this guy in stock. We got four of them here right now if you're looking for him. Okay, let's take a little walk through here and just see if anything pops out at us. I have a Goosebumps poster in my basement right now and I have the haunted mask set up beside it, but I was actually looking for another Goosebumps mask to put under that one. Oh yeah, here's the haunted mask right here. This is the one that I was talking about. If you watched that video, it's on the Saturday Night Snack and a Movie uh, channel. And this is the mask, I bought it from here last year or two years ago. And I actually have that hanging up right now beside the Goosebumps poster. Wait a minute. Is that like a, another face on the back there, like a skull trying to protrude? So they have that one, but I don't see any other Goosebumps mask. You'd think they would have like Slappy or something. I pointed this one out in the other store, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. I think this one's new for this year. Look at that. That hair looks like Andre the Giant's hair on the Princess Bride. Yeah, I don't see any other Goosebumps, but I do see the evil corn here. You gotta love the evil corn mask. That is absolutely hilarious and it's got the disgusting corn husk hair Ugh, I want to puke oh hello grandma I don't think they have any new ghost face masks this year unless I just haven't seen them if you guys know leave me a comment below and let me know so I can start looking out for it we got poppy and kissy missy let's leave a couple stickers in these trick-or-treat bags here Ooh, speaking of the spinning eyes clown here he is see what I was talking about how he's purple but this one does have the spinning eyes. Let's see, any other? Oh, we got two Grave Watchers over here. All right, that's cool. We got the Foam Coffin down here. And look at this, we have the Jack the Reaper Archway. I am very tempted to get one of those. That is really cool. He is 12 feet tall and I love the hands. The hands are huge. I'm so glad that they're starting to make Jack the Reaper merchandise. All right, let's see, how much is he? Uh, the heck, I don't see a sticker on him. I don't know how much he is. Oh, wait, wait, the sticker's on the front here. $129.99. I'm gonna have to check my email and see if I have a 20% off coupon. Yeah, I do. I just checked my email and sure enough, I have a 20% off coupon I could use on this guy if I wanna buy him today. I really wanna do that, but I'm gonna have to check with that other Nate guy first because we're trying not to buy the same stuff because we're both working on things at the scare house and we don't wanna just have a hundred of the same things sitting around. All right, I'm gonna wait because I can't get a hold of him right now. I hope I see it in other stores later on if he didn't get it. Look at this. Somebody put the hello rat down here gnawing on a heart and I just noticed this over here here's these pillows that a lot of people have been talking about this year this one's a skeleton you fold out his leg Ooh, he's soft fold out his legs and look at this this one is black on white and this one's white on black and then they also have the uh, the skeleton with the pumpkin head oh look at this I haven't seen this before it's the art the clown doormat 
it's like he's coming out a big hole in the ground. That actually does look like a hole too. Oh, and look over here. They actually have two of the brand new for 2024 Hanging Jack Reapers. These are awesome. Look at the face. Look at the detail on that guy. Those are really cool. All right, I think we're gonna call it a day in this store. I got a couple more I wanna hit today and they are quite a drive. <laughs> All right, guys, today we are going to another Spirit Halloween right here in Mansfield, Ohio at Richland Mall. And joining me today to check everything out in this store will be this little guy right here with his one eye. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead in here and see what they have in store in Mansfield, Ohio at this Spirit Halloween. I think I do this every year, but first I want to come into the actual mall itself and take a quick look and then see how the entrance is from inside the mall. And that looks pretty dang cool up there. I actually love that sign, even though it's pretty small, because it is 3D. If you look closely, you can see that it's 3D. I bet that would look awesome under a black light. All right, back outside because I believe this is what they treat as the front door, so we're probably gonna see some awesomeness as we enter here, and we do. Right inside the doors, we have Ghostface and Cotton Candy Dan. I love how every store I go into with this setup, they have somebody different over here. Now, first of all, before we even get to the animatronics, people have been asking, because I skipped out on it in the past couple of videos, people have been asking to see the t-shirts for this year. So let's go ahead and take a look at these first. Hello, jumping spiders. Oh my gosh, they have some awesome shirts this year, guys. Look at this. The first one that I pointed out the other day, and I love so many up here right now. We're going to take a look at all of them, but I was seeing this Billy Loomis t-shirt right here. Check this out. We all go a little mad sometimes. That's a line from Psycho, by the way, that he stole. But look at this. We have so many awesome new t-shirts this year. Look at this. This is hilarious. Jason Voorhees most likely to kill it. <laughs> we got Pennywise with the hashtag hungry. That's hilarious. I wish it was Friday. That one's an older one. Terrifier. We have Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. As you know, the new Beetlejuice movie comes out in like, I don't know, two, three weeks here. We got Chucky and Tiffany up here. Follow your dreams, Freddy Krueger there. This one's been out for a little while. The dreamer, Freddy Krueger. We got the stab your it on the top. We got this guy doing that. We got Billy Loomis. And down here we have Creep Show. Check this out. That's pretty cool. American Psycho. Evil never looked so dang good. Michael Myers. Get in, loser. We're going slashing. That's an older one. This one here is an older one. I don't think I've seen this one before, though, with Leatherface. That is pretty cool. And check this out. We have three bloody, four bloody disgusting t-shirts this year. We have Art the Clown on the top there. Then we have Jason Voorhees. We have the Scream TV right there. And then we have Michael Myers on this one. And I love these designs, how they all have the older TVs. Like the top three are the CRT TVs. Well, I guess this one is too. But Michael Myers is from 1978, so that's why he has the older one. And I love how these two TVs each have a place for a VHS tape. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It's Art the Clown. Drop on by the Clown Cafe. Look at this, they're playing Ring Around the Rosie. Okay, this one is totally awesome. Let's make a slasher movie. It's Ghostface with a video camera. Ghostface home video. That is very cool. Then we got Art the Clown in the Spirit logo above that. This is an older one up here with Michael Myers, A Sitter's Guide. These two are older ones here, Creeping It Real and Drink Up Witches. Then we got the three skeletons over here. They look like cowboys. We'll trade candy for beer, hollow wasted, portal to the cat dimension, and other nightmares. That's an older one, too. 
witchcrafts up on the top and then I can't hold my liquor on the very top corner. And among these, it looks like we have some that are not pictured above here. E is for existential dread. <laughs> That's, a, oh my gosh, look at the look on his face. It's like he's dreaming of all this stuff. Aliens, eyeballs, a clock, okay. A fly, we got a centipede or a millipede or whatever that thing is, a heart, dollar sign, okay, we got a skull, we got a bat, and then the boy who dreams of it all. Here's a ghost face, let's, let's watch scary movies. We got the trick or treat, always check your candy. We got the demon cat here, and then here's a Beetlejuice one right here. Oh, did we see this one? Um, I thought this one was up here. Oh yeah, it's way down here on the end. Say it three times. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Okay, so there are your t-shirts, the new ones for this year, as well as a few other ones that are mixed in there. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at the Carnival, how they have it set up here in Mansfield, Ohio. Every one of these stores is set up a little bit different because they're shaped and sized differently. Let's start with Cotton Candy Dan over here. Hello, Mr. Tickle Me Elmo. Here we go. Yum, yum, yum. Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's not. <laughs> One thing I'll tell you though, it'll do more than run your teeth out. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Ghostface over here. Hello, Mr. Scream. You teach a class about slashers, and you still walked into a dark alley. Alone. All right, let's do that again, see what else he says. We've added some new no, ingredients. All right, let's walk on through the Carnival here. Hello, Mr. Carnival sign. Looks like behind the scenes already, we have a Cotton Candy Dan here. I still can't get over just how gigantic that box is. All right, let's move over this way for a second because I did see another animatronic over here. Oh, look, it's the Cauldroness. This is, I think, the second store that I've seen the Cauldroness in. I would love to see her in action with that fog coming out and everything, but the last store we were in, I think it was Zanesville, had her set up and did not have her working. All right, let's make our way around here. Let's go this way and see what we can find. I'm still on the hunt for the bedazzled mugs. This is not one of them. All right, let's keep on moving here, guys. I see they do have some animatronics on the floor here for sale. We got a Mac straw right here. Somebody made a comment the other day and they spelled it M-A-X. T-R-A-W. That was pretty cool. Max Straw. Below him, we have a ghost face animatronic right there, available right now in Mansfield. On the other side here, check this out. We have a Gordo on the top, and we have Bobby Strings on the bottom. It's funny because, like, Gordo's box seems like it's pretty big if you're just messing with it, but when you put it on top of a Bobby Strings box, it just gets buried because it's so small. Whoa, look over here, guys. They got a whole bunch of animatronics, beginning with Towering Tallulah. I just might end up buying her by the end of the season. I still don't have any room in the Hummer right now because it's still full of all my Christmas stuff. But she is totally awesome and totally huge and totally green. Right behind her, we have a Max Straw and an Emmeline. It's cool to see Emmeline in the store here. We got a Dagger Mike. We got a Night Terror here on top. You can almost always expect to find Man's Possessed Friend in the stores. In fact, they have two of them here. We got a Sitting Scarecrow. We got a whole plethora of things over here. Look Look at this, we have another Night Terror right here. I'm still up in the air of whether I wanna buy him or not, but I might end up getting him. I think that other Nate guy is gonna get him, actually. We got the Scary Sitting Scarecrow. We got a Demonic Gatekeeper down here. There's the ghost face that is not the animatronic, but he lights up. We got a Barnaby the Bear on the bottom there. Look at this, guys, holy crap. Look at who we have in stock in the store. 
The Keeper. Have I seen The Keeper in any other stores? I don't think I've seen him in any other stores yet this season. I know that that other Nate guy has, but I haven't. This is a first for me. And I was actually at a Goodwill yesterday where I saw a chair that would fit him perfectly. It would be totally awesome, but it was already sold. How much is he? I think he's like 400 bucks, isn't he? Yes. $399.99. Yikers. That's quite the price tag for that guy, but he is awesome. We got a gravestone gruel underneath. <laughs> Another gravestone ghoul down here sitting. Scarecrow, we got a dagger mic. Oh, look at this. We got a giant death ray and a Wanda Webworth over here. We got a sitting scarecrow on top. It's the scary sitting scarecrow. All right, guys. They got a lot of cool things in here. Moving around the other side here. Okay, let's just take a look at this ghost face here they got two more right here and this is the one that i said is not the animatronic you probably know all about it already but let's just look at it here for a second the knife and the face both light up and he makes slashing and screaming noises he's six feet tall that is actually a pretty cool prop and i believe yeah he's 129.99 so the price is right on this guy if you wanted a ghost face prop but you couldn't afford or didn't want to spend the money on the animatronic believe me i can't afford half the stuff i buy from these stores so i know what i'm talking about and then below them we have another demonic gatekeeper very cool look at this guys here's all their inflatables here and they have the elusive jack the reaper archway 12 feet tall now i've seen another archway that looks very much like this floating around for 99.99 at some other store i don't even know what it is but it has the hands that come out like this it has the arch but the thing that it doesn't have is jack's face the hood and like the, his gown hanging down it's just the black part and i think there's like a skeleton face this guy is totally awesome and this is the real deal 129.99 i will end up buying him before the season is over but we gotta look up here for a second because because in one of my recent videos, I think it may have been St. Clairsville, I saw this guy on the end here, the dual masked inflatable. And I kind of teased you guys about him. I told you what he was called, but I didn't show him to you yet because we had so many animatronics to look at in that store. He's on the top shelf here. Let me just look around here for a minute and see if there are any on lower shelves. All right, we gotta go around the back here. And yes, here he is, whoa, look at this. It really is a dual masked inflatable. So let me get a hold of it here. All right, we got a little better light here. We can see that it's like a witch face over here. And then somehow you change out the face to a pumpkin. I think that those must just be two separate masks and you take one off, put the other one on. In fact, yes, I'm staring straight at it where it says includes two interchangeable masks. I think that is such a cool idea and I especially love that pumpkin mask. Yeah, so that guy is six feet tall. I do, oh, here we go, $39.99. I was looking all over this thing and I couldn't find the prices right there in my face. $39.99 for the dual masked inflatable. All right, I also see that they have a couple of the hearse inflatables here. It's kind of dark over here, so I think this is kind of blurry, but we have another one of the Jack Reapers. We got a Jack-O-Lantern archway. We have the Spinning Eyes Clown here. We got a Jack-O-Lantern Secret Keeping Cat. We got a ghost peeking out from the back there. We got the Scarecrow, the Reaper, the Wolf, the Coffin, another ghost, and a Gargoyle up there. Let's come back over to the side one more time. Just see if there's any of them that we missed. I think, oh, we got, no, we saw the Reaper. Um, the coffin. Yeah, I think we've covered them all. Here's one of these mugs that's pretty cool. It's not the bedazzled one, but it is Mars Attacks. That is pretty dang awesome. $29.99. Man, that other Nate guy would absolutely love that. Tumblr is the appropriate name, I guess. When I come into the stores, I ask if they have any mugs, and they look at me like, are you a crazy boy? But now I know that I need to start calling them tumblers. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way back through here, see if there's any other animatronics we might be missing. I am not sure. We do have some life-size posable skeletons. I've really considered getting a whole bunch of these and doing the whole skeleton setup in my front yard where they're like climbing the house and mowing the lawn and stuff like that. But I'm always just afraid that people would come by and start stealing up all my skeletons. Whoa, check this out. I don't think I've seen these before. These are movie 
clapboards. Look at this. We got the Nightmare on Elm Street. That is cool. And we got John Carpenter's Halloween. That one is totally awesome, too. I think if I had to buy one, it would be this one right here. I move like a real movie clacker. All right, let's see if we can make it clack here. It's got a little thing on the back you have to open up. Here we go. Ready? Take two. Freddy kills Tina. Oh, here's a sweet Mars Attacks picture, too. I don't think I've seen this one before. Slow alien invasion area. I love how it's, like, melting. That is totally cool. All right, let's make our way over here and see what they got. Look at these collapsible barrels. We got one with a ghost face on it. How big is that? 24 inches by 14 inches. Apparently, it's just the right size to put a whole bunch of Butterfingers in there. This one has a pumpkin face on it. That's pretty cool. And then, oh, that's a five-foot inflatable. Inflatable, I mean collapsible coffin. I got inflatable on the brain right now. All right, let's see. We got a stuffed dummy prop. We got the empty soul girl on a swing. The sinister spirit doll. We have, ooh, we got two grave watchers here. I still have not bought her. I need to get her. We got the creepy crimson girl on a swing, and they always have tons of empty soul girls on swings. Let's see. We got the 55 inch floor candelabra there. There's a smaller candelabra right over there. Foam coffin. Ooh. Groundbreaking pumpkin. I don't think I've seen this one yet. That's not very heavy. That must be foam, I would guess. Or maybe it's plastic. I don't know. I would think it would be plastic. I don't think foam would last very long outside. We got the fogging skull pile down here on the bottom. I just did a cameo for somebody the other day who loves the fogging skull pile. We got some hook head hogs. We have several hook eye guys. There's four of them. And then here's one that I have not seen in person yet myself. This is actually foam and latex. Wow. I don't know if it's latex, but it's definitely foam. Pumpkin guy with a rope tied around him. That is actually pretty cool. Wait a minute. Look at this headstone over here. I've never seen these before. Return to sender, 1850 to 1930. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that is awesome. And if you guys don't understand that, back in the day, whenever they would bury somebody, they used to not embalm them. So they would bury them, and they would bury a string all the way down to the coffin that went into the coffin, and they would put a bell on the top of the uh, the headstone so that if the person actually woke up in there, they could pull the string and ring the bell and let everybody know that they were still alive. <laughs> And then we got this one over here, Here Lives, Here Lies, Never to Return. And look at this face that's peeking out. I'm gonna guess when we push the button that the eye lights up. Oh. That was pretty cool. I love the spooky sounds and the wind blowing and everything. I think I've seen all the rest of these headstones, except for I do love this one right here. Emily Banks from Hocus Pocus. Here lies the body of Emily Banks, beloved daughter and sister, died 31 of October, 1693. Sweet Emily, taken from us most unnaturally. Rest and wait for us in a world beyond. All right, let's move on out this way, guys. We're just going to keep our eyes peeled and see if there's anything that jumps out that we haven't seen yet. We'll dig into costumes in a later video, um, unless something totally awesome just jumps out like these Shrek feet. What the heck? Okay, that is awesome and look they have bigger ones they have smaller ones here do they have my size these are small these are extra large but i don't know if my feet would fit in those or not those are absolutely i didn't even have a word for it <laughs> one of the most awesome things i've ever seen we got shrek costumes here i could be shrek because i'm a bigger guy look at this we have a shrek beanie here oh wait i was gonna say i wish the ears were out here 
there, but the ears actually come with the costume. That is cool. Do you guys remember back when the movies were out, you could get the ears at like Burger King or something? We got the Fiona costume here. I believe this one also does it come with ears. Um, it says it does come with ears. It also comes with a tiara, but they do have a separate tiara over here and a necklace. I love coming across stuff like this in the stores that I haven't seen before. Is this new for this year? Because I don't recall seeing those Shrek feet before. All right, let's keep on moving here. As I was saying, I want to just look for stuff that just kind of pops out. We'll get deeper into the costumes later on. Oh, look at this though, an inflatable Cookie Monster costume. I don't know if I've seen that before. That is totally Totally cool and I love how he has bits of cookie in his mouth. All right, let's keep on going over this way because we still have half the store over here that we haven't seen yet. And I hope there's some awesome surprises over here. But speaking of surprises, let's leave some stickers in the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. All right, let's keep on going back this way. We got some spirit shirts here. Wait, we got some spirit hoodies on the other side. Okay, well it's made for spirit, but it's a skeleton. That's pretty cool anyway. Look, they got a backbone. I wish there was a spirit logo on there though. All right, let's keep on going here. We got the bling ghost face mask here. The, oh, in fact, I think that's that's the whole costume. All right, anything else back here that's gonna just jump right out at us that's gonna be totally awesome? I mean, everything in here is totally awesome, but ooh, look at this right here. I believe this is a Five Nights at Freddy's. Look, it's a backpack. It's a Five Nights at Freddy's backpack. That is pretty cool, and it's huge, too. It looks like just his head opens up. You gotta put stuff in his head. Whoa, wait a minute, just hold on. Look right beside him there's another one it's foxy and this one is a backpack too and just like the other one just the head unzips unless you can put stuff like down in his body i don't know but it looks like just the head unzips you can put some small stuff in there those are definitely awesome let's leave a couple of stickers in the skeleton buckets here's one for the unicorn couple for spider-man here all right guys that is it for mansfield ohio spirit halloween very cool there's the sign up there i did get very lucky today i scored a couple of the bedazzled ghost face tumblers how cool is that i am so excited guys <laughs> And I can't reach this one, but look at this. We have a Jeepers Creepers throw up here. It says, what's eating you? I love Jeepers Creepers. Excuse me? Yes? No! Ah! Spirit's open, let's go! <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, today we are in Boardman, Ohio, going into this spirit Halloween back here, which is right beside a bed, bath, and beyond the grave. And on my way over here, I was mad because my GPS took me to the wrong place. So I had to look up that other Nate guy's video because he's already been out here and filmed this spirit Halloween. So I had to look and see exactly where it was at. And he happened to turn the camera where I could see the bed, bath, and beyond. And then he said, over there, there's a canes so i was like all right i can find it and let me just say this is a sweet looking store look at the enormous sign up there there are some stores that have tiny tiny little signs i don't get it this one has the right size sign and look at this they also have the posters in the window and they have the word halloween across the front okay let's go ahead in guys because i am very curious to see what it looks like at this spirit halloween in boardman ohio oh and already guys i am seeing some things that i haven't seen in other 
other stores. It is always so much fun walking right in the front doors of a Spirit Halloween. Look at this, right up front in this store, guys, we have Mac Straw. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I love how every single time I come into one of these stores, so far at least, they have somebody else standing in this position over here. I believe that's where the ringmaster is supposed to be whenever he arrives, but until then, we have Mac Straw. All right, let's get old Mackie going here. Come on, Mackie. Hmm, he's not moving. Come on, Mackie, what's going on there? Move for us. <laughs> Show us your moves. Old Mackie's got the sounds going on, but he's not showing us his moves. Who do you think moves better, old Mackie or that weird break dancer from the Olympics? I choose old Mackie. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at Ghostface over here. I'm never gonna come in these stores and not look at the animatronics, guys. We see them all season long doing the same thing. But I can't resist to watch every single one of them. Check this out. I love how as he's slashing, his other arm is just going wobble, wobble, wobble. Let's watch that again. All right, here we go. Watch the other arm. It's going to wobble. It's the death wobble. <laughs> Check it out. His arm's doing the death wobble. All right, we have got a lot to see in this store, guys. This is a pretty big store. I can already see just peeking through that there's a lot of stuff set up back here. But I want to come over here and show you some of the stuff that I saw when I walked in that I have not seen yet. And look at this. One of them is this guy right here. E.T. 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 Oh, my Lord. I cannot believe they have such an awesome E.T. plush in this store this year. I absolutely love E.T. Look at the tag right there. That right now takes me right back to 1985. Was it 1985 when it came out? I can't remember. How much is he? He is $34.99 and I believe I have a 20% off coupon. I almost choked on that word. A 20% off coupon. So I very likely will be buying E.T. today. Do they have any others? Should I keep it in my hand? I don't see any others sitting here. All right, I'm buying E.T. Wait a minute, in bringing him up here, I just discovered he has a try me button inside his hand and his finger lights up. Look at that, that solidifies it. I'm taking this guy home with me today. Oh my gosh, what a cool find, guys. All right, let's look at some of this other plush because what in the world is this guy from the Black Lagoon? That is too funny. I, I am 100% sure he is the creature from the Black Lagoon. But why is it a Black Lagoon and he's green? Look at this, we got a JoJo's ice cream truck with the killer clown in it. That is pretty awesome. Look at his face. What in the living world is that thing? <laughs> All right, holy crap, I'm having too much fun in here already. This is from the Corpse Bride, all right? That explains it, because I have not seen the Corpse Bride yet. If you guys have been watching the videos, you know that I bought both the animatronics, Emily and Victor, and I bought the movie. This is from the Corpse Bride. This just makes me want to watch it even more. Oh my gosh, the face on that guy. Of course, we have Beetlejuice here. Whoa, he's stuck in there. Okay, Beetlejuice, stay stuck. Is this Lydia here? Yeah, it is. This is Lydia. Okay. Holy crap, look at Elvira. Just look real quick, because we're going to turn that around and put her back. She is not child-friendly. But what is this guy? He's child-friendly, even though he has ribs sticking out. And look at this one here. Holy crap. These are pretty dang cool. I don't even know what they are, but I'm sure people are going to tell me this is a bat. And wait, we have one more here. It's an armless creature. An armless bunny creature. Wait, it is even called Numb Bunny. All right, Numb Bunny. I would be numb too if I didn't have any arms. All right, I'm having too much fun in here, guys. Let's come over here to the Wheel of Death. Anytime I see the Wheel of Death, I have got to spin the Wheel of Death. Let's see if I live today or die. Where is it going? Spin again or else. Okay, hold on. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay. Will I live or die? Will I keep my skin or live again? 
Lose a turn better than your head. Okay, that'll do. All right, we're back where we started, guys. Let's go on through the carnival here. Somebody was talking about the hope that Spirit will in the future bring a Jack Reaper animatronic. I'm not sure really what he would do, but I think he would probably just sway back and forth and he would make like maybe laughing sounds and his eye would be lit up. Okay, here we go. Fun House of Terror. We're going to go through their last. I can already hear guys going on over here. Look at who we have set up right here right now. This guy is absolutely enormous and he is rising from the grave. I am the guardian of tormented souls. You have crossed over into my world. Now you will endure eternal pain. <laughs> wow, he actually rises up pretty high. And look at the size of those meat hooks. What the heck? Those are some enormous meat hooks. <laughs> Let's just watch him one more time because I want to see him rising from the grave. Just see how high he goes. He is awesome. He almost comes all the way up to the third light bulb there. And I love how his chest lights up. That is so cool. All right, let's move on because check this out, guys. For the first time, oh my gosh, for the first time I see Michael Myers in the store. We're going to go over there in a minute. But for the first time set up in a store, we have both Victor and Emily. Wait, is it the first time? Did I see them in one other store maybe? Maybe it was the first store I went into, I don't remember. But here they are in all their glory. I don't know if we're gonna be able to hear them because it's pretty loud in here, but they are awesome. I bought them and you can hear them in my video perfectly clear. I will write your way in dust with this ring. This is the point of no return. Your Yeah, it's really difficult to hear them. Let's see if they have them connected. Once he finishes talking, and then he'll stop, and she, yep, they have him connected. I do. You make the bride. She is amazingly louder than him. Yeah, when they have that wire that connects between the two of them, they will just go back and forth and back and forth through every one of their phrases. I just wish that like before one of them stopped, the other one would start so it was like more fluent and it flowed better. Hello, ugly. All right, let's move on down to Barnaby the bear with his paws. I think that is hilarious how he's so vicious and wants to kill you. Wait, there's a string. Oh, that's part of his fur, sorry, sir. He's vicious and he wants to kill you. And then he has like these soft loving paws that he could hug you with. All right, let's go ahead and get him going here. Is that him? Yeah, okay. I like how he's really loud in here too. And then of course we can't pass up the jumping spider. I think we're gonna have to turn him a little bit though because he's gonna jump into the ball. All right, see if we can get him going. Come on, Mr. Spidey, here he comes. Yeah, I think, is this the first time we've seen the jumping spider this season, guys? All right, let's move on over to this line of stuff right here because I have to look at the Michael Myers really quick just in case somebody else comes in and snatches him up. I'm not sure what I think of him. I'm not really a fan of the Halloween 2 look, but I know it's probably way too expensive to get the original Halloween license. And then they always stick some kind of corny music with him. And I don't remember. I don't think I liked the music when I saw the video of this one. But he does look much better than I thought he would look. I really wish they had him set up. Because I would like to see him working in person before I really make a judgment on him. At least his hair. At least his hair 
looks better in this like than some of them where it's just like this big fluffy hair that never really existed. All right, anyways, let's back up here for a minute because we have a demonic gatekeeper. Oh, he's only $199.99. I thought he was a lot more than that. We got the ghost face sound maker over here. We have a dagger mic. Oh, look, we have a cremator in the store right here, guys. How cool is that? He reminds me of Fezzik from uh, The Princess Bride, Andre the Giant, when he's dressed up in the cloak and he's on fire. All right, let's move over here because we have an Emmeline peeking out over here. That's cool. We got a scary, two scary sitting scarecrows. Looks like we actually have two more scary sitting scarecrows on the other side. We got a howling spirit, guys. Holy crap. We got another Emmeline over here. We got a Wanda Webworth. Wait a minute. What in the world? Reduced, now only $134.99. That is half price for Wanda Webworth. Why do we have a Bobby Strings uh, placard sitting here? $135 for Wanda Webworth. She must be broken or something. I bet she was the display and something broke because we got this guy over here. And here is Wanda Webworth. But underneath her, we have the giant death ray. Excuse me, sir. I'll talk to you in a minute. Over here, we have one, two Gordos. Whoa, wait a minute. We have some of the tumblers that everyone is going gaga over this season. Look at this. A bleeding heart, sparkly Tumber. Wait, what? Tumber? I call it a tumber because I saw the pig or whatever, the bear or whatever that thing is, and it threw me off. Bleeding Heart Tumbler. Who is that? You guys tell me what's up with that because I just don't know. We got the Nightmare Before Christmas. This one is pretty dang sweet. We got this one with ghosties all over it. Oh, and the ghostie has a pumpkin in his hand. And then down here we have the purple ones with Wednesday. That is really cool. I'm not weird. Everyone else is. Of course, then down on the bottom, we have this black one with skulls. That looks pretty cool, too. All right, let's come back to where we were. We got two Gordos over here. We have a man's possessed friend over here. And wait till you see what is to my right. First, we're going to look to the left. Holy crap, look at this. Guys, how in the world do we have three Cerberuses in this store? <laughs> the three-headed dog was $199, now he is $129.99, right here, right now in Boardman, Ohio at the Spirit Halloween. And then right across from that, look at this. I have not seen this guy in any stores just yet until today. The Nightmare Before Christmas groundbreaking worm. Not only do they have one, but they have two. That is an enormous box. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. That is so cool. When I first saw that from the corner of my eye, I thought it was some kind of a Beetlejuice thing from the new movie, since it's orange, but it's not. It's from The Nightmare Before Christmas. And look, he's eating a Christmas tree. Look at this, all three of these guys are going at once over here. All right, let's go on over and check them out. Like, this guy, Nibbles, must just be on one continuous uh, cycle, because I don't think he's shut up yet. Excuse me, sir. Have you shut up yet? <laughs> All right, I'm going to put the phone down lower and see if he will follow me with that sensor on his nose. <laughs> He's not following me, but it's probably because I have the phone in my hand. All right, we got the night terror over here, and I notice as I'm standing here watching, his face is staying lit up. That light has not gone out on his face at all, but he doesn't activate until we walk up here. Hello, sir. Do you have anything to say for yourself? <laughs> He looks like that E.T. plush that I just bought. All right, and last but not least in this section here, we have Cotton Candy Dan. Look at Cotton Candy Dan's hair. Look at how it's like, he looks like he just walked through a car wash. Did you just walk through a car wash, sir? All right, let's get him going here. Come on, Dan, with your one eye. Sometimes it's sweet. Sometimes. Here we go. Come on, sir. One thing about 
His face is like melting away. All right, Dan, I think we've heard enough out of you. Let's leave a couple of stickers for this curious guy right here. I could just stand here and look at this all day long, watching these animatronics move up and down and back and forth and around and around and around and around. But let's go ahead and take a walk through the store because we have got the rest of the entire store to check out here, guys. Whoa, look at this. It is a Garfield the Cat backpack. Excuse me, sir, your hand is going the wrong way. And it looks like he's holding on to your back and riding. That is hilarious. I don't know if this is new for this year or if you've seen it before. Winnie the Pooh, honey crossbody bag. We got the giant Scooby-Doo masks here. These are totally awesome. Here's what I think somebody should do. We got a whole section here at Spirit Halloween of the Scooby-Doo costumes. Look at this. We got Daphne, we got Velma, we got Shaggy, we got Fred, and we have Scooby, including the jumpsuit up here. Somebody should take their whole family, buy all these costumes, dress up like the gang, and then get those two under the sea animatronics from Lowe's. That would be sweet. Don't you think so, sir? Yes. <laughs> all right, let's keep on moving through here. I'm tempted to go over here in the middle. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's just go right on over here in the middle. This is a, this is a Snuggie. I thought it was just a fleece blanket. It's a Snuggie that has pumpkins and skeletons on it, or skulls. Skull, pumpkins, snuggurami, okay. We've got some awesome plushies over here. We got Jack Skellington, we have Sally, we have this guy, I don't know what his name is. We have the brown Oogie Boogie, and we have the green Oogie Boogie with all the bugs in his teeth. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing some plush blankets that I've never seen before, guys. I'm seeing some awesome slippers over here. But before we look at those, let's go around the rest of the store and see if there's any animatronics or anything that we've missed so far just big animatronics we'll make our way around back over here in just a minute because this is an enormous store what in the world is this a ghost face light up porch buddy how does that even exist without me knowing about it. It's huge. Like, look how huge it is. It's bigger than my own head. Oh, and he has a button on the bottom, so he even lights up, I think. Okay, I don't hear anything, and I can't see if he's lit up or not because it's so light in here, but I'll bet you anything, his whole face lights up. Look how cool he is. He is $49.99. A legit ghost face light up blow mold. That's the kind of thing that makes this store so much fun to come into, guys. There's always so many things that you've never seen. Like, look at this. What? Trick or treat articulated Sam statue. All right, we have push the trimy button. What's he going to do? Is he making sound? I can't tell if he makes sounds over the sound in the store here, but I think he is. Yeah, he's making sounds. He's playing music, but you just can't hear it because of the music overhead. Articulated, though, that means that he has joints. So maybe you can actually pose him. Yeah, you can move his arms around. Check this out. Highly detailed sculpt with 13 points of articulation. That's like a G.I. Joe guy. Oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. All right, let's keep on moving around here. There is so much stuff to see in here, but I'm still on the hunt for other animatronics just in case they have them creeping around the corners. Okay, here's some stuff back here. We got a grave watcher here. And of course we have a whole plethora of jumping spiders. It looks like we have the black jumping spider, the brown jumping spider, we have the black and red jumping spider, but I believe this year they have a gray jumping spider, and I don't see him. Oh, look at this, the tiny terrors. We have a ghost face in here. We have a Pennywise, and look down here, guys. We have Michael Myers' tiny terror. He is very awesome. Now, I surprised myself 
because amazingly, I have not bought any of these tiny terrors yet. Unless he's in a different area in the store, we are missing Leatherface. I think they all look totally awesome, but I just haven't bought any for myself yet. I don't know why, probably because there's just so much stuff to buy that I keep spending all this money. Money doesn't grow on spooky trees, you know. Let's leave a couple of stickers for that guy and that guy and that guy. And look down here, we have a zombie baby that I have not yet seen in the stores. His name is Hiding Henry. I think he's gonna play peekaboo. Let's see what he does. He's talking, ooh! <laughs> I crack myself up. Oh my gosh, he is hilarious. Can you hear him? He's kind of quiet. Listen. He's laughing at us because he peekabooed us. And look at this, he has a mad duck on his shirt. That is hilarious. Let's see if this one's any louder. Come on now. No, he's not louder, but he is awesome. We have the angel baby who loves singing. We have the pumpkin eater, Gutsy Gwen. <laughs> laughing as she munches on the pumpkin guts. And of course we have the hand eater and we have the spider eater, Spider Biter Billy. And let's not forget about the zombie baby's cradle and the zombie baby's chair. I don't see the Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher! I don't see the Jack Reaper archway. Whoa, but I do see one I've never seen before. The light up inflatable owl. Look at that, Moloch on a headstone. We got some light covers over here, guys. So we have seen the skeleton light cover before, and we have seen the purple clown light cover, but I don't think we've seen yet the pumpkin and the cat. Look at that, the secret keeping cat. As you come up to the door, you're like, trick or treat, and he's like, no, I'm not gonna tell you any secrets, thank you. Hello, rat. Hello, creeping cats. I love this guy right here, this latex crow. Look at the look on in his eye. He's just watching me like he wants to peck me so bad. They don't have him like zombified or anything. But the thing is, you don't need a crow to be zombified. He is scary as it is. Wait a minute, what the heck is this? Tomb of the Lost Souls? I know I haven't been in very many stores yet this season, but I have not seen this in any of them yet. The Tomb of the Lost Souls. Is there a, and like an animatronic or something that is slated to be standing right there? That is pretty creepy looking. Look at the glowing eyes on the guys, on, on these guys. I get so excited, I wanna say other words first. They look like aliens ready to come get me. Aliens from the Tomb of the Lost Souls. And what in the world is this guy right here? Have we ever seen this before? I don't think I've ever seen this. This is a crazy snail with a skull on its back. Who even thinks up these things? Probably the same guy who thought up this sick thing. <laughs> Disgusting! Whoa, wait a minute, guys, this is unbelievable. We just keep seeing things that I have never seen before. Not only do we have the empty soul girl on a swing, we have two ghastly ghost girls on a swing. How have I never seen this thing before? How? She does seem kind of familiar, but yeah, I don't think I've seen her before. How cool. We got the creepy crimson girl on a swing up here too. You could get these and have a whole playground of swinging chicks. The ghastly chick, the empty chick, and the creepy chick. And then you could throw in a hook head hog and a hook eye guy. Although I don't think they'd be too impressed with his bad breath. They'd be like, you need the aqua fresh. Speaking of aqua fresh, wait a minute. Look at this. It, this is one that I don't think I've seen before either. Although it kind of looks like the dude that's, I think he's bald. He looks exactly like this, but this one just has hair. Ooh, have I seen this hanging ghost before? I love how the head kind of hangs down. We got a try me button. The eyes, ooh, look at that, they change colors too. That's pretty cool. I don't hear it making any sound though. Man, guys, this store is absolutely stocked. Look at this, we got the bumpy, spooky pumpkin pathway markers. That one's always difficult to say. We have the burning skull pathway markers. Uh-oh, they're not working. We have the jack-o'-lantern pathway markers. 
We have the Bumpy Spooky Pumpkin Pathway Markers, another one. Oh, okay, it's just in a different box. And we have the Doll Head Pathway Markers. Let's see, yeah. Oh, she lights up green. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh. All right, let's keep making our way around here. Back around to here, we have the sitting scarecrow hiding behind the pillar. And look at this. Look what they brought out while we were in the rest of the store. The atomic ray gun from Mars Attacks. As far as I know, that's kind of a difficult one to get this year. $129.99. That is pretty dang awesome. All right, I said that we would look at this stuff, so let's come on back over here to these blankets and the slippers. There's a couple of them on here that I've never seen, starting with this one from the Adams Family. When we're together, darling, every night is Halloween. That's what I'm talking about. We got this awesome Ghostbusters throw. That's cool. I bet that would look awesome under a black light. And I can't reach this one, but look at this. We have a Jeepers Creepers throw up here. It says, what's eating you? I love Jeepers Creepers. Excuse me? Yes? What are those? Ah! What in the world just happened? I just got what are those? Let's come over here and look at these blankets. Whoa, I don't think I've ever seen this one. Check this out. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And it looks like the VHS tape cover. That is awesome. I'm pretty sure I have seen the rest of these, so let's go ahead and look at these flippers over here. Okay, they're not flippers, they're slippers. But we got Chucky here, that is pretty cool. We got Stitch, who is this? Batman! We got The Simpsons! We got Harry Potter. We got Deadpool. That looks cool. <laughs> we got Garfield. Look how big Garfield's head is. We got the Minions. What is this? Oh, it's Gremlins. It's Gizmo. We got South Park down here. We got another South Park. Oh, I guess that's it. <laughs> All right. One more place to finish looking at, and that is over here. Guys, there is just so much stuff in this store right here that I have never laid my eyes on before. Like this light up oogie boogie. How cool is that guy? Oh my gosh, look at his teeth. It lights up with blue worms. Oh, a lot of people are looking for this, guys. The Art Krispies box bloody rice cereal with marshmallows now i have seen all hallows eve and i have seen the first terrifier movie but maybe this is like something in one of the other ones that makes more sense oh my gosh sick based on that marshmallow right there please never see terrifier if you are a child. But how cool is it that they have that in this store right here, right now? Everybody's looking for it. I personally think this is more awesome. The Lost Boys. Check that out. All this stuff is so cool. Check it out. The Bates Motel sign down here that's flashing. We have a good guy's Chucky up here like he's in his box. Be eating you from Jeepers Creepers. We got Barbara and Adam in the flashing here like Beetlejuice Cemetery Headstone. And even though there are still tons of things in here to see, guys, we have more stores to go to. So we're going to finish this one off with this guy down here. I didn't see him hiding around the corner. The Trick or Treat Sam Light Up Porch Buggy. I call him a buggy. Light Up Porch Buggy. Buddy. He's another blow mold just like the ghost face right over here. Those are awesome. And with that, we're going to leave a couple more stickers around the store here before we take off. Let's put a couple down there. Let's give a couple to the sitting scarecrow. A couple to the howling spirit. And then let's put some in the cup, the cup, the cup, the cup. Okay, wow. That was a fun store, guys. And what the heck? There is a cyber truck over here. I think that thing's bigger than my Hummer. Man, I get in these stores and I just start having too much fun and I start sweating like a hog up in this piece. Look at this, you can see how badly I'm sweating, guys. I'm not even kidding. I wish it were a little more chilly in here. <laughs> Spirits open, let's go. <laughs> Peace.
pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, we are in Youngstown, Ohio, which is 0.7 miles up the road from the one we just filmed in Boardman, Ohio. I can't keep it straight. Is Boardman Youngstown or is Youngstown Boardman? Regardless, here is the Spirit Halloween in which we are going to go in and check it out. And guys, check this out. Just like at the other one, they have the letters on the windows that spell Halloween. Although looking at that, it makes you want to say it like Halloween. I know, I'm a nerd. I'm just excited to go into the Spirit Halloween. I saw a candy store on the way up here and I was like that would be delicious and then my shoulder angel was like no you don't need it and then my other shoulder angel was like eat it all thank you automatic doors guys just like the other one this is an enormous store and I gotta tell you what a cool feature with the ghost face animatronic this year that you can swap out his face and the knife it makes it fresh and awesome when you come into a store and you see this setup with a different face and a different knife or a different blade than in the last store and as always they have somebody else set up over here look who it is it's not the ringmaster it's steven seagull all right let's go on over here and get ghost face going hello ghost face let's see if he does the arm wobble he's wobbling it's the wobble of death Ghost face with the death wobble. Oh, I hear art already back here. Oh my gosh, and look who they have set up over there. All right, let's go on through here, guys, because I am excited to get down here. Hello, Mr. Jack from the Carnival. Oh my gosh, where do we go first? I want to go over here to Towering to Luler, but first we are going to spin the Wheel of Fate. Here we go. Will I live? Will I die? Will I keep my skin? Here we go. Where's it going? Uh, star. What does star mean? All right, on to towering Tallulah. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, I see the thing over here that you step on. Well, let's just take a minute to, to, to look. To, 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 to look at her face. Look at that. That is one seriously creepy face. Should that be the thumbnail for this video? Oh, my gosh. I love towering Tallulah and her teeth. And the green hands. I don't know why. I just love animatronic hands so much. They just look so creepy. All right, let's put that back on there. And let's come on over here and hit the uh, foot button thingy madinger. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I think it's hilarious how you just hear a wolf howling before anything else happens. I don't know if you can hear that over the music or not, but she is pretty loud in this store. And she just keeps going and going and going as she lowers very, very slowly. You keep hearing the sounds, and every couple seconds she just goes, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> All right, let's come on over to the fortune teller booth. I don't think the last store we were in actually had the fortune teller booth. And I don't believe they had down the duck either. We're going to head over there in just a second because I know you already see the animatronics over there that are getting you excited. We're going to go over there in a second, but I want to look at the fortune teller's booth right now. This right off the top of my head reminds me of the movie Big with Zoltar. I think it's really cool how they leave it open so we can get in there. But I think it would also be cool if they had an animatronic in there moving around. Oh my gosh, I'm such a goof. Oh, I just have way too much fun in these stores. All right, let's come on over here, guys. We're going to go check out Max Straw and this towering guy in just a second. But look at what we have right here. Everybody seems to want the art animatronic this year. And I got to say, I mean, he is totally awesome looking it just makes me wonder how many people have actually seen the movies because the movie is sick <laughs> but he does make an awesome animatronic okay let's go ahead and look at art the clown first in the other store that i saw him in i think his arm might have been broken or something because he has his horn right here 
but it was just kind of hanging down to the side. Wait a minute, DIY use blood for a horror makeover. So he's all white and black and you can actually get blood from here and it's the good stuff is called perma blood. And then you splatter it all over him. Apparently that perma blood is pretty dang good. But let's go ahead and get him going here. He goes nuts on that horn. <laughs> I love the hand personally, how it just keeps waving. Very cool. All right, let's move on over here to, wait a minute, what the heck is this guy called again? I can't remember his name. All right, it's the Cremator. I couldn't remember the name because I'm always saying that he reminds me of Andre the Giant from The Princess Bride. The Cremator, I had to look him up. Look at the skull that he's holding. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see this guy in action. This is gonna be the first time I'm seeing him in person in action. Here we go. Step into the shadows. <laughs> Very cool. I think if it was darker out, you would see more of like the lights and the flames extending up to his face there, or his lack there of a face. And I don't think he's supposed to move. I think he just stands there and says his phrases, and then has the uh, the fire going. I don't think he moves at all, but he is super creepy. Very cool. I love the flames. I would be willing to bet that when they came up with the idea for him, they were sitting around a table and they were like, what kind of animatronic could we make? And somebody was like, wait a minute, I was watching The Princess Bride last night and this thing was freaky. And the cremator was born. Okay, let's come on over here, guys. I love just stepping back and looking at the whole setup. It looks so absolutely awesome all through the middle of the store. Let's go on over here. We're gonna check out the giant death ray as usual. We're gonna check out this guy, old Mackie, Max Straw. All right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> in the last store i don't think his head was turning if i remember correctly but he was laughing and i love the sound of that crow we had one final crow caught at the in the end like you think he's done and he goes Arr! all right moving on to the giant death ray let's just stand back for a minute and look just how giant he actually is he is huge and i still want to see somebody dress him up like slender man very very cool let's go ahead over here and get him going see his lights going on here we go look at this i bet when the store closes they turn out all the lights and then get all these animatronics going and they probably look so absolutely awesome All right, let's come on over here and visit the scary sitting scarecrow, and we're gonna give him some stickers here. Let's get him going. Say thank you, sir. <laughs> I guess that's how a scary sitting scarecrow says thank you. You're welcome. You know what, guys, before we go anywhere else, let's just take a quick walk through this area here and see if they have, wait a minute, look at this. Bride of Chucky. I don't think I've seen this one before. Look at this, it's Chucky proposing to Tiffany, that is cool. All right, like I was saying, let's go ahead and go through here real quick and just see, look at this. They have a Scooby-Doo Monopoly. Oh my gosh, that 
is awesome. They have the Spirit Monopoly. They actually have two of them. I'm very tempted to get this Scooby-Doo Monopoly right now. They have a bunch of these, which are totally cool. They are made to look like original VHS clamshell cases. You don't actually get a movie in there, but that's what it's supposed to look like. Man, I love VHS tapes. I used to collect them before I moved into my RV full time and I got rid of all of them. Now I don't live in it anymore and I miss them. So we got Beetlejuice. We got Child's 2 Play. Look at this. We have Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. We have Killer Clowns from Outer Space. We have Trick or Treat with Sam right on the front there. And then we have Halloween 2, The Nightmare isn't over. And seeing this makes me wonder if they actually have that ceramic pumpkin skull in stock. We're gonna find out. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. They have Wednesday Ouija. What the heck? Personally, I would never, ever, 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 ever touch a Ouija board because I don't want that evil in my house, but that is pretty cool. They also have a Beetlejuice mystifying oracle Ouija board. Look at this. They have all the tiny guys here except for Michael Myers. I don't know if they're going to put out Michael Myers. Maybe they're saving that for last year. I mean, next year. Duh. <laughs> I am such a nerd. I crack myself up. We got Pennywise. We got Sam. We got Leather face and ghost face. Oh my gosh, I'm a dork. I'm sweating like a hog up in this piece. Let's come over here for a minute because I want to see if they have any of those tumblers that everybody is going crazy for. They might be out in the store somewhere else. In fact, I do see some over there. We're going to check those out in a second. I was actually able to get the Scream one for my daughter in one of these stores. I think it was Mansfield, actually. They hadn't brought them out yet. They had just arrived, but I asked at the perfect time. Let's leave some stickers for the bucket. The bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, and the secret keeping cat. And let's come on over here and check these out. Are there any that we haven't seen? Yes, there are. Holy crap. Look at this one right here, guys. I think I showed this in the Mansfield video and I left it there and I kind of regretted it. The Mars Attacks Alien Tumbler. How cool is that thing? Look at this, it's a Silence of the Lambs Tumbler. It doesn't say Silence of the Lambs, but that is the Silence of the Lambs moth right there. We got a Stitch Tumbler over here. That's actually pretty cool, but not my favorite. And then, have we seen this one? Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skellington with zero on the back. I like that shade of purple too. But the Wednesday mug in purple is more awesome. I love this purple right here. All right, let's make our way through the store here. Are there any blankets in this store that I haven't seen yet. Mm, maybe the Twilight Zone. You guys remember me pointing this one out before? Um, Silence of the Lambs. I don't know if I've seen that one. And I'm pretty sure I've seen this one. Ghostface, call me. Look at this. Amongst all these gigantic slippers here, they have the tiny, tiny little bluey slippers. <laughs> I think I've seen all of these blankets here as well. Wait a minute. Here's a plush that I don't think I've seen. Halloween Town, Jack Skellington, Pumpkin, Scarecrow. You gotta love the Welcome to Halloween doormat too. Halloween Town, Welcome to Halloween Town. As I was saying that, I was looking up at this one, and this one is Halloween. Welcome, we've been expecting you. And this is very peculiar. Usually every single thing you see that is branded Halloween is Halloween too. I think this is the only thing that I've seen, except for maybe the mask, that is branded Halloween, the original 1978 Halloween. Man, I get in these stores and I just start having too much fun and I start sweating like a hog up in this piece. Is that the second time I've said that in this store? Because I am hot and I am sweating like a hog up in this piece. Not the hookhead hog. Although if I had a hook in my head, I would definitely still be sweating like a hog up in this piece. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how stocked these two stores are. We got all this to look at. We got all these guys to look at here. There's lots of animatronics on the floor behind me for sale. Let's start with Wanda Webworth. She is so creepy. I'm glad they have her set up here. If you remember in the last store, they had her on the floor in the box on clearance for half price. So I can only assume 
that something must have broken on her, but I'm glad that this one works. Hello, Wonder. I have not been in a store yet, though, that has the coin mechanism set up that actually is connected to Wanda Webworth. I don't know why. This one is flashing, but he's not even moving, so I'm not sure what the deal is with that. And if you're not aware, that's just like the step pad, only you're pushing a coin in, and that's supposed to be the activate mechanism to get her going, or whoever else you have set up. All right, let's say hello to Cotton Candy Dan. Hello, Mr. One-Eye. <laughs> Better be careful walking around at this place. <laughs> All right, let's keep on moving around. Oh my gosh. Guys, I just realized that in the last store, the Boardman store, I never went through the Fun House of Terror. I guess it's because once word got out that I was there, I totally forgot. So let's go on through here, guys. The Spirit Fun House of Terror. And we're going to look in these mirrors with that thing in mind that I just saw a candy store on the way up here. Hello, Mr. Too Much Candy. Oh, here it is. This is the one. Before candy, after candy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. One of these days I want to actually get one of these holographic fans. Those are totally awesome. And I do still want to get candy. Let's look at this one real quick here. What happens if you eat candy? Well, you don't get shorter. You get fatter, but you don't get shorter. All right, through the fun house, let's come on out this side. We got all these animatronics on the floor to look at over here in a second. But let's go ahead and give these guys their due. Mr. Bobby Strings. Hello, sir. Hey boy, you finally made it. I pulled some strings to get you here. I pulled some strings to get you here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and once again, we actually have both Victor and Emily. Let's go ahead and get these guys going. With this candle, I will light your way in dust. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. I ask you to be mine. All right, Emily, what do you say about that? And since they do have their wire connected between them there, they will just keep going and going and going and going. All right, we got Barnaby over here. We got the jumping spider. It's a black and red jumping spider. Come on, sir. There you go. <laughs> Let's get Barnaby going here. Hello, Barnaby. Look at this, you can see how badly I'm sweating, guys. I'm not even kidding. I wish it were a little more chilly in here. <laughs> All right, we got one more of these guys to see over here. It's Nibbles. You didn't think I was gonna pass him by, did you? Hello, sir. Let's see what you have to offer. Well, well, well. You caught my eye. Oh, he's following me. Even though I have the camera, he is following me. Very, very cool. Come on, sir. I'm over here. I'm over here, sir. It seems like the sensor is pointed more directly at me rather than in other stores I've seen where, like, his head is kind of pointing up. So unless you stick your hand up and start moving it, then he's not really going to work right. And, of course, there's also that factor that you can't have your phone in your hand or else he doesn't work really work right. But he worked really good right here. And look at this. I got sidetracked because I noticed Shrek over there. Look at this creepy thing. What the heck? Oh my gosh, that is like the creepiest and most awesome Shrek head I've ever seen in my life. Oh, and it actually comes with the Shrek hands. All right. Ogres are like onions. All right, I'm not going to put it off any longer. Let's come on over here and see who all they have for sale on the floor. We have a towering Tallulah right on the end, guys. We have the light up in sound making ghost face. We have Max Straw right there. Oh, Mackie. 
We got Michael Myers, second store I've seen Michael Myers in. We have Emily the Corpse Bride down here on the bottom. I don't see Victor, though. I do see the Night Terror, though. We have a couple of scary sitting scarecrows, and we have two demonic gatekeepers right on the end. Of course, like always, we have a whole bunch of jumping spiders here, and look at this over here. We have the Beetlejuice groundbreaking sandworm and the Nightmare Before Christmas groundbreaking worm right on top of each other. I was talking in the other store about how I mistook the Nightmare Before Christmas groundbreaking worm for the Beetlejuice groundbreaking sandworm, but you can clearly see they are different. And we have got a whole pile of animatronics right beside them. We've got the gravestone ghoul. Look at the look on that guy's face. We got the light up ghost face down here. We have two sitting scarecrows, two more sitting scarecrows on the bottom, two ghastly ghost girls on swings. We got a whole plethora of sinister spirit dolls here. And on the other side, of course, we have two Bubba's man's possessed friend. Look at this over here, guys. We also have two of the new ghost facers. Ghost facers. What the heck, man? My head is so messed up in here because there's so much stuff I'm excited about. Two Ghostbusters life-size replica proton packs. Look how cool that is. As you guys know, I bought two of the Ghostbusters life-size terror dogs this season as soon as they were released. And it only seems fitting that I would get the replica proton pack and a costume one day. Whoa, what in the world is this thing on the bottom here? It looks like some kind of a cocoon. It's very soft and squishy. How sick. It's a spider egg sack. That is pretty disgusting. Okay, I do see a spider right there. What's up with those disgusting bubbles? I just want to, I'm going to dream, I'm going to have a nightmare about this thing tonight. Only I'm going to be inside the spider sack. You can go back to your home right there. Hello, crow. Hello, rat. Hello, this guy. And hello, killer squirrels. Look at this back here. We have scabs and carrot best friends forever right on the top. We have four of the secret keeping cats. Let's go ahead and leave them some stickers here because we know they won't tell anybody else where any of the other stickers are. We have another scabs and the creeping cat. And look at this, we have a ham hock. I think it's the first store this season I've seen the ham hock. One ham hock for sale. Hook head hog, hook eye guy. And what is this guy? Whoa, look at the hair. Blue hair. Look at the face on that guy. That is pretty cool. He's got a tissue in one ear and out the other. Oh, here's those activation switches I was talking about. $34.99. And yeah, it basically looks like you're entering a coin. You're inserting a coin. And when you push the coin, it activates the animatronic. All right, we got a good plethora of masks over here on the end piece. On the bottom, we have... I think that's the 2018 Halloween mask. We got Frankenstein's monster there. We have, is this the same one? Yeah, that's the same Halloween. We got Nightmare on Elm Street 4. I actually have that at home. Halloween Rob Zombie. I honestly do not like this mask at all. And then we, of course, we have the Terrifier and the Bloody Terrifier. I am going to be doing some camping soon, guys, and I was actually looking for a real knife online like this, a trench knife that looks like it has the brass knuckles attached, but I think they're illegal because I can't find one anywhere. No, thank you. You can go back to heck. I see some zombie baby friends over here. Are there any that I have not seen? yet. I saw this peekaboo guy in the last store in Boardman, and this one I believe I saw in St. Clairsville. This is only the second store I have seen her in. She is pretty cool looking. I love the barbed wire, hence her name, Barbara Wire. Look, it looks like this guy is trying to push the wall. He's like, guys, help! And she's like, I just want to eat my bugs. All right, let's take a quick look over here, guys, before we go. I just want to see if there's anything else that I haven't seen anywhere. Of course, there always is going to be things like this, because I don't spend a lot of time looking at things like this. Fortunes told here. That's what I'm talking about. That guy looks pretty creepy. And I'm kind of anxious to see how quickly Glenn sells out this year because everybody was buying him off the shelves last year fast. Oh, I haven't seen the Gizmo Sidestepper. 
<laughs> you gotta love Gizmo. If you guys watch my fan mail videos, you know that Spook365 just sent me this guy. Thank you very much. Look at this, we have both the atomic ray gun and the popcorn gun from Killer Clowns. From regions beyond, what do you see with your one eye? Okay guys, I've been around this store several times. I think I have seen everything there is to see in here today. Wait, what is this? $3.99 mini Spirit Halloween canvas tote bag. It'd be cool if they had Jack the Reaper on there, but that is still pretty cool. I don't know what you'd carry in that, like craft supplies. We got Bingo Man here. Wait a minute, what is this? I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Moving Mouth Papa. Hello. <laughs> Time for a potty break. Spirits open, let's go. <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, I am in New Philly, Ohio today, about to go into this spirit Halloween back here, which is inside a Bueller's grocery store. I love the way this store looks. This one has been here for the past few years. I have never filmed it before. I have filmed spirits in New Philly before, but it was always in the old JCPenney's down at the mall. I love how it has the clock up there. It reminds me of the clock tower from Back to the Future. All right, let's go on in, guys, see what we can find in here. Hopefully, we're gonna see some awesomeness that maybe we haven't seen in other stores. Oh my gosh, we're right, right off the bat, guys. Look at this, we have the Ringmaster. That is very, very cool, guys. My first time seeing the Ringmaster in person. We got Ghostface over here, of course, and this one is holding the machete. Let's go ahead and get him going real quick, and then we'll move on to the ringmaster. Now I see something red. <laughs> and he's doing the death wobble with his hand. All right, let's move over to the ringmaster. Look at this guy. 329.99. He is he look at the clobbers, the clob hoppers. What the heck do you even call them? They're so big. The clob hoppers on this guy. I love how he has the skull on the end of his staff, and he looks exactly like Shaq. I really, really just want to bring a basketball and set it right there between his feet. Let's go ahead and get him going here, because I've heard some things about him, like his chest lights up or shows some kind of a thingy-majigger. I don't know. Let's see. Show us a thingy-majigger. Oh, okay, I can see it, but it's so bright in here that I can't make out what it is. Okay, I see a skull. Is it just skulls, like, trying to break out through his chest? You guys are going to have to just tell me, because it's so bright in here, I just can't tell. All right, let's do that one time with me being quiet so we can hear him. Step right up. Yeah, it's way too difficult to see. But I'll tell you what, you know what would make that even more awesome? If fog came out of his mouth. Because as he kicks back like that, that reminds me of Candyman. If you've ever seen the movie Candyman, where he kicks back like that and all the bees come out of his mouth, how cool is that? All right, Ringmaster, Ghostface, let's move through the carnival and see what else we can find. And of course, straight ahead, we have this guy that everybody loves so much, Art the Clown, $199.99, get a 20% off coupon and you can save 40 bucks. Art the Clown, let's see what you got, buddy.
All right, we got Art moving. We got the ducks going over here. Now, I don't think this actually does anything if you try to shoot the ducks. I kind of expect them to react sometimes, and I don't think they do. Like, you push the trigger on the gun, you can see it flashing up and flashing up, flashing and making noises and stuff, but it doesn't actually affect the ducks in any way. You see that boy? Now he goes and fetches the duck. All right, let's move on over here because we have, whoa, hunching scarecrow. And it looks like he's hooked up to the uh, step pad here. It it looks like he's about to fall over. All right, let's give him some stickers here in his little bucket. Pass those out to the trick-or-treaters, sir. This is cool, guys. I'm in here so early today that I'm like the only person in the store. Except for the one dude that I just met that's off school because he just got his cast off. Word up, dude. All right, look who we have right here, guys. We got a Bobby Strings for sale on the floor. We have the ghost face that lights up in the face and the knife. Of course, we have some low-lying fog machines. And we have Barnaby the Bear right over here. And we have another setup here that doesn't have Victor. What the heck? Where is he? All right, let's go ahead and talk to Emily first then. Come on now, Emily, come on. I hate how she has such pauses between what she's saying. She's one of my favorite animatronics ever, but she's kind of hard to hear. Plus, the music is pretty loud in here. Let's go ahead and get our jumping spider going here. Come on, sir. I used to get so scared of the jumping spiders every single time they would jump at me. Let's get Barnaby going here. Oh, he is super loud in here. Very cool. <laughs> I love getting the shots where you can see like the side show sign and stuff behind them. That looks so cool right there. All right, let's come on over here and do poppy strings. Come on, poppy. Hi there, kids. You're a lovely sight. Here's a spooky tail to fill you up with fright. I'm Emily Strings, and I'm going to unbound. Background. That's such a cool shot right there. I think if I ever bought him, I'd have to give him gumdrop buttons just for the heck of it. All right, let's go through the Fun House of Terror. Wait a minute. Why is it that every single time I come in here and I go through the Fun House of Terror, I've just had some kind of junk food before I do it? I just ate some kind of a brand new Reese peanut butter nutty candy bar or something like that. I'm already big enough as it is. And then we walk through the Fun House mirrors. What? the heck before Reese's after Reese's I just love walking through the fun house over and over because you can walk straight through the curtains and push them right out of the way and see what spookiness awaits oh in this case we got a whole plethora of spookiness awaiting us we got a max straw on the bottom here. We got a ground-breaking pumpkin here. I think this guy is totally awesome. We got another Barnaby down here. Look at this. We got one, two, three man's possessed friends, Bubba. We got two demonic gatekeepers here. Man, he is so much more awesome than I ever expected him to be. This is what I'm talking about when I say that you have to actually see these in person to appreciate them. We got a, we got two gravestone ghouls here. We got a Cotton Candy Dan in his enormous box. We got a giant death ray here. And look who we have over here on the end, guys. We got Papa Pins. What the heck? I think it's the first time I've seen him in a store this season. I saw a post yesterday where they actually had him set up where the ringmaster should be. And then, of course, we have the Killer Clowns Trio inflatable on the top here. We got a whole pile of stuff here. We got a Grave Watcher here. We got another Grave Watcher here. We got the Sinister Spirit doll. Every time I see her, I think of the Spirit Halloween movie. Hello, cat. We got a Night Terror down here. We got another Max Straw, a Fogging Skull Pile, Scary Sitting Scarecrow on this side, and a Wanda Webworth down here. Oh, and a Ghost Face over there. Oh, check this out, guys. Everybody is looking for this, too. The Halloween 2 Pumpkin Skeleton Statue. He's not working, but he does light up inside there. There we go. We got him turned on. Oh, there it is. How cool 
is that I'm very tempted to get him $44.99. And that is one of the things that everybody is trying to get this year. We got a couple of Annabelles over here. We got a couple of Glenn dolls and a sitting Sam doll. I think he is totally awesome. I'm kind of surprised that Glenn is surviving because last year everybody was buying this guy up. Oh, I don't think I've seen this one. The Mars Attacks Neon LED Light Up Sign. That is cool. I actually have an Elm Street sign sort of like this in my office. Check out this giant mug for hot chocolate. Ooh, and look at this Billy Butcherson back here. Very cool. And I love how this season they have things that are just basic Halloween like these ghosts right here. Look at this, this plush white and black ghost. And this one even has a baby. Wait, this one does too. I just didn't see it. We got a pink skull over here. We got the secret keeping cats down here on the bottom. We got the zombie squirrels, the hello cats, and this guy. But I don't see Scab as his best friend forever. I can smell these guys' breath. They need the aqua fresh. We got some Zumba babies over here. Nobody knew, but they're all cool. Excuse me, sirs and ma'ams, are you taking a Zumba class today? We got Ghostface and Pennywise the Horror Babies. A whole plethora of jumping spiders. We got Bingo Man here. Wait a minute, what is this? I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Moving Mouth Papa. Hello. <laughs> Time for a potty break. All right, we got to figure out where the plush is because everybody's been finding these plush art dolls and I am on a mission to find one. Wait a moment, speak of the devil. Look what I just found here, guys. Look at this, here he is, the Terrifier art plush. Oh my gosh, I did not expect I was actually gonna find him in here, but we have one two, three. They actually have three in stock right here in New Philly. That is very cool. We also have Miss Argentina here. We have Lydia from Beetlejuice. Who is this guy? Oh, happy guy from JoJo's Ice Cream Killer Clowns. We have the Corpse Bride. We have a couple of Corpse Brides, actually. We have Pennywise here. And the Sandworm from Beetlejuice. What in the world is this three-headed fellow right here? It's like three-headed dog or something. Snuggle Me Snackers. Squishable.com? That's very strange. Okay, we found the art doll. Now, the other thing in question that everybody wants, the tumblers. Let's just take a walk through here and see if we can find any. I do see a bag o ears and a bag o eyeballs <laughs> and a bag o squishy mouses. All right, let's stay on track here. Don't get sidetracked. Whoa, I'm getting sidetracked. Hold on, check this out. Okay, this is sick. I bet you anything they didn't want to pay the royalties, but this is based on Terrifier. If you know, you know. <laughs> we got one with a backbone and a skull. Oh, here's the Jack Reaper pen. Oh, wait a minute, his arm is broken off, uh-oh. We'll put that one to the side, but let's look at this one because he has both arms. There he is, Jack Reaper. So much fun, it's scary. And this is one of my favorites right here, the Severed Finger Pen. <laughs> wait a minute, is this a zombie baby pen? It is, it's a zombie baby chewing on a leg. What the heck? Oh my gosh, and it's a pen. His brain is popping out. He's munching on a leg. That is crazy. All right, let's keep on moving here. I want to see if we can't find these things. Wait a minute. What kind of candy do we have here? <laughs> we got the Friday the 13th Sari Sour Cherry Candy Cleavers. I've actually had those. They're very tasty. We have the Ouija Mystifying Mints. We have the Chucky Tin down here with Cherry Candy Knives. We got the mystery machine here. I don't know what's in there. Oh, sour green apple. Okay. And we got Michael Myers here. This one has sour candy in it. And Pennywise here, but I don't know what's in there. Cherry red balloons candy. All right, we got all our magnets here. We got keychains here, mystery bags. There are so many new mystery bags this year, guys. I'm not seeing any tumblers yet, but let's keep on moving. There's this squishy guy. Here's some mugs over here. Uh, here's some tumblers, but it's not what we're looking for. Look at this art mug. 
I don't think I've seen this one before. Whoa! That is a long head on that guy. That's for like a double hot choco. All right, let's keep coming around this way. We got spider webs and bags and pumpkin carvers. All right, let's leave some stickers in the bucket, 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 the bucket. Here are some more tumblers, but it's not exactly what we're looking for. Although I will say this ghost face one is very close to it. It's clear and it still says killing it. That's pretty cool. And that's something more of like what I would use. I think the other one is just too big for me. But look at this. We also have Chucky here. This one's really cool. Jason and Michael Myers. Look at this one. Killer clowns from outer space. In space, no one can eat ice cream. <laughs> all right, let's head over this way because I don't think we've been over here yet. Here's all their new shirts. We've already looked at these in one of the other videos. Doesn't mean we can't look at them in these videos too, but I really like this one right here. Jason Voorhees, most likely to kill it. Wait, have we seen this? I think we've seen this. The Ouija board, the Wednesday Ouija board. I haven't looked at the ghost face masks yet in any of these stores. Look at this. I love the aged mask. We got the chrome one here. We have the color changing mask. Hmm, okay, let's see that. Okay, it lights up and it changes colors. And then we have the devil face, which looks totally cool, but I don't do horns. Look at this, it's a Gary crossbody bag. That's hilarious. And a little tag says meow. Wow, guys, they just must not have unpacked those tumblers at all because I don't see any of them, not one tumbler in the entire store. And I have been up and down all of these aisles. All right, let's leave some stickers over here for these guys before I go. We'll leave some for Ghostface, one for Halloween Two Skull, couple for Dancing Lydia, one for the Deadly Nightshade, some for the Ghosty Cups. All right, and I gotta come over here for a minute and check out this gigantic stuffed sloth because from what I can understand, giant three-toed sloth. You can win me by signing up at the service center or buying participating craft items. Look at that guy. Oh my gosh, he's huge. Wait a minute, what is this right beside him? Look at this. Haunted Hayride Pumpkin Ale. I bet that's like beer and I don't drink beer. Pumpkinville Latte. Oh, it does have alcohol in it. No thanks. Here, though, is some donut shop coffee. That is what I'm talking about. Scary Good Treats. It's coffee flavored like Twix. And not just Twix, but a Twix donut and a Snickers donut. What could be better than that? Oh, a peanut butter cup donut? <laughs> it's open to Bueller's right here, and this is the grocery store, so that's how I got caught up out here. I want to see one more thing here. Jet puffed candy corn marshmallows. It's even shaped like candy corn. I wonder if it tastes like candy corns. Mmm. All right, I'm out, guys. That was super fun in that store. I decided to leave the plushy arts for other people because I know how much people want to find them. So if you are one of those people, come on out here to New Philadelphia, Ohio. They have three of them right now. boy look at what we have here people have been going absolutely crazy out of their ever-loving minds for the art crispies things and here we have an art crispies throw blanket spirits open let's go pick me up in an hour All right, guys, today we are in Fairlawn, Ohio, about to go into this spirit Halloween right back here. Is that it right there? I can't see because the sun is in my eyes. Yes, I believe it is. And the funny thing about this right now is that that other Nate guy literally was just here 10 minutes ago. I got here. He got here. Basically the same time, only I was eating lunch. Otherwise, we could have tag teamed up in this piece. Oh, my gosh. I just cannot even believe how crazy bright it is out here today. I'm not even sure I got the right picture for my thumbnail. All right, I'll take 
take one from right here just in case. Look at this. They have so many posters on the front windows. I don't think I've seen a store with this many posters. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten posters on the front windows here, guys. I love that. <laughs> All right, that other Nate guy says this is a pretty good store. Thank you, Automatic Doors. So let's go on in and check it out. Yes, it's always awesome walking right into a Spirit Halloween store. Wow, this is big and wide and open too. And look right up here in the front, guys. What do you see that's kind of peculiar about this one, hmm? We have the Shack Attack, but he's on the right side and Ghostface is on the left. How crazy is that? You know, it's funny because like as many times as I've seen Ghostface, he just doesn't look like he's moving right to me. It seems like he's supposed to move back and forth, but I also could be wrong. Let's go ahead and get him going here. Here we go, Mr. Ghostface. Come on now. Yeah, okay, it's just his head that moves until he starts the stabbing motion and does the handshake of death. All right, Shack Attack. Let's see if we can get him going and see if we can see what happens on his chest a little bit better here. All right, come on now. Here we go. All right, come on now. Yeah, I'm still in search of him inside a store where I can actually see what's happening on his chest. I can just barely see it right there. The other thing that I did notice was, look at that stash. He has a very furry mustache. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do we want to look at in here, guys? We always look at the animatronics, and that's cool because people want to see the animatronics. But we got to look at some other things in here today as well. We got Towering Tallulah over here. Let's go ahead and do the Wheel of Fate quick before we do anything else. Will I live? Will I die? What's going to happen here? Okay, come on now. Come on now. One eye! Wow, look at this, guys. They have got a billion animatronics for sale on the floor here. Let's just take a look at them. First off, we have The Keeper. Now, I think I said it in the last store where I saw him. I expected his box to be so much bigger. It's such a tiny little box here for a $400 prop. But that could be because he's a tiny little guy with tiny little feet. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Scream animatronic below him. And look at this, right side by side so we can do a comparison. We have the other ghost face right here. They call him an animatronic, but he's not really an animatronic. This one is an animatronic. This one is not an animatronic. This one actually does animatronic things. This one just kind of lights up and makes noises. Both are very cool, but I think if I were going to get one, I would go ahead and get the animatronic. All right, let's see. Oh, look at this. We got a cauldron this over here, guys. Very cool. Cool. I think I've seen her for sale in one other store this season so far. We got a demonic gatekeeper over here. Whoa, we got a deadly creeper here. I haven't seen him for a while. We got two cotton candy dams on the bottom. Look at this. We have the blood of death on the floor. If I was working at this store, I would totally make a tape outline of a body there. We got a max straw down here. Look at this, guys. We got all kinds of awesome stuff in here. We've got a rat girl right here on the top. And honestly, her box is a little bit smaller than what I expected too. We've got a Cerberus down here, the three-headed dog. We got a Wanda Webworth on the bottom. Over here, we got a Slim. I don't know if I've seen him in any stores this season. We actually have a Black Heart here as well. Oh my gosh, we have three Howling Spirits here. Look at this whole plethora of sitting scarecrows. Look, we got some regular sitting scarecrows. We got some scary sitting scarecrows. And then we got this guy on the other side, Toothy the clown i've seen him in about three stores i think so far man they have enough swinging props they could do an entire evil playground the evil schoolyard here we got man's possessed friends how many of these do we have dang one two three four five bubbas i want to see a front yard hunt where it's nothing but bubbas like a hundred bubbas and as you run through they're all jumping out trying to get you we got two gordos on this end uh emily on the bottom and look who is on the top here this disgusting chick reagan from the exorcist too evil and we are not finished yet holy crap look at this we got a grave watcher here we have two dagger mike we got a max straw 
Looks like we got one, two, three fogging skull piles. Look at this, we even have a collector's minion on the top here. And then we got a Barnaby the Bear and a Wanda Webworth in this pile. And down on this end, we have a straw man and the groundbreaking worm from a nightmare before Christmas. A nightmare, the nightmare before Christmas. Of course, we have the plethora of jumping spiders over here. I see blacks, I see black and reds, I see grays. We have a gray jumping spider here. Do we have a brown? I don't see any brown jumping spiders. Yes, I do. There's one right down there, brown jumping spider. One right in the middle of all the rest. All right, we're gonna walk through the fun house of terror and go down that way in just a minute, or maybe we'll come back up this way because I forgot. I noticed there's another pile of animatronics up here. If I weave through here, take a right, and then take a left. Here is another pile right here. We got a Bobby Strings. We have a Barnaby the Bear. Look at this. We have two demonic gatekeepers on the bottom here, two night terrors over here, and two gravestone ghouls. Oh, it looks like they only have a very limited selection of the tumblers. I think this one is one of the coolest ones though. In space, no one can eat ice cream. I don't think I've seen this one before though. Look at this. It just says dead. Wait a minute. Here's some things I don't think I've seen. These Snuggies. This is a Chuggy Snuggy. Ch I called him Chuggy. What the heck? Chucky Snuggy. And actually, I messed up because I was reading that word. Snuggaroomy, which I think I have seen these now because I remember that word. We got Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger Snuggaroomy. Oh my gosh, we got a bunch of them over here. Look at this. We got Patrick Star. We have Beetlejuice. Here we go, we got SpongeBob. I should buy that one. I'm such a big guy, this would probably be just like a regular hoodie for me. And we've got scooby dooby doo Oh boy, look at what we have here. People have been going absolutely crazy out of their ever-loving minds for the Art Krispies things. And here we have an Art Krispies throw blanket. That's one I haven't even seen a picture of online. And they actually have two. And I noticed that because I was looking at these slippers over here because people have been saying that there are actually Art the Clown slippers, but I haven't seen those yet either. There's a Goosebumps throw up there I wouldn't mind having. I do not see the Art plush in this store, but I do see this awesome Spongebob backpack. Are you ready, kids? All right, before I forget, let's start dropping some stickers in the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. Wait, it didn't go into the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. <laughs> let's leave a couple here for the night terror. Oh, look at this. I don't think I've seen the groundbreaking skeleton yet. I've seen the groundbreaking pumpkin, and I've seen the purple-haired, spinning-eyes clown, but I don't think I've seen the groundbreaking skeleton. Look at this. We have a whole plethora of killer creatures here. Oh, no. Killer critters is what they're called. We have scabs. Where's your best friend? Is your best friend here? What the heck? Scabs's best friend Carrot is not here. We have Steven Seagull. We have another Scabs here. We have a whole bunch of secret keeping cats. Do you know where Carrot is? And we have some zombie squirrels here as well as this guy right here. This one is just so strange to me. A skull on the back of an ugly slug. Look at those eyes. <laughs> Hello, lady. We got two hook head hogs, but I don't see any hook eye guys over here. Here's some more swinging fellows for our evil playground. They are pretty stocked with the inflatables today though, guys. Check this out. They actually have two of the 12 foot ghost faces. I have one of those at home and they have two of the Jack the Reaper archways. They got stuffed dummy props and these hanging fellows and this hanging lady. This one just looks like she would bite your arm off if you let her. Ah! Oh, look at this. We got three of the hanging Jack Reapers. Wow, I'm surprised you can even find this guy in stock because he's so awesome. Hello, sir, with one eye. Oh my gosh, here is a grandpa mask I have never seen. 
Look at the hair on that guy. It's a reverse mohawk. We've got the zombie babies, but none of them that I haven't seen. And guys, I actually saw pumpkins for sale at a store yesterday, and I almost bought one so I could carve it. Maybe I'll do that tonight. Let's just take a look at some of these masks real quick here. I don't see anything else that I haven't seen, but I do like this guy who has 1,000 eyes. All right, you guys tell me, which of these skeletons do you like better? The regular ones? here or these colored ones over here wait a minute there's a third color this one actually has eyes that turn on and move I have him turned on but his eyes aren't actually moving right now but yeah check that out I like that we have like the tan colored one here we have the darker one that looks like he's been rotting for a while and then we have this one that's just been cleaned of all the flesh they have the Sam and Ghostface porch buddies lots of good guys we got a sitting Sam doll we got an Annabelle over here we have a Glendall over here. We have some other sitting Chuckies over here. Oh, a Chucky and some Tiffany's. Lots of bobbleheads and sidesteppers. We got Ghostface and Gremlins down here. We have Georgie. We have a Corpse Bride Scraps right here. We have a couple of them from Trick or Treat. We got Elvira and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Sam, Chucky, Gremlins, Michael Myers, Ghostface. All right, let's come on over here and just say hello to all these guys. Hello, Cotton Candy Dan. Hello, Wanda Webworth. Hello, oh, you're already laughing at me, sir. Okay, Nibbles, hello to you too. Hello to Barnaby the Bear. Hello, Victor and Emily. Hello, Grandma. Hello, Bobby Springs, and look, Hello, rat. All right, let's make a quick walk through the fun house of terror. I just ate, so I am not even gonna look at these mirrors. Let's leave some stickers for the scary sitting scarecrow. You're welcome, sir. Hello, Art. Hello, this guy. Hello, Tallulah. Why is she, oh, she took forever to jump. What in the world? And hello, Mac Straw. Here's something I haven't seen before, the bedazzled ghost face backpack. All right, let's leave these guys some stickers here. There you go. There you go. Oh, I forgot to say hello to the gray jumping spider. Let's go ahead and leave him some stickers. Will we be getting business cards? All right, guys. Wow, what an enormous store in here. There was one other thing that I was looking for and hoping to find just so that I could see it with my own eyes. Whoa, how did I miss this guy? Carrots, I knew I'd find you. Excuse me, sir. I found your best friend forever. He's right back there. So I was hoping to find the art crossbody bag just because I know that everybody's looking for it and I wanted to see it with my own two eyes and I don't see it but we did get to see the Art Krispies throw blanket that is the coolest ever right there all right guys that is it for the Fairlawn Ohio Spirit Halloween make sure you go over to that other Nate guys channel because he was just here filming this literally an hour ago <laughs> All right, guys, I am so excited today. I have been waiting for this location to open. Today, we are at this location right here in Canton, Ohio on the Strip. Look at how awesome that looks. I absolutely love how it's a blue front with the white cross on it and the orange just absolutely pops. This is actually the location that I was at last year when the newspaper came out here right in this parking lot and did their interview and put me on the front page on October 31st, Halloween Day, for filming Spirit Halloween Stores. Spirit's open! Let's go! <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. I love how huge the storefront is. And yeah, look at how that gigantic orange sign just pops on that blue. There's windows on the bottom. There's windows on the top. And look how many awesome posters they have. This is just the coolest looking location 
forever. And this is what I'm talking about with these signs, guys. Check this out. I bet you anything that sign is six feet tall if you were standing right next to it. Some of these stores get the tiniest little signs, but this one is perfect. All right, I am so excited to get in here and just check everything out, guys. This is actually the grand opening day of this store, if I haven't said it already. Thank you, Automatic Doors. Yeah, guys, I love this store in this location. This is an enormous store. Look at this place. How cool is this? And I'm not going to point it out yet, but I see something poking out that I haven't seen in other stores yet. Speaking of, I don't think I've seen this shirt yet with the choppers on it and the eyeballs. We got skulls. We have, what is that, like a skeleton key there? We got some spider webs. Oh, we got a secret keeping cat in the mix. Look at this. I love how they're getting more Spirit Halloween merchandise. Like, look at this hoodie here. This is actually, like, bedazzled here. And then we got this one here, Spirit, established 1983. Wait a minute. Have I seen this shirt? Leatherface, like in the style of the American Gothic. I do see how they have it up here. And I did look at the shirts in another store, so I probably did notice that. But I don't think I've ever actually looked at the shirt. And look at this up here waiting to hit someone with the hammer. I love how standing right here in the store, you can look all the way down the galley there and just see the entire carnival setup. That is so cool. And look at this over here, guys. Look at how many animatronics they actually have for sale on the floor right here. I am so excited because I see so much stuff in here just in these animatronics for sale on the floor that I have not seen in other stores. Let's check them out. Let's come over here and start right here, guys, with the Ringmaster. They actually have the Ringmaster in stock. Not only one, but they have two of the Ringmasters here. Look at this. I can't believe it. Shack Attack number one, Shack Attack number two. This is the first time I've actually seen the Ringmaster for sale in any store this season. Look at this. We got Papa Pins here waiting for us. We have Bobby Strings over here. And not only do we have one, but we have two. Oh my gosh, they got one over here that I just might have to buy today. I don't know, I've been putting it off, but We'll get there in a minute. Holy crap, I just want to go nuts in here buying them all. Look at this. We got a whole stack. Three Cerberuses, the three-headed dog. We got a Mr. Punchy down here. I already have two of them. We got a giant death ray on the bottom. We got a scary sitting scarecrow. We have the ghost face that lights up and makes sounds. There's actually three of those if we come around the back. We got a cotton candy Dan here. I still can't get over just how big his box is. We got the regular scream ghost face animatronic right here. We got a grave stone ghoul on top we got another scary sitting scarecrow here look at this guys they actually have a hex spawn in the store right here right now for sale go back to heck i've said it a thousand times i don't buy anything that has horns but if i ever were to it would be the hex spawn he is so cool we got the demonic gatekeeper over here we got gordo up here in fact we have one two three gordos and holy crap i'm about to crap my pants they actually have <laughs> the dark princess and they don't just have one they have two dark princesses on the floor for sale right here right now oh my gosh i'm such an idiot i can't stop laughing at myself okay let's keep moving here look at this we have a cauldron so a cauldronous over here I can't even talk I'm such a nerd we have a Monty beside her we have two three dagger mics here we have a terrifier art the clown in stock in North Canton on the strip right here right now guys and then we have two more gravestone ghouls over there somebody was just talking online this morning about a very rare prop that they're trying to get and I think they were talking about art they were talking about buying the one off the floor at the end of the season but let me tell you I highly recommend that you just wait it's only the beginning of the season there are going to be more showing up in stores and I would not buy a prop on the floor that has been working over and over and over and over because it's going to break I mean I understand that they're gonna 
I mean, I understand that you're gonna get a discount at the end of the season, but just pay full price, get the prop brand new, you will thank me later. You have no idea how many thousands of times these things run every day. Anyways, with that in mind, let's continue here, guys. Check this out. We actually have a Michael Myers over here. We have a Black Heart. I mean, this place is absolutely stocked today, but like I said, it is the grand opening. We have three Emmelines. We have a Keeper on top there. We have a Toothy the Clown over here. A Cotton Candy Dan. We have two Nibbles the Clowns. We have two Wanda Webworths here. We have two Max Straws. We have two Emilies from the Corpse Bride. I do not see Victor around here. But we do have another Demonic Gatekeeper back here. And I believe there is another one down below. Uh oh. Somebody just bought the only Art the Clown they have on the floor. We have a Bubba Man's Possession friend right here. Wait, there are actually more animatronics back down this way. We're going to check those out too. Maybe there's another Art the Clown down there. But here it is, guys. This is the one that I said I am very, 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 no, no, very, 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 very tempted to buy today. The Mars Attacks Martian Warrior. I did not buy it last year and I regretted it. Oh man, it's right here in the store in front of me. I can walk up and I can touch it. Ah! Mars Attacks, Martian Warrior. He is so cool. Even just the box looks absolutely awesome. All right, let's turn him around here for a second. I do not remember. He is $399.99. I believe I have a 20% off coupon in my wallet, or at least on my phone. What do I do? Do I pull the trigger? on the Martian Warrior. Man, I don't know. I just don't know if I want to spend that much money today. As soon as I walk away from him, the same thing's going to happen that just happened with the Art the Clown. Somebody is going to slink right in and grab him and ack, ack, ack their way out with him. All right, you talked me into it. All right, Martian Warrior for the win, guys. I did not plan on doing that when I came in here today. But let's go on back down here because there are even more animatronics for sale on the floor. Beginning with the towering to Lula. She's another one that I want. We got a whole plethora of sitting scarecrows and scary sitting scarecrows. We have four man's possessed friends. We have a couple of night terrors here. And look at this on the other side. We actually have a collector's minion. People always think I'm crazy when I say at the beginning of the season I can't wait to get in there and see if there are any online only props and I always find them. And of course we have an entire plethora. An entire Entire plethora, not just half a plethora, an entire plethora of jumping spiders. I see we have the black ones, we have the black and reds. Let's see, do we have a gray? I don't see a gray. I don't see a gray or a brown on this side. And I don't see a gray or brown on this side either. But there might be some more around the store somewhere. Look what I just spied with my little eye back here. It is Jack the Reaper. We actually have a Jack the Reaper costume in here. So there are some regular Grim Reaper costumes and they have a Skeleton Reaper. Oh, look at this. They even have the Fading Reaper down on the bottom. But they only have one adult size Jack the Reaper costume. And look at this. I love how they don't just call this black fabric. They call it black freaky fabric. All right, we're going to come back around and go through the fun house in just a minute. Check out all those animatronics up there. And there is one setup that I have never seen set up in a store yet this season. So that will be a treat. But let's look at a couple things around the store first. Like this Chucky Child's Play 2 Jack in the Box. I just watched Child's Play 1 yesterday. I don't know if he's supposed to jump or anything because he's in the box, but you can see by the spring that he probably at least kind of like bobbleheads around. We got the lighted Sam statues here holding a pumpkin. And look at this one. The light is just staying on inside him. Those are very cool. Oh my gosh, guys. The new Beetlejuice movie comes out in two days. I am so excited to see it. Let's check out this Miss Argentina door knocker. What do you want? You don't have an appointment, do you? You'll have to wait if you don't have an appointment. Number 54,601, Fun Doc, 
54,601, she said. We got the Pennywise and Leatherface snow globes here. Let's get these two going real quick because they are totally awesome. Check that out. That is so cool. <laughs> I don't think we've said hello to any Sam sidesteppers yet this season. Hello, Sam. And then we also have the Leatherface sidestepper here. Let's get him going. Look at this, he's sawing my finger as I reach in to turn him off. Okay, looking at these inflatables for a second, guys, I see they have this scarecrow here, and I've seen online where some people are finding the Sam scarecrow. You guys tell me how tall it is. Is it 12 feet tall? Because the thing looks absolutely enormous. Hello, rat. We've got the rabid one-eye squirrels here. I still want to see how he finds his nuts with only one eye. We got carrots here. We have Steven Seagull. We have the secret keeping cat down there. I'm pretty sure these are new for this year. The three and a half foot hanging zombie and the three and a half foot hanging reaper. Okay, this is cool too. I've been looking Looking for the IR sensors, the animatronic activation IR sensors. I haven't found them anywhere, but look at this one. This is a gargoyle door knocker that actually is an animatronic switch. That's cool. We got the swinging witch, empty soul girl on a swing. We got these skella guys and these purple guys. Let's leave some stickers in the witch cauldron here. And let's leave a couple in the skulls. Let's leave a couple for the toitles. Let's leave one for the hello rat. Let's leave a couple for the Beetlejuice hand here. Oh, look at this. We have a pretty good selection of zombie babies in this store. We have the butt baby. We have have the rat eater. We have spider biter Billy. We have this evil little guy. What the heck, man? Look how sharp those fingers are. Testy little guy. We have ravenous Ruby. And we have hiding Harry, who is a new one this year. It's like baby peekaboo clown. True Hollywood story, peekaboo clown. We have more spider biters. We have some crawlers down here. Hello, sir. And we have the singing babies. Whenever I see this hat, it reminds me of the Matrix. And whenever I see grandma, it reminds me of taking out the garbage. Have you done the dishes yet, Sonny? No, Grandma! Oh, look at this. We actually have an ice cream clown mask. I don't know if I knew we had that mask in here. We. I say it as if it's my store. <laughs> we don't look at the weapons very often. Let's take a look at these. Check out this battle axe right here. This thing is so cool. I would actually love to have like a real battle axe like that. You could just be like, ah! oh my gosh, I'm a nerd. What sense does that make? Look at this then. This one has, what is that? It's like a saw blade on it, tied on it with barb wire. And then we got this gigantic battle axe here. We got a couple of different hatchets down here. We have a giant corkscrew and we have, what the heck is this thing? And we have a couple of sledgehammers here. We got all the bleeding knives on this end here and all kinds of other knives knives over here, including one that's not a knife. It's a pipe wrench. This is something like you'd see on Children of the Corn. And so is this. Every time I see this knife in one of these stores, I think of Malachi. And they got the gigantic scissors down here. You know what this makes me think of? Wouldn't it be cool if somebody took like one of the um, 12 foot monsters from Home Depot or something and actually made it into a 12 foot Edward scissor hands and you could use these to make the scissor hands. We got a couple more over here. We have like the staffs over here. This one has a skull. This is, hmm, it's just like a regular staff. We got the snake. No, that's not a snake. That's a dragon staff. We have the baby with the one eye. Bow and arrows. And then we have this knife, which is pretty cool. I wish I could find a real one like that. And then we have giant swords over here, like medieval swords. We have some bats over here of different shapes and sizes. This one even has some barbed wire wrapped around it. We got all these pathway markers over here. Hold on. I want to see the baby head pathway markers. Oh, look at that. It lights up green inside. I half expected they were going to make 
sounds, but I think I've looked at them before and realized they didn't make sounds, but I do like those green light. All right, let's make our way up through here. We have some more weapons in here. Look at this costume. It's called the Clown Capture. And it's like a clown who has captured a young boy in striped pajamas. <laughs> All right, let's take a quick look over here because I'm still on the lookout for those art slippers. I have not seen them yet, but people swear they exist. And I do see we have Michael Myers. I don't think I've seen those before. We got Scooby-Doo, we got Shrek, we have SpongeBob and Patrick. I see we have Stitch over here. What is the white one? Oh, this is the owl <laughs> from Harry Potter. Oh, look at this one. I don't think I've seen these before either. These are the Beetlejuice sandworms. That's cool. And I think that's it for the slippers. Um, are there any fleece throws that I have not yet seen? Maybe the Mind Flayer down here from Dungeons and Dragons. And of course, here they have the Art Krispies throw blanket. I know that a lot of people are loving that design right there. And I don't think I've seen anybody post any pictures with the Art Krispies blanket because everybody's looking for the box, the box that looks like a cereal box. I've seen it in one other store. And they're also looking for the, uh, the crossbody bag and the tumbler, but I haven't seen those in any stores either. You know what, they have a lot of stuff to unpack in here yet, but before I even forget about it, let's come over here and see if we can find that crossbody bag anywhere. Let's just start all the way on the end here and look, we got all the Chucky stuff over here. It looks like we have all the Jason stuff over here. Nightmare on Elm Street on the end and rounding the corner here. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. We got Ghostbusters, Harry Potter, Beetlejuice here. Here's the handbook for the recently deceased crossbody bag. That's cool. Excuse me, what are you looking at, ma'am? All right, we got Halloween Michael Myers over here. Ooh, okay. Well, first of all, uh, while we're talking about the crossbody bags, there's the Halloween 2 knife crossbody bag but look at this this is a pretty sweet knife right here we got a couple of Coraline things here we have some corpse bride stuff on the end here this is all nightmare before Christmas here and then we have Sam trick-or-treat over here with Sam's crossbody bag that's pretty cool the Adams family Wednesday over here and they do have the headless doll crossbody bag that's pretty cool Pennywise on this end this looks to be all hocus pocus down here oh look at this here's one I haven't seen before the Sanderson witch museum crossbody bag that is pretty cool this is all the ghost face stuff here and they do have the ghost face crossbody bag and look at this they have an awesome ghost face jersey. That is pretty cool right there. I like that. Okay, here's some Terrifier stuff right here. We got a couple of costumes. There's a chick costume for Art the Chick Clown. And then we got a Terrifier knife here. We got a sweatshirt and we have the sunflower glasses, but no crossbody bag. Those are apparently very, very difficult to come by this year, guys. I don't see any other Terrifier or Art the Clown stuff, at least in this area right here. We got a plethora of Scooby-Doo stuff right here. I actually bought this mask from one of the stores that I was recently in because I want to hang it in my basement in my movie room. Man, guys, there are just so many different costumes in these stores. I should make a video just looking at every single costume in the entire Spirit Halloween store. That would take me forever. You gotta love the Shrek ogre ears. Look at this costume. It's called Buckaroo Babe. And then we have Western Glam here. Yes! Cow print chaps. I should get those and make Marion wear them. I could be like, so uh, brought you a little present. <laughs> that would go over well. Maybe it would work if I came walking in dressed like this. Howdy, ma'am. You know what else? I think that they have discontinued making the shrunken heads. I haven't seen any of those in any stores for quite a while, but I did buy two of them the last time I saw them. Oh, here's a coffin-shaped backpack. That's soft velour right there. All right, I think it's time to go through the fun house of terror. Luckily, this time I didn't have any peanut butter cups or donuts or anything. See what I mean? I actually look skinny in this one. But once you have the donuts, before donuts, after donuts. <laughs> hey, wait, I actually smell the smell in here. I don't know if it's 
vanilla or what that smell is, but somebody was, oh, cotton candy, that's what it is. People keep asking me, when you go through the fun house, do you smell the cotton candy? And I could never smell it before. This is the first one I can actually smell it. It smells good. All right, let's make our way out of the fun house. And we're going to go around and check out these animatronics here, guys. And I think this store has the most complete carnival setup that I have seen out of any of them so far. In fact, yeah, I think they have everything set up in here that they are supposed to set up for the carnival. You know what, let's go ahead and just come up here and we will start at the very beginning, right here at the entrance to the carnival with Ghostface and the Ringmaster. How cool does this look at? In fact, let me just back up for a minute. And let's just take a gander at the entire row down here. This is exactly what it's supposed to look like. And it is so very, 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 very cool. All right, let's go ahead and check out each and every one of these, even though we've seen a lot of them in the stores already. Did you miss me? There's the ghost face. Let's move on over to the ringmaster here. Hello, Shack Attack. Come on now, Shack Attack. Come on, come on. Everyone is welcome. Yeah, I'm still waiting for a dark store where I can see his chest much better. But he is very cool. Reminds me of Shaq and Candyman. Okay, let's go ahead through the carnival. Oh, wait, I didn't even notice. Hello, rat. Let's go through the carnival here. And here it is, guys. The Dark Princess. This is the first time out of any store that I am seeing the Dark Princess actually set up. She looks so spooky and crazy right there. But before we can do anybody else, we've got to spin the Wheel of Fate. All right, here we go. Will I live or will I die? Here we go. What's it gonna be? Here it comes. Here it comes. Ooh, I get to live this time. I think this is only like the second or third time I've actually got to live. Okay, back to the Dark Princess, guys. It looks like her step pad is over here. Look at those wings. She reminds me of the black swan. Here we go. Okay. Did I get it? Is it going to go? Is it going to go? I must not have stepped on it right. Hold on now. Let's do it again. Okay. Come on now. How do you know? If you have to step on it back there, how do you know? Oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. She's not even plugged in. I'm standing over here stomping the crap out of this step pad. And then I look down here and she's not even plugged in. Okay, we will come back around to her because they were working on setting her up when I first came in. So maybe they're just not completely done yet. But let's go ahead up to towering Tallulah here. Come on, Tallulah. Here we go. I knew she was plugged in. Very, very cool. Who do we have here? Your curiosity and trespassing has cost you your mortality. Fear not. For you, we'll have eternal existence. I love how she just keeps going and going and going and going. For the rest of time. All right, let's come on over here. I'm still laughing at myself for that. Let's check out Mac Straw. Hello, Mackie. <laughs> All right, let's come on over here. We'll say hello to the sitting scarecrow. Leave some stickers in there. Hello, sitting scarecrow. All right, we got Art the Clown over here waiting patiently for us. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot again. I wanted to look for the perma blood in here. You know what? Let's go do that real quick and then we'll come back and finish these. Okay, so here is the blood. We have just the regular theatrical. We have spray on. We have bottles of blood. Oh, that reminds me of the creeper from Jeepers Creepers. We have more theatrical blood down here and split spray blood gel. Hmm, I'm not actually seeing perma blood anywhere yet, but I know they have it. Look at this. We even have blood gel and capsules. Clear liquid latex and blood. Hmm, very strange. Maybe it's like up front around the counter or something because I don't see any back here. All right, let's make our way back up here. We got the cremator over here. We got this tall drink of water right here, the giant death ray. Let's go ahead and get him going. If you guys are into alien movies, you need to watch this movie called Fire in the Sky. Disgusting. All right, let's come on over to the cremator here. Cremator? Oh, there we go. <laughs> That looks really good. The fire actually is really, really bright on him. All right, let's make our way back here. We got Cotton Candy Dan. Ooh, the head is already out. I wonder what's going on with Dan. Dan, are you working? All right, Mr. One-Eye. You know what, from now on, this guy's name is Chuck. You know why? Because it looks like Chuck needs to take old One-Eye to the optometrist. All right, we got Wanda Webworth here. Give me what you got, Wanda. Come on now, Wanda. We got Nibbles here, and he's already talking, and he is following me. Hello, Nibbles. That's cool. He's actually set up on the sensor. So as I walked over here, he just immediately started talking and following me. Excuse me, sir. Can you not follow me? You're very, 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 very creepy. I don't love you. All right, let's make our way over here to Barnaby. Hello, Barnaby. <laughs> he is super loud in here, guys. We got a jumping spider right beside him, and he is frozen in mid-jump. Oh, and it's a brown jumping spider. Remember when we were over there looking at him, we didn't see any brown ones. We got Emily and Victor already going over here. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. How do you answer that, miss? I do. Well, okay, problem solved. You make the bride. And last but not least, we have Bobby Strings. Poppy Strings. Come on, Poppy. We'll soon find out when you're asleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> What in the bowels of the underworld is this? You knew about this, didn't you? You just lost your lunch. <sighs> Spirits open, let's go! <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. Alright guys, today we are taking a break from the Canadian stores. We are going back, don't worry, but today we are in Bangor, Maine, going into this Spirit Halloween right here, which is in an abandoned bed, bath, and beyond the grave. Now, the thing about this is, well, first of all, I thought that I had filmed a spirit in this location before, in Bangor, Maine, but I have looked through all my videos and I do not see one. So this is going to be a first. The other thing is, is you see this store down here called Bob's Furniture that used to be a Toys R Us 
it was abandoned, it then became a Spirit Halloween, they closed down, and then it became a Bob's Furniture. And now the Spirit Halloween is here! I like how you can still see the label scar from part of the sign for Bed Bath & Beyond the Grave. The other really cool thing about this area, Bangor, Maine, is that this is the hometown of Stephen King. Yes, Stephen King, the writer of It with Pennywise and Children of the Corn and Pet Cemetery, and so many others. So with that in mind, I know you guys love to see the animatronics first, but the first thing we are going to look at is the Pennywise stuff. Let's go ahead in and just see how this store is set up, because this looks to be a pretty enormous store. God, I love walking into a Spirit Halloween store. Look how huge it is. Oh my gosh, I already see some awesome animatronics over here along the wall. And holy crap, I can already see peeking through here other animatronics that I have not seen in other stores. You know what? We'll get to Pennywise in a minute. I'm too excited. I have to show you this stuff. All right, we're going to come back to the Carnival here too. I want to show you what's available for sale on the floor, starting with this stack of three light-up ghost faces. And over here, look at what we have, guys. Holy crap, we have an eternal rest we have a straw man, we have a nozzles, and a death stalker. What an awesome little collection right there. None of those are from this year. All right, let's come on over to this side here because look what we have over here. First, we have a ringmaster. In fact, it kind of looks like, yes, we have two ringmasters here. Look who we have on top, Art the Clown, which nobody can seem to find anywhere already in the season. Look below him. They actually have a leather face down here from last year. And then on the top over here we have a keeper. And I want to look at the price of this guy. $399.99 because I believe in the Canada stores he was $479, which doesn't necessarily mean he costs more. It just means there's a conversion rate between the U.S. and Canada. And as an American with American dollars against Canadian dollars, the receipt would show $479 Canadian dollars, but if my math is correct, after the conversion, it would actually be like $364 American. So as an American with American dollars, you actually end up spending less on this in Canada. I know, weird, right? And I know that my friend Wally B26 just got the Terrifier Art the Clown animatronic. He's gonna be doing an unboxing very soon if he hasn't done it already, so bop on over to his channel and check that out. And let's move on over this way. Look at this, guys. We have a Mac straw right on the top. We have a giant death ray on the bottom. We have two demonic gatekeepers over here. Wait a minute, there's three demonic gatekeepers over here. Oh my gosh, this just gets better and better, guys. Look at this. We have a Michael Myers right here who I've only seen in a couple of stores, and look who we have down here. Buzzsaw. Holy crap, I cannot believe they have that guy right now. Hmm, small spooky season sign. They have two cremators here. They have a cauldron nest. They have all kinds of awesome animatronics in here, guys. This is totally blowing me away. Check this out. We have the groundbreaking worm on the bottom here. Oh my gosh, which way do I go? Look at this pile over here. We have two stilts, aka Papa pins. And what in the world is going on over here? We've got a Heckles over here. We have two Slims. We've got two Punchies. Wait a minute. No, three Punchies. That's almost an entire plethora. And look at this. This Mr. Punchy is $209.98 on clearance. And this Heckles is $223.99. It doesn't say... Wait a minute. No, it doesn't say why he's reduced, although promo code... 20% off. Wait a minute. That's a pretty sneaky way of making it look like a clearance animatronic. But still, Mr. Heckles, $223.99. You can't beat that. All right, let's go right behind them. Look at this. We have a black heart down here. We have a dagger mic. It appears that we have three dagger mics. Let's check it out. One, two, three. Yes, we have three dagger mics. We have two Gordos here. Three Emma lines on the bottom here. We have a spike. I've only seen him in, I think, one other store. And look at this. They have a whole plethora of howling spirits. I can see there is even more stuff back here, guys. This is a huge store, and they are stocked. But first, check out all the tumblers they actually have in stock. And here is one that I don't think 
I have seen right here. Oh my gosh. It is killer clowns from outer space. It's crazy. That is very cool right there. Check that out. I don't even know if I've seen pictures of this online. And that is right between two Art Krispies tumblers. Those are pretty hard to find too. Although we've seen a bunch of them in Canada. We have the Nightmare Before Christmas up here. There's a whole plethora of those. And then on the bottom we have the Mars Attacks and Coraline. All right, let's make our way over here because I do see some more animatronics. All right, look at this. We got a Gravestone Ghoul down here. We have two Wanda Webworths, two Bobby Strings over here. And look at this, as I can hear them in the background, they have Emily and Victor. I think I have only seen Victor available in one other store on the floor to be purchased. They have three Emilys and one Victor. And right behind them we have three Barnaby Dares. All right, let's see back here. We got a couple of foam coffins. We have a couple of the 55 inch floor candelabras. Of course we have the jumping spiders. What in the living world? is this thing. What in the living underworld is this thing? I have never seen this before. Holy crap. It is a zombie chupacabra. What the heck? I would not want to wake up in the middle of the night and see that thing on my bed staring me straight in the eyes. What in the underworld? They actually have three more back here. Did you guys know about this? Because I didn't know about this. These guys must have come straight from the bowels of heck. Look at that. That's disgusting. Disgusting. Actually, that could use a little bit of color in there. You could put some red in there between the ribs and the white ribs. That would be sweet. Guys, seriously, what the heck? I can't stop looking at it. What in the bowels of the underworld is this? You knew about this, didn't you? I'd be willing to bet. You just lost your lunch. <sighs> I am just completely mesmerized. I cannot believe this guy. Of course, we have plenty of carrot here. The secret keeping cats. We have the zombie squirrels and the hello rat. All right, this guy deserves some stickers up here. So does this guy, so does this guy, so does that guy. I do not see any scabs here, but I do see, holy crap, look at this. I haven't seen him in stores for a while. Billy Butcherson's head. I am an idiot if I don't buy this right now, but my wife is out in the car. Hmm, how could I sneak a head into the car? We also have the clown. We also have the hook head hog. I don't see the hook eye guy, but something over here stinks. Oh, it's these guys who need the Aquafresh. It's hilarious how I got completely sidetracked, guys. We've got the creepy crimson girls on swings. We've got the swinging witch. We've got the empty soul girls on the swing. We've even got the ghastly ghost girl on a swing. Did you know about the chupacabra? Oh my gosh, we got tons of ch talking Chuckies and Tiffany's. We've got tons of zombie babies over here, including the mini baby peekaboo clown. Are you gonna peekaboo me? Here he goes. <laughs> and look on the end here, guys. We have the awesome tiny terrors. We got a couple of ghost faces here, and we have Art the Clown, which has been so hard to find here in the States, but I saw a billion of them over there in Canada. And what is this one's name? I can't remember, because I always make so much fun of them. Hold on now. Scheming Sally, that's who that is. She just looks like she's sitting there looking at me like, I'm going to murder you. I just don't know how. Maybe after your grilled cheese. <laughs> I do like how they have three different Texas Chainsaw Massacre masks right here. We've got this one with the wire in his mouth. We've got this one. That's pretty cool. And then we've got this one here from Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. That hair is atrocious. Lots of Michael Myers and Freddy and Saw and Ghostface and Frankenstein and Jason Voorhees here with one eye. Look at this. I thought this was an older one. This one is from Jason Goes to Heck. Holy crap. What in the world? Another mask I have never, ever, 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 ever seen at Spirit. The Lord of the Rings Gollum. What the heck? Look at that hair. That is sick. <laughs> My precious. And look at this. Speaking of Pennywise, check it out. We have the original It Pennywise mask here. And look at this one here. 
I don't know if I've ever seen this one in a spirit store either. Why, hello, E.T. Look at the look on that guy's face. And yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that E.T. mask either. E.T. 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 Be good. Stephen King, Children of the Corn Knife. Yeah, look at that. That would be perfect on the wall in my movie room, right by an E.T. poster. Yeah, I'm getting that because I am certainly not getting this hound of heck. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely stocked with inflatables. Let's put some stickers in the cauldron. Right underneath those guys if you come in looking. Oh my gosh, they are stocked with Chuckies and Glens and Sams and Annabelles. Wait a minute, what in the world is this? The Monster Book of Monsters? I've never seen this before. It's a Harry Potter book. What the heck? You know what, I actually forgot that I already bought this E.T. here. So I think I am gonna put this one back. All right, I put the ET mask back and check this out. Hocus Pocus broom set. This is actually pretty cool. What the heck? Is it just a decoration, I guess? Man, they are just stocked with everything. Look at all the bobbleheads here. We have Michael Myers, we have Killer Clowns from Outer Space, we have Ghost Face, we have Leather Face, Trick or Treat, The Exorcist, The Corpse Bride, and the Sam Articulated Statue. We've only seen these in a few stores. We got Leather Face and Chucky and Sam and Michael Myers and Ghostface and Gizmo. And look at this, the Halloween 2 statue, the Skella Pumpkin statue. That one's a hard one to find. We got the Beetlejuice Shrimp Hand Grabber here. Check that out, that is awesome. Yes, you saw that right. All right, right down here we got a Pennywise statue. We're just gonna pepper the Pennywise stuff in because I'm seeing too many cool things. That is pretty awesome right there. Here we go, Derry is calling. Do you have the courage to return? The movie It was set in a town called Derry. I think Derry actually exists, but the one in the movie was supposed to be Bangor, Maine. So technically it's just a made up town. Here we go, we got the Pennywise man mask light here. Pennywise snow globe. Let's get that going here a minute because that looks really cool. With Wait a minute, that wasn't good enough. Hold on. <laughs> Give it a better shake there. There we go. That looks awesome. It's so strange now having been in the Canadian stores and especially the one in Lingale where that sign was in French and I couldn't even read it. Well, I don't see the costumes yet, but I do see this shirt here. It hashtag hungry. All right, let's come back over this way here. Oh, look, we got a Pennywise bouncy pillow here. We got Pennywise plushies up here. Check that out. That's pretty cool. While we're here, let's go ahead and get Max Straw going. <laughs> Wait a minute, we have even more animatronics over here. Look at this. We have two man's possessed friend, we have two Cerberuses, and we have a scary sitting scarecrow on the end. All right, I spy buckets that need some stickers. Sticker, 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 sticker. Even the bullseyes, sticker sticker. Let's put the one in here. Let's put some in the Jack Skellingtons. Here's a couple here. Let's put some in the ghost face bags. One on the silver marshmallow. If you come in here looking for stickers, you're gonna have to look pretty hard because I am pretty sure there's this one employee walking around watching me and taking the stickers when I walk away. I guess he's not in the know. But oh yes, I see you, Mr. Sneaky. That's okay, I'll just be sneaky-er. I am allowed to do this after all. Here you go. Let's see how this tickles your fancy magnets under Mr. Frankenstein. Here you go. Hocus Pocus books. All right, let's go on through the Fun House of Terror here, and then we'll check out all these animatronics in the row here. Will we smell cotton candy? Yes! All right, we're not gonna run all these. We're just gonna walk through and take a look at each and every one. Here we have Ghostface in this store. He has the bloody mask and the machete. Of course, we have the Ringmaster, AKA Shack Attack. Let's enter the carnival. Spin the wheel of fate. Where, oh, there's no clicker on this one. Okay, well, wherever it lands, I guess I live. We've got the Dark Princess. We've got Towering Tallulah. What the heck? Does Towering Tallulah only have one arm? That's weird. And she looks like Gollum. Look at that hair. Sick. That is just very strange. I've got to get her going here. Come on, Tallulah. 
Was that the right thing there? Come on, Tallulah. Okay, maybe she's not gonna work. She was just working. Maybe the sensor? Or maybe not. That is the most ragged Tallulah I've ever seen. One ring to rule them all. All right, we got the sitting scarecrow here. Oh, if there was anything in his bowl, it's already spilled out. All right, come on, sir. There we go. Just the regular sitting scarecrow in here. We got Art in the cremator here. We've got the giant death ray. We've already looked at Max Straw. Cotton Candy Dan. We've got Wanda Webworth. We've got Nibbles the Clown over here. We've got Barnaby the Bear. We've got Emily and Victor. And we've got Bobby Strings. But what the heck, he is like completely unhooked from his strings, very strange. And one more thing, because we haven't looked at these collector's boxes very much at all. We've got Child's Play 2. These are supposed to look like VHS clamshell boxes. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Halloween 2. We got the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Oh, that's sliding off of there. We got Trick or Treat with Sam. Oh, they have a Terrifier one. That's pretty cool. I'm not even sure if I knew they had that one. And a Beetlejuice, the original Beetlejuice. All right, guys, that is it for the Spirit Halloween here in Bangor, Maine. Like I said, if you come down here looking for stickers, don't be surprised if you don't find them because I'm about 99% sure that one dude was walking around just picking them up after I put them down. I did, however, put a lot in cups and buckets throughout the store. So if you come down here looking, make sure you check the trick-or-treat buckets and the coffee hot chocolate mugs. <laughs> Boy, you're a chubby little fella, ain't ya? <laughs> Look at this guy, oh my gosh. It's the Art the Clown backpack after he ate a whole ton of Oreos, apparently. Spirit's open, let's go! <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, we are continuing Spirit Halloween Tour 2024, and today we are in Summersworth, New Hampshire, at this Spirit Halloween, which used to be a Michael's Craft Store. That is a pretty cool-looking store. I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite things about traveling all over, looking at different Spirit Halloween stores, because the outside of every single one looks completely different. If I didn't know this was a Michael's, I would guess that it was some sort of buffet or something, like a hometown buffet. That's just the mindset this type of building puts me in. It feels like you're gonna go in here and have a nice, warm, home-cooked dinner. All right, yes, let's go into this awesome buffet and get some rolls and chicken and some homemade noodles with maybe some stuffing and wait, what? Thank you, automatic doors. Oh my gosh, this is an absolutely enormous store, guys. Look at this place. I love how there's so many sounds and things going on and everything is so loud It's so chaotic in here, and I love that and look at this. They have Ghostface and the Ringmaster swapped today Ghostface is usually over here and the Ringmaster is usually over here Not only that, but look you can actually see what's going on on his chest in here. Hold on. Let's do that again All right, here we go Here we go. And I mean, you can see it, but it won't focus. Well, you can see a skull there. Crap, I thought we were gonna be able to get a really good look because he's in just the perfect position where it's darker than it usually is. Okay, let's go ahead and check out Ghostface here. We got the bloody mask and we got the knife. Here we go. Look 
Have any of you guys bought this Ghostface animatronic? He is actually pretty cool. When I first saw him, I wasn't sure what to think, but I actually like him a lot now. All right, let's go ahead through the carnival here. Let's see who else. Look at this. We got a Gordo set up over here. It looks like these two are actually in suspended animation, though. Like, they are the ones that saw something scary. Wait a minute. This is the second time I've seen a Tallulah who's missing an arm. Is she missing an arm or is it just... Yeah, apparently she's missing an arm. What the heck? One-armed Tallulah. All right, let's go ahead and spin the Wheel of Fate. It looks like Gordo already spun it over here and died. <laughs> All right, what will it be? Where will it land? Yes, finally, I get to live. Oh my gosh, guys, they have got a ton of animatronics for sale on the floor. We're gonna get around to those in just a minute here, but let's check out Mac Straw. All right, Mackie. Mackie's one of my favorites. Have any of you bought Mackie? <laughs> One of my favorite things about him is the sound of crows in the background. I love that. All right, let's get the giant death ray going. Come on, Mr. Death Ray. Ooh, he's pretty loud in here. Holy crap, look who we have set up over here. It's the straw man. It's usually Art the Clown in this area right here beside the cremator. But today it is the straw man waiting to break dance for us. All right, straw man, go for it. Uh-oh, here we go. Either his one arm is broken or he's really doing the robot very goodly. And I love how loud they have the down the duck game. That is totally awesome. The more chaotic in these stores, the better. Let's get the cremator going here. Not that we're going to be able to hear him, but at least you can see him firing. All right, let's bounce on over here to the sitting scarecrow and see. I don't see a step pad, so maybe he's going to jump with a sensor. Yep. <laughs> All right, perfect. That's the perfect place to leave a handful of awesome stickers for you adoring fans. There you go. Free, come get them. Boy, you're a chubby little fella, ain't you? <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, my gosh. It's the Art the Clown backpack. I know I just got sidetracked, but I saw him over here after he ate a whole ton of Oreos, apparently, and I couldn't resist. And there's three of those, and look at this, guys. They actually have two of the crossbody bags. So they are starting to get these in more stores now. We got the fortune teller booth over here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the ball is working, so we're not going to be able to get our fortune told today. However, I will tell your fortune and leave a couple of stickers here for you. All right. Right, let's keep on moving here. Let's go through the fun house of terror. I did not have Oreos this morning. However, this mirror makes it look like I did. I know that is pretty funny. I think the first few fun houses I went through, you couldn't smell the, uh, the cotton candy at all, but Probably like 90% of them you can now. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Nibbles here. Come on now, Nibbles. Well, well, well. Oh my gosh, he is so you loud. my eye. Don't worry, I'm just admiring your costume. <laughs> hey, He's a good little follower. <laughs> yeah, you. I'm giving out some candy. I thought this would be a great way to make some friends. Dang, he is working really good. <laughs> I'm harmless, mostly. Uh, 
That is the best working nibbles I have seen in any store out of everyone I've been to, guys. He followed me perfectly the entire time. But he still had that weird thing at the end where to end what he was doing, he just went eh. All right, let's come on over and say hello to Wanda Webworth. I know, right? Let's say hello to Cotton Candy Dan with his one eye. Get your Cotton Candy here! We've added some new ingredients! I think you're gonna like it! <laughs> oh, hello, rat. I love how they have the hello rat set up all around here. There's even one down here by Barnaby. Hello, rat. Enjoying your popcorn? All right, let's get Barnaby going here. He is not very loud in this store. <laughs> all right, let's get Emily and Victor going. I know there's a lot of people who have been having trouble finding Victor. I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. I do. You make the bride. All right, let's go ahead and get Bobby Strings going here. Come on, Bobby. Hey, everyone. Want to hear a song? Let me sing it for you. Uh oh. Oh, I know a naughty child who was so very bad. He ate up all my candy and made me real mad. So when I get free, I'm gonna fix him good. He's gonna bump heads with this block of wood. <laughs> let that be a lesson, kids. For real, be a blockhead. Don't be a blockhead. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and walk around here for a minute, see what animatronics we can find that are for sale on the floor because they have a ton. This is a huge store, guys. And let's start with this pile right back here. We've got a straw man on the top. Very cool. We got a string master. A string. Why in the heck did I call him a string master? I was still thinking about the straw man. We got a ring master down here, a demonic gatekeeper. We got a Mr. Punchy. We got two pop-up pins here. We've got two grave watchers here. Oh, we got a Monty on the bottom. Hold on, let's find the front of the box. We got a Monty on the bottom. We have two dark princesses here. Hmm, kind of strange that they have two dark princesses, but they don't have one set up. We got another pop of pins over here, and we got the groundbreaking Nightmare Before Christmas worm on the bottom. We've got a whole plethora of jumping spiders over here. I see we got the black jumping spider, the black and red down here. We have the gray and the brown, so you have your choice of jumping spiders if you come in here. We've got more animatronics over here. Look at this. We have two of the ghost faces with the light-up face and knife, and he makes sound. We have the black heart up here. We have a demonic gatekeeper on the bottom. We have another string master on the bottom. We have a Barnaby bear down here and a Toothy the Clown over here. Every time I see him, I like him a little bit more. Look at this. He's got a clearance sticker, $199.98. Swings back and forth, moves his mouth as he speaks evil phrases, and he sits four foot, three and a half inches tall with five feet of hanging rope. All right, let's make our way up here, guys. Man, they have got tons of stuff in here. Here's even more animatronics over here, and look who we have, guys. We've got the Hex Spawn, yes. We got another Papa Pins here. We got a Bobby Strings on the end. We've got a Cerberus three-headed dog up here. We've got a Slim down here. We've got another Dark Princess over here, a Gravestone Ghoul, a Barnaby on the bottom, and a Cauldronness over here too. They have got an awesome selection of animatronics available in this store. Man, they are absolutely stocked with all the costumes you could ever need. Let's take a walk back through here and check out the section that has the secret keeping cats. I can never go without saying hello to the secret keeping cats. That doesn't mean I'm leaving yet. It just means I have to say hello to this guy. The Killer Critters. I love every single one of these. We've got Steven Seagull, the zombie seagull up here. We've got our favorite carrot. We've got the zombie squirrel here, the creeping cat. We've got more hello rat 
bits down here. I see we have one, two, three, four scabs on the bottom. We've got even more back here. Holy crap, look at this, guys. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more creeping cats, three more secret keeping cats, and a whole, what do you even call, not a flock, a murder of crows. There is a whole murder of crows right here. I hope they don't murder us. Okay, I see buckets that need stickers. There's a couple, there's a couple, there's a couple, there's a couple. Look at this, they've got four hookhead hogs here. We've got one double face here, and then we have two of these disgusting spider webs. They're like a spider cocoon. They've got Matchstick Mary here. Let's see if we can hear her. No, she's too quiet to hear. We've got Pestilence Pete here. I think we need a Nate guy creepy dolls. A Nate guy creepy dolls. A neat, a Nate guy creepy doll. A Nate guy creepy action figure. There you go. Whoa, look at all the zombie babies. Oh my gosh, they have got so many. We've got baby peekaboo clown up here. Let's see if we can get him going. <laughs> We've got the butt baby, we got the hand eater, we got the cockroach eater, we got the spider biter, we have this crazy evil little guy. We've got the pumpkin eater here. <laughs> We've got this crawling guy, wait a minute, maybe he's a smelling guy, that looks very strange. We've got the rat eater, we have the plotter here, plotting our murder. This guy must be friends with the crows. And look at this, we have two brain eaters. And look on the end here, we have some tiny terrors. We have three of the ghost face babies, that's cool. We got two Michael Myers, we have a Pennywise down here, and another hand eater. I'm still a little confused about the Tomb of Lost Souls. What is supposed to go in there? Somebody who works at a spirit, tell me what is supposed to go in there, or what was supposed to go in there. It looks like it was made to have like an animatronic standing there or something. And if it wasn't, I'm very surprised that I haven't come in any stores where they actually had an animatronic standing there. These guys remind me of Close Encounters of the Third Kind, though. Alright, let's come over and see if there are any masks that I haven't seen? Wait a minute, what the heck? I haven't seen these before. It's a completely blinged out scythe for when you want to murder someone in the corn, but you want to do it with diamonds. This pig mask right here, I believe, is the exact pig mask that was used in the movie Hubie Halloween. Yeah, that looks exactly like it. The one that Rob Schneider was wearing. Oh? I don't see anything that I haven't seen before, but this is a pretty creepy nightmare bunny half mask. Oh my gosh, as if this store wasn't stocked enough, look at this, they've got an entire cart full of boxes. They're getting ready to put more stuff out. We've got these hanging fellows. We've got these hanging fellows. You gotta love Barbara and Adam. Oh my gosh, almost every store I've been into this season has been stocked with good guys Chuckies and Glens and Annabelles and Sitting Sam dolls. And look at this. They even have the popcorn gun from Killer Clowns from Outer Space and the Mars Attacks atomic ray gun. All right, let's leave a handful of stickers right in here in the Beetlejuice hand grabber bucket. Now, before I go any further, let me just say this, guys. If you come in looking for stickers, please only take one because I leave anywhere from 50 to 100 stickers in these stores and they go fast. I want as many people to get them as can. So share them. These fellows look like they want to share some stickers. Let's give one to the gremlin, to the ghost face, to the, uh, who is that, Slim, to the Chucky, to the Sam, to the other ghost face, to the Michael, to the other Michael, and to to the leather face. Let's leave some for unsuspecting ghost face buyers here. Let's leave one in the chocolate frog. Let's leave some in the mug, the mug, the mug, the mug, the mug. Oh look, this haunted mansion stuff is buy one, get one 50% off. Look at this, they got a towel, they got a table runner, wall decor panels, whoa, I'm dropping things. Wall decor here and here, you got a whole bunch of stuff down here, including this headstone, here lies good old Fred, a great big rock fell on his head. And this one here, that looks pretty cool. Whoa, what happened to that nose? Near 
Dear sweet Leota, beloved by all in regions beyond now, and I can't read the rest. Please be careful when getting stickers from the baby head, the baby head, the baby head. We haven't looked at these backpacks yet this season. I love this. We've got SpongeBob with Patrick and Krabs on there. We've got Jason from Friday the 13th. We got Scooby Dooby Doo back there. We've got the killer clowns from outer space. We got this purple Pokemon guy. We got Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, check this out. We got the Ghostbusters. And look at this. They are absolutely stocked in the slippers and all the plush blankets you could ever want. All right, here's some stickers for the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. Excuse me, sir. Were you just watching me do that? I bet you saw that with your, you know, you just said it. All right, let's leave these guys a couple of stickers here. One for you, one for you, one for you. Look at this. We got the Scooby-Doo Monopoly, the Spirit Halloween Monopoly. This one was really difficult to find last year. And the Wednesday Ouija board. No, thank you. Oh, check this out. Have I seen the Victor and Emily Corpse Bride Pops? That is pretty cool. All right, let's just take one journey over here quick. Wait a minute, let's back up. Let's put a couple of stickers right here with Gordo. There you go, sir. And yes, just as expected, wow, they are absolutely stocked with costumes on this side as well, guys. Look at this. Everything you could possibly want to be for Hallow's Eve. I don't know if I've seen this hat before. You like scary movies? <laughs> and look at the ghost face earrings. They're little daggers. And one more thing here. Let's take a look at this Michael Myers hoodie. The night he came home. That is awesome. Hold on, let me move the head. The head, the hood. John Carpenter's Halloween. That is very, very cool. All right, guys, there you go. Very awesome store. Summer's worth New Hampshire. Get down here and get all your awesome Halloween -y needs, including free Nate Guy stickers. Go on a treasure hunt. <laughs> Of course, you can't forget about SpongeBob and Patrick. Hey, Patrick, are you mad? Yeah! Spirits open, let's go! <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, today we are in Salem, Massachusetts, about to go into this Spirit Halloween back here. It has been three, maybe four years since I've been here. There are actually two Spirit stores in this area in Salem, and the last time I was here, I was in the RV, and it's so huge. Like, look at how packed this whole parking lot here is. Even though there's a Target right over there, there was nowhere to park. So I actually had to park around the back of the building, and I thought for sure I was going to be towed. I wasn't, and this time we brought the car. Let's go in. Spirit Halloween, number one in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh my gosh, look at this. They still have these stickers on the ground from COVID. That is hilarious. All right, let's go on in. Oh, wrong side. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it is so very spooky in here because it is so very quiet in here. Okay, there we go. Now the music goes on. I was curious, so I went up to the desk and I asked why it was so quiet. They just had forgotten to turn the music on. So here we are, guys. Store number one in Salem, Massachusetts. I actually am going to be going around Salem and Marblehead today, looking at some locations from Hocus Pocus and Hubie Halloween. But first and foremost, I wanted to make sure that I stopped at these two stores and made videos for you guys. And look at this, guys. I think for a first this season, we don't have Ghostface or the Ringmaster up front. We actually have Nibbles over here and Cotton Candy Dan. I have never seen a setup like this in a store yet this season. A lot of times you'll see Ghostface over here and then just like a random animatronic over here. So this is one thing that makes going to a lot of different stores very interesting because all the setups are different. Oh my gosh, I can even see that things are different back in here. All right, let's just go ahead and start with Nibbles here. Oh look, hello rat. <laughs> 
You know, I, I get it when he's just laughing, it's kind of cool, but I like it better when he talks, and he's not following me at this short moment's notice. Let's go ahead and try that again. You. you can't escape my gaze, so why don't you come a little closer and let's play a game. <laughs> if you win, you get a Okay, here we go. If you lose... Well, his tracking is sort of working. <laughs> It's funny because when he's staring at you, he is literally staring straight at you with those beady eyes. And when he follows you, it is so creepy. All right, let's go ahead and come on over here and do Cotton Candy Dan. Come on, Mr. One-Eye. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead through here and, well, I was going to say let's do the Wheel of Fate, but I noticed that the little clicker thing is missing. And look who we have set up over here, guys. Check this out. First of all, we have Ghostface, but it's not the Ghostface animatronic. It's the one that actually lights up. His blade lights up. His eyes and mouth light up. <laughs> <laughs> and then he screams at you and scares the living crap out of you. He is actually pretty cool. If you don't want the animatronic itself, he is actually a really good backup plan. It appears his arm is just kind of hanging. Okay, somebody beat Ghostface. <laughs> All right, then we got the Night Terror over here. And guys, for some reason, I always want to call him the Death Stalker. I have no idea why. I know he's not the Death Stalker. The Death Stalker is completely different, but I always want to call him the Death Stalker. <laughs> I know, that is funny, right? <laughs> it just sounds like he laughs till he can't even breathe anymore. All right, let's go ahead over to the other side here because I see they have Max Straw waiting for us. <laughs> Someone's not turning their head. <laughs> and we have the sitting scarecrow over here. Okay, I see he has a uh, step pad. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and give him some stickers for his bowl here. There's a whole plethora for you, sir. Well, we got our stickers out. Let's put some in the bucket, 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 the bucket. Let's give one to the spooky skeleton hand here. If I can get it in there, there you go. And then let's go ahead back here and let's check out the animatronics that they have on the floor. Hold on, there's more buckets. Bucket, 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 dinosaur bucket, 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 bucket. Okay, now let's start busting through these guys. We have man's possessed friend right here. We always have a man's possessed friend, Bubba. We have a ringmaster back here with his giant clobbers. In fact, we have two ringmasters with his giant clobbers. We have two demonic gatekeepers. We have four stuffed dummy props. Bucket, bucket. Oh, back through here we have two more Bubba's, man's possessed friend. We have the Michael Myers horror babies. Excuse me, sir. Yes? I can't believe I just got what are those. We have the Horror Babies Michael Myers. We have the Horror Babies Pennywise here. We have the Walking Hands, both the gray one and the Walking Green Monster Hand. All right, look back here around this corner here. We have some jumping spiders down here. I see the two black ones right there. And then we have more back here. Let's see, we got the black and red right here. We got the gray down here. And we also have the brown. Look at this, we got the 12 foot inflatable ghost face down here. The giant hearse. Oh my gosh, I got so much stuff here. We got the inflatable purple hair clown with spinning eyes. Look at this. We have two Wanda Webworths hiding over here. We have a gravestone ghoul hiding over here. And look at this. This is why I look in every crack and crevice because behind the pose and stay skeletons, look who I just discovered. The dark princess. Or if you own her, you know the inside of the box says dark or princess. Uh oh, I see cauldrons. Sticker, sticker, sticker. And look what's hiding right here. We have the Halloween 2 
pumpkin, the Skella pumpkin. All right, let's set them down here a minute and turn it around because on the back, you can see where it says Halloween 2. A lot of people have been looking for this guy. He is very awesome. Oh, look at this. The first store that I have seen the animatronic IR beam activators in. Those are very cool. $24.99. I think I'm gonna have to get these today. It's the only one I see on the shelf. Look at all the stuff they have over here too. And they still have more, well, sort of animatronics. Another ghost face light up down here. A plethora of fogging skull piles. Another 12 foot inflatable ghost face right there. They have some of these Hauntleys things. Now I don't have one of these. I actually have the pumpkin that sings, but I don't see him, but look who we have right here, Pumpkin Nestor Doll. Very cool, that's the first time I've seen one of him in these stores this season. They have a lot of other dolls here, Devilish Desmond, Eerie Emma. Let's see, they have Pestilent Pete, P Penelope Pigtails, and there's another Pumpkin Nestor hiding back there behind Matchstick Mary and Monkey Chimes. We have the Murderous Crows. We got the Clown Head on a rope. We have the Hook Head Hogs down here. We got these guys with nasty bad breath. And look who's watching us throughout the store. It's the Secret Keeping Cat. I think it's funny how they have a bag with one random bone. Excuse me, sir, do you sell bones here? We do have one bone. <laughs> oh, look at this. We got the ghost face horror babies down here. We got three of them. We got a creeping cat peeking out down there. We have a plethora of zombie babies here, including the brain eater, who I think I've only seen in two stores this season. <clears throat> they have a plethora of sinister spirit dolls here and another Bubba hiding behind them. All right, let's make our way over to this side of the store here. Hello, lab rat. All right, let's come on back here and check the cracks and crevices for more hidden animatronics because sometimes they like to put them around the corners. Wow, this place is pretty stocked, guys. A lot of these aisles I can barely even make it through. Oh, they have the Jack the Reaper costume. And I don't point this out very often, but I love this little voodoo doll here. All right, no more animatronics that way from what I can see. We do have awesome Elvis Presley costumes here, including the glasses. And look at this. This is cool. I have actually been to Graceland and seen the actual outfit. That one right there that he legit wore on stage. Will we be getting business cards? The inflatable costumes are probably my favorite costumes in the entire store. Look at this. We've got Barney here. We've got Snoopy from the Peanuts. We got the rubber chicken and I think I actually have this one. We've got Gizmo here from Gremlins. Inflatable dinosaur, inflatable wavy arms guy. Party pooper inflatable. The ostrich inflatable. Looks like you're riding an ostrich. And this is one of my favorites right here. The Looney Tunes gigantic heart gossamer. Of course, you can't forget about SpongeBob and Patrick. Hey, Patrick, are you mad? Yeah. Oh, and they also have the inflatable Garfield costume. I'd probably fit in that one. And we've got all the Scooby-Doo's. These are not inflatable, but you gotta love the Scooby-Doo costumes. ruh -roo. Let's, like, grab another skateboard and do it again, huh? Let's drop a couple more stickers here before we go. We'll put one in that basket. We'll put one in that basket. We'll put some in the skull funnel. Let's leave some for Beetlejuice. Some for the ghost. The ghost, the ghost, and let's leave a couple for the brain munchers. All right, guys, that is it for store number one in Salem, Massachusetts. Come on down here and get your stickers. I left at least a hundred of them in there. <laughs> Wait a minute, what the heck is this? Undead zombie? Isn't a zombie already dead? So an undead zombie would be an alive zombie? Spirits open, let's go! <laughs> Pick me up in an hour.
All right, guys, we are at store number two in Salem, Massachusetts. This Spirit Halloween store back here, this one looks like it's much bigger than the first one, and it's actually beside a Walmart down there. So that means if mom wants to go to Walmart, you can be like, yeah, but mom, it's right next door. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you go over to the Saturday Night Snack and a Movie channel and subscribe, because right after I get done at this here Spirit Halloween, I'm gonna be bouncing around Marblehead and Salem to check out a couple of filming locations of Hocus Pocus and Hubie Halloween. With that being said, let's go ahead and get this underway. I am so excited to go in my second store of Spirit Halloween in Salem, Massachusetts. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, look who they have up front. This is what I'm talking about, guys. They're all set up different. Ghostface is usually over there. Ringmaster is usually right there. In this store, we have Ghostface right there. And this guy right here, the Cremator. All right, let's go ahead and get him going first. Step into the shadows with me, mortal. Where the boundary between life and death blurs. And the night holds its breath. That's cool. I think that's the loudest one I have heard in any store. Wow, I see animatronics on the floor for sale all the way down that way and all the way down this way. But first, let's finish looking at these guys here. We got Ghostface up here, and in this store he has the machete and the bloody mask. Did you miss me? I don't know if I've ever heard him say that before. Did you miss me? What the heck? All right, let's do it again. Hold on. Here we go. You teach a class about slashers, and you still walked into a dark alley. Yeah, I've heard that one about a hundred times. <laughs> and look at this. This is this is put together like backwards or something. How strange. This is the arm that's going, and this one's just like holding the machete. So he's like holding a machete and punching it with his hand. Oh, and I also just noticed that we don't have a Jack up here, Jack the Reaper on top the carnival sign. And actually, before we go through there, let's go ahead over here and look at some of these animatronics they have on the floor for sale. We got a ringmaster here. We got a Max Straw. Oh, we actually have two ringmasters right here. We got a Bobby Strings. Of course, we have a man's possessed friend, Bubba. We've got a couple of foam coffins over here. Let's see what's on the other other side. Look at this. We got a Betty Sharp. This is the first time I've seen a Betty Sharp in a store this season, and she's sitting right on top. Cotton Candy Dan. We've got an Emily from the Corpse Bride right over here. A Dark Princess over here. I got a Mr. Punchy. And look at this. There's even a Straw Man over here. Surprisingly, I've seen Straw Man in a lot of stores this season. All right, let's keep on moving here. We got a couple of Pose and Stay Skeletons. We have one lone jumping black spider down there. We'll check this corner out in a minute. I love just stepping back sometimes and looking at the wall displays of all this awesome Halloweeniness up here. Look at this. We got all these buckets up here begging for stickers. Even more down here. These are all the inflatables over here. And look at this. They actually have three of the 12 foot ghost face inflatables and two of the Jack the Reaper archways. Ah yes, the wall of buckets and the handful of stickers. One for you, 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 one for you. Skull, dinosaur, bucket, spider, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Jack Skellington, Flounder, Bullseye, Mickey, this guy, this guy, and that guy. Whoa, that guy almost fell over. Okay, let's make our way back around here, see if we can find some more animatronics, because I know there are some over this way, so let's just do that, and then we'll come back up here. Okay, yeah, down this way we got, oh my gosh, look at this, guys, I can't believe it. People are having a hard time finding even one Art the Clown in a store. They have two 
are the clowns in this store. Salem, Massachusetts, right by the Walmart. Get over here right now and buy them. They also have, what is this, two giant death rays. We have, ooh, we got a Slim over here who's a display model for 20% off. That is a cool deal. We've got the light up ghost face and the ghost face animatronic here. We got a Max Straw. We got a Barnaby the Bear. Two demonic gatekeepers. Man, this guy is absolutely huge. I saw him set up in a couple of stores this season, and he was so much bigger than I ever expected him to be. Raises from three and a half feet to four and a half feet, and that is actually pretty dang big. And we've got two gravestone ghouls over here, and it looks like that's all the animatronics on this row. Wait a minute, what the heck is this? Undead zombie. Isn't a zombie already dead? So an undead zombie would be an alive zombie. Looks like they are pretty stocked on all the t-shirts. Tons of trick-or-treat bags. If I had to say which one of these was my absolute favorite trick-or-treat bag, I think I would choose the good guys. Look at this. I love the stores that go all out like this and just cover every single thing in spirit signs. Look at this. We got the long orange spirit banner all the way up here. And then every one of these posts is wrapped in the gray spirit banner. You can see it better up here. Yeah, right above the giant death ray. This is what it looks like. The gray one and the orange one and everything in here is wrapped in that stuff. Totally awesome. Hello, rat. Hello, Freddy. Hello, other Freddy. Hello, whatever you are. Look at this, this is disgusting. All right, let's come on over here and check out the fun house of terror. Let's go ahead and get nibbles started here before we go anywhere else. <laughs> oh, he's following good. <laughs> Come on now, I'm over here. There you go. Yeah, he did a good job following. That is a pretty cool picture right there, if I do say so myself. All right, let's come on over and check out Barnaby the bear before we move on. Come on, Barnaby. Oh, he is super loud. Gotta love Barnaby. All right, we got Victor and Emily here. Let's get them going. Here's Victor. Does she have her own? I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. I do. You make the bride. All right, let's get uh, Bobby Strings going here. Will he sing his song? Finally made it. I pulled some strings to get you here. Please come hang out with me, and I'll loop you in on the disturbing. Look at these giant feet. All right, let's come on over and get Cotton Candy Dan here. Yum, yum, yum! Sometimes it's sweet. He is super loud, too. One thing I'll tell you, though, it'll do more than rot your teeth out. <laughs> We got Wanda Webworth up next. I love how she sounds like she's crunching bones. And that is it for the outside of the fun house. Let's go ahead and go over here and we will go through the fun house of terror. Will we smell cotton candy? Here we go. Oh my gosh, yes, it smells so good. Look at this, I don't know if you guys can tell this, but this orange shirt that I'm wearing here glows like neon under this light here. Very cool. It's not very cool how enormous I look though. Oh my gosh. 
I gotta lay off the Oreos. I've tried to film this a couple of times, but the way that it spins, it doesn't really come out right on film. You can see that's Jack the Reaper right there. And if we hang out here for a minute, we got this guy. I don't even remember what his name is. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's come on back out here. One thing that caught my eye that I wanted to check out are these little mini backpacks. Look at this. We have zero, and this thing is literally, like there's my hand. It's literally the size of my palm. We have zero. Oh, this one's cool. The mystery machine. What's this one here? Friday the 13th, Lilo and Stitch. Oh, look at this, we got Ghostface, that one's pretty cool. We have Halloween, Return of Michael Myers. We got South Park here, and it looks like we have a Beetlejuice down here, that one's pretty cool. Couple other little zipper packs here, this one's Lilo and Stitch, and this one is Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas. And then I wanted to look at these crossbody bags too, because I think they're so cool, these designs, and I'm not sure if I've seen all of these, I don't think so. I know I've seen the handbook for the recently deceased, I think I've seen this spell book bag, the book of spells. Here's another spell book, but I don't think I've seen this one. The Sorcerer's Cookbook with a golden skull on it. And then we have a couple of them that are shaped like a coffin. That one and this, oh, I think this one might actually be a backpack. This one's a backpack here and it actually has bat wings on it. All right, let's motivate back here for a little bit. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, for, <laughs> for a minute I thought there was like 20 secret keeping cats. We got the secret keeping cats. We have Scabs here. We have Carrot on the end. Scabs best friend forever. Let's put them together so they can kind of hang out for a little bit. We have the zombie, I almost call these the zombie squirrels. It's like a snail with a skull on it. It's not really a zombie, but it does have a cool skull. More secret keeping cats. Creeping cats. Steven Seagulls. Like every time I see this guy, I don't think of it being like a zombie, like that blood on his beak. I think of it as I just spilled my french fries, covered with ketchup, and this guy ate them all. We've got the murderous crows, we've got a couple more hello rats, and then we've got the zombie squirrels down here. Of course we have more creeping cats here. Oh, here's a couple more animatronics over here. We got the empty soul girls on swings we have the creepy crimson girl on swings and the ghastly ghost girl on swings as well as just the ghost swing and the hand grabber mechanism hook eye guy and the hook head hogs we got the tied up pumpkin head the clown heads on ropes we got the bone gallery here and look at this guys they actually have an art Horror Baby, very cool. These are starting to show up in the stores more often now. There's some stickers for you. We've got the Pennywise, the Ghostface, the Michael Myers. Surprisingly, even less than seeing this one in stores, I don't think I have seen any Leatherface Horror Babies in any stores this season at all. Maybe it's because I murdered him. All right, let's leave some stickers for these zombie babies here. Another one there, another one there, another one there, another one there. Oh, look at this. We have three Grave Watchers over here. I knew it. They always love to hide them around the corners where you least expect it. They also have a swinging witch down there and an empty soul girl on a swing. Fogging skull piles, groundbreaking pumpkins, groundbreaking skeletons. Did I just say ground baking skeletons? Hmm, I wonder what he's baking because I am one hungry king of the world. All right, let's put some stickers in these cauldrons here. And look at this. This is so simple but so cool. The Wrong Way Witch Tree Hugger. It's like a witch that took the wrong way and smashed into the tree. All right, let's just step back and look at this wall of goodness here for a minute. Look at that. How cool. Oh my gosh, look at this. They have the Art Krispies box. There are actually three of them. Everybody's been trying to get these as well. It basically just looks like a cereal box. If they had this cereal on the shelves at the grocery store, I would definitely buy some. We got Camp Crystal Lake, the Overlook Hotel, Pennywise the Dancing Clown, John Carpenter's Halloween. That is a sweet sign right there. We got this one that I bought in Canada. Time to play, time to slay. And in the neon signs here, we got time to float on the bottom. We got art in the middle and ghost face on the top. We've got the horror ficuses, the plethora of bobbling bobbleheads, Pennywise and Freddy and Jason. And down here we have Chucky and Beetlejuice. Sticker, 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 
sticker. Looks like they have every kind of slippers they offer this year. And to finish up, let's look and see what kind of tumblers we have here. Look at this. They have two Terrifier tumblers here, the Art Krispies. I actually bought one in Canada, and I have it out in the car. We've got the Deadpool up here. We've got this one that people have told me what it's called and I just can't remember. We got this one, go back to heck. We've got the Wednesday purple mug. And then we have Lilo and Stitch right here. Oh my gosh, this place is stocked. There is so much more stuff to look at in here, guys. And I know I don't usually spend a lot of time looking at the costumes. It's pretty much because every time I do, everybody says, yeah, but where are the animatronics? So I try to stick with the animatronics. If you want me to do a video all about the costumes here let me know and i will and right before we go guys right here in front of me i totally missed them and walked past all the rest of the jumping spiders we got the gray one we got the black one we got the brown one and the black and red so no matter which one you're looking for they have them right here right now in salem massachusetts by walmart all right guys that's it for store number two in salem massachusetts there it is the big sign behind me i am going to go check out what salem and marblehead have has to offer as far as filling locations for Hocus Pocus and Hubie Halloween. <laughs> Spirits open, let's go! Pick me up in an hour. Wow, this is a busy place, guys. Spirit Halloween, Medina, Ohio. Let's go check it out. It looks very small from the outside, but you never know. Sometimes it's the small ones that really surprise. All right, guys, every store I walk into looks totally different. And look who we have right up front here. I don't think I have seen this guy up front in any stores before. Before we check him out, though, let's go ahead and do the Wheel of Fate. I actually had a weird dream last night about a Wheel of Fate type thing that just kept spinning and spinning and spinning. Will it end? What will it be? Oh, I see. This is kind of just hanging there, so it's not really... Let's just stop it right there. Quit clowning around. Try again. <laughs> All right. Speaking of clowning around, let's go ahead and get art going here. Listen to how you can hear him creaking when he turns. That creaking actually makes him even creepier. All right, we got the demonic gatekeeper here, and this guy is actually much bigger than I ever thought he would be in person. Ooh, he's pretty loud, too. <laughs> and look at the size of his hands down here. Those are some serious meat hooks. Ooh, and look at this. It looks like Nibbles is actually supposed to be right here, but we have Cotton Candy Dan. So let's go ahead and get him going. What if Cotton Candy Dan just started following me? We've added some new ingredients. Let's go ahead and do him again, because I want to hear his other phrases. Attention all kiddos! Attention all kiddos! I found a lost parent! <laughs> Listen to that, you can hear his jaw going crazy. <laughs> Sounds like a machine gun. Be 
You can get in all kinds of sticky situations here! <laughs> That jaw just cracks me up. All right, before we move on, here's some buckets. Let's put the stickers in the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. And one for the unicorn. All right, let's keep moving on around here. And I see we got sitting Scarecrow over here. He's got a step pad, but let's see if, no. Okay, hold on. Let's add a couple of stickers to his mix here and then get him going. <laughs> And we got old Mackie over here. Oh, he must be on the sensor. <laughs> he is super loud in here, too. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys happen to come to Medina, I was driving through the square and they have the whole thing decked out and very spooky. And the sounds that he's making right there were the sounds I was hearing in my head as I was driving through seeing all the spookiness. I want to look at this Jason Voorhees uh, jersey here for a minute because this is cool. It's actually like a jersey and a hoodie mixed in one. That's pretty sweet. F13 on the shoulders. We got Jason's mask on the front. Embroidered Jason Voorhees there. And yeah, the back has the hoodie. This says Jason F13. And I just did a video of all the costumes in one store the other day, but I wanted to take a look at this Killy Willy costume, because look at this. This thing is absolutely creepy, and I would not want to wake up and see this thing waiting for me at the foot of my bed. Okay, let's go ahead and take a walk through the store here see if there's any yes animatronics for sale on the floor we've got a whole plethora of sitting scarecrows here in fact two of them are scary sitting scarecrows three are regular sitting scarecrows we've got another plethora over here of bubba's one two three four man's possessed friends we got a night terror over here a ton of jumping spiders all right let's see we got the brown one here we got the black and red um we got a black one down here a couple of them on the bottom the only one i don't see is the gray but we still could find them somewhere else in the store usually these stores have the jumping spiders everywhere we've got three wanda webworths here and another night terror down below let's just look at wanda here for a minute okay 269.99 spirit exclusive wanda webworth moves mouth moves and front arms move up and down posable arms eyes light up with red leds hisses and plays spooky noises we know what that sounds like stands six feet tall at the tallest point what do you guys think about her have you bought wanda webworth and did she meet or exceed your expectations she is definitely another one i would not want to wake up and see at the foot of my bed waiting to attack and look who we have right back here at a reduced price of 164.49 it's cotton candy dan what is the reason for that no motion prop only does not move or make sound 164.49 that is a pretty dang good deal for a cotton candy dan who doesn't move <laughs> i see a lot of people post online though on like the facebook group the spirit halloween facebook group where they buy these at a discount in the store because they're not working correctly and then they get them home and they're actually able to fix them so that is actually half price if you wanted to take the chance of getting him and fixing him i mean nothing else appears to be broken on him is it, whoa there's other things in there people are just kind of dropping in the box anyways yeah you could probably fix him but yeah for that price it would probably be worth it to get him just as a standalone prop or to try to fix him and if you didn't want to do that there is another cotton candy dan right behind him and here we got two demonic gatekeepers let's just look at him a minute too because he is so cool like when i saw him online i wasn't sure what i was going to think of him but let's see lights up with orange led speaks four lines while laughing evilly we only heard one let's go back up there and look at him real quick okay let's go ahead and see what else he says <laughs> <laughs> I 
I love his laugh. All right, so that's two things we've heard him say. I am the guardian of tormented souls. You have crossed over into my world. Now you will endure eternal pain. <laughs> All right, that's three. One more. <laughs> I have been patiently waiting. Your destiny now lies with me forever. <laughs> I don't know if that was the first thing we heard him say or not. The box said that he says four things, so let's just do one more here just in case. Wait a minute, I just realized, isn't he supposed to be, like, rising up? I think he starts low, and then he's supposed to rise up, and then he goes back down. Let's look at the box again. Yeah, okay, here we go. Raises from 3 feet 5 inches to 4 feet 7 inches. So that one up there, even though he looks and sounds absolutely awesome, he's not doing the raising. But when you add in the raising, he is totally awesome. His laugh is probably one of my favorite laughs I've ever heard from one of these animatronics. All right, let's keep going. Look at this. They're still putting tons of stuff out in here, and we got a lot more to look at here. We got the light-up ghost face where the face and the knife lights up, and then he makes slashing and screaming noises. We got a max straw down here on the bottom. We got a ringmaster back here, aka Shack Attack, and a towering Tallulah. It's funny because I've seen towering Tallulah missing an arm in at least two stores, maybe even three. And I can only imagine that like when she shoots up, that arm goes flying off. And then back here we've got two gravestone ghouls. It looks like we've got some empty soul girls on swings, a whole plethora. We got a stuffed dummy prop and some sinister spirit dolls. And it appears that that is probably all the animatronics that are for sale on the floor, but that's a whole bunch. Wait a minute, look at this just like I said guys back here in the corner all alone by himself is a gray jumping spider we got the hook head hog and the hook eye guy we got this disgusting spider sack here groundbreaking skeleton groundbreaking zombie groundbreaking pumpkin jack-o-lantern pathway markers zombie arm pathway markers we've got the hair the purple hair clown with the spinning eyes inflatable let's leave some stickers in the skull the skull the skull and a few in the cauldron we got the animated tombstone here here lies this guy with the red spooky eye <laughs> Let's look at these severed parts here for a minute, because I've never spent a lot of time with these. The hand cracks me up. Look how the bone is sticking out, and look at the way the hand is shaped right there. Almost like it was reaching for you. Reaching, and then someone cut it off. We got the severed foot that has two bones sticking out. That's hilarious. That's got to be about a size nine. The severed arm with two bones sticking out. And look how the fingers are just slightly eaten away. We got another severed hand here. And the severed leg. I was going to say this looks like the one that people always have like hanging out their trunk. But I don't think it is. I think there's like a little thing that hooks on on those. So these spiders up here on my way over I saw a house. Usually you see like all the skeletons climbing the house. It was all all spiders. There must have been about 40 of them. We got another cauldron here. We got the Chuck talk. We got the talking Chucky here, but inside the box, you cannot hear a word he's saying. Electrified pathway markers. Oh, look, they actually have two of the animatronic IR beam activators here. I bought one of these the other day, and I can't wait to see how it works. We got these hanging guys. I think this guy lights up. Yeah, check that out. He's pretty cool. Oh, and so does this guy. He makes sounds, but the music is kind of loud, so you can't hear it. I like how he looks like the lightning, though. Let's see. 
if our clown will. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> the shaky clown. We got the walking monster hands here. This one's bloody, this one green. Let's come back and look at the masks here for a minute, see if there's any we haven't seen. I love this Frankenstein mask. I've never bought it, but I keep saying I'm going to. And this one reminds me of the beginning of Halloween 1978. Now I want to go home and watch it. And this one reminds me that I'm hungry for a grilled cheese. This one reminds me of a movie called Feast, which... I was really excited to see when I heard it was coming out. It was on that show Project Greenlight, and it turned out to be so corny. Leatherface, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers. This is probably my least favorite Michael Myers mask. In fact, let's go back up front a minute because they have more. Yeah, right in here. So this one is from 2018, and this is actually one of my favorites, even though I didn't really like that movie all that much. And I don't see the 1978 version. I mean, this is kind of what it's supposed to be, but this is just a plastic mask. And these are Halloween 2 down here. This one is, yeah, I don't know. Let's look at the Sam stuff real quick here, because this guy looks totally awesome. The Sam plush. Do I own him? I don't even remember if I've ever bought him. You guys tell me because you've watched these videos a million times. Did I ever buy the plush Sam with his little sack and his sucker? These crack me up. The Holly Ho earrings and the Holly Ho hair clip. Wait, here's a Frankenstein mask I don't think I've seen. This one's just plastic and that actually looks pretty awesome that would go perfect downstairs in my movie room put a nail in the wall and just hang it right on there i don't have a place for it though i've got so much stuff on the walls right now here's a couple costumes i didn't see the other day when i did the costume video we got a foxy jumpsuit and the invisible man if you haven't watched that video make sure you go watch it because i went into a store i was there for five hours i may have already said this filming every single costume in the entire store all right, let's say hello to our zombie babies and the cats and animals before we go. We got a couple of the baby peekaboo clowns. We got the ghost face, the hand eater, the Pennywise horror baby, another ghost face. We got the terror fire, terror fire horror babies, the Michael Myers, the rat eater, the spider biter, the pumpkin eater, and the singing baby. Hello, rat. Scabs and the secret keeping cat. The murderous crows and Steven Seagulls. And the creeping cats and the zombie squirrels. All right, guys, that's it. Medina, Ohio, Spirit Halloween. Stick around because it is only the beginning of October. We have plenty more locations to go.